Light it up. Yo, yo, yo. Shout out to everybody out there that's tuned into the panel weekly. We appreciate you guys for tapping in. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm not going to be long-winded. Oh, check it out. Here we go. Here we go. Ron! What's up? <laughs> wow. What's up? No, no, no. I'm just playing with you. Low down. Down and dirty. What up, brother? What up? What up? What up? What up? Yo, so but before we get into anything, you know, it, right now is a crazy time and just everything. We obviously have the trade deadline. We have the Kyrie trade. We got to get into that. We have to talk about what's next for KD. But before we do any of that, as you guys see on the title, we have Ticket versus FYF today. This is a long-awaited grudge match. We've all been waiting for this. Some people are saying FYF's ducking. Some people are saying Ticket's ducking. I don't know who's ducking. All I know is right now it's only one person here, and it's FYF. <laughs> what's up, my man? How you living today? What's good, y'all, man? Glad glad to have me, man. Like I said, um, I'm easy to find. I don't know. It's it's been tough to find ticket when it's time to debate sometimes. So you know, hey, it is. hey, my, hey, hey, that's music to my ears when I hear stuff like that. I ain't hard to find. I love hearing man. that. I ain't hard to find. <laughs> uh, so we that. got them all here. We got we got low here. I got I, we can get him on the Scotty Pippen. Oh uh, God, please stop, Jesus. We got we can get anybody on the Hakeem Olajuwon today. Definitely down to do. Definitely so down got, to do that. You got smoke for a lot of people there. Not definitely, just definitely, definitely down to do that. Oh yeah. Yo, F Y F. What's uh, what's your take with Scotty Pippen? Oh, we gonna get I, in it. Don't worry. Don't. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> no, no, nah, big ox. We gonna get in it. No doubt. We, 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 ox, we, what, we, what we, are you? What are you shooting right now? What you say, Bobby? Bobby, what you what you shooting on? What you mean? What am I shooting on? That's a clear ass camera. It looks like it's like a. Uh, oh, that's a nice oh, camera. So, so uh, regular logic tech. For real? That's a hey, logic tech. Hey, look, no, no, my, bad, about, my bad, my bad, my look, bad, my bad. how about this? Hey, big eyes. <laughs> so that's a nice camera that you got. That's a nice piece you got. How about that, Lo? Man, it is. It's a nice piece. <sighs> nice, nice pause. <sighs> nice appreciate, camera. Appreciate that, big Lo. Hey. My bad, my bad. Oh, guys. always gotta be some extracurricular nonsense with you, bro. <laughs> always. No, yeah, that's no. like a it's that's a nice little quick shoot. I like that. I like it's nice, it's nice, it's nice. I'm hey, sorry, man. We can get to the KD talk and all the slander about Scotty Pippen later on, man. Yeah. <laughs> Mars, nobody, nobody, nobody like was there slander Scotty Pippen. I mean, if it's up to me, I'll talk about how the Warriors need to trade James Wiseman, but oh, <laughs> but I thought I, I thought it wasn't your team no more. No, I'm just for the good of that team. No, no, for me, uh, just for the good of that team. They because you a Rockets fan, right? right? Yeah, yeah, I'm a Rockets fan. They need to fire Steven Silas, but that's not happening. So let's just stick with trading James Wiseman for now because oh, Steven man. Silas is going to remain employed. Oh wow! Speaking of the Warriors, uh, David Mujnaya tapped in with a super chat right off the rip. He said, "If Draymond played in the '90s, would he be a top ten defender in that decade? And if yes, where would he rank?" Hmm. Would Draymond be a top 10 defender in the 90s? So if you think about just guys on the perimeter alone, so Jordan, Scottie Pippen, uh, Joe Dumars, uh, Alvin Robinson. Mm -hmm. um, in the 90s? Yes. Was Alvin really a 90s player, though? Well, he Joe? was well, he would just Alvin, Alvin Robinson was on the other side of it, but he was still he was still an all he was I think he was still an all league defender and he's still an elite defender during that time. Gary Payton, Jason Kidd, SVP. Um, uh, let's see, uh, who else? yes, he yes, would, he yes, would, he would be would, a top 10 defender. These are just perimeter guys. I didn't bring up the other guys like Olajuwon, I didn't bring up the other guys like Draymond is a perimeter guy. Well, it's Draymond, is Draymond a perimeter guy? Yes. He would be. He, he, he would be. He, he, he can just do back. both. I don't know if he can do both. We, 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 we're not, we, we, we can we're relax not saying, on him doing both. We can relax he, on that. It's his defensive versatility that makes him great. It's not the fact right. that he can lock down just the center spot. Mm -hmm. Right, we're not. Nobody's gonna ask him to guard Hakeem Olajuwon for the whole game. His his, right. his value is in how he can guard all over the floor, similar to Scottie Pippen, guarding sure. multiple positions, mm -hmm. guarding different ways. Being able Fair. to defend out of the pick and roll, being mm -hmm. able to switch to different positions without compromising the entire defense, his value will be found in that. So anybody right. that's comparing him to Hakeem, can he stop Hakeem? Well, nobody in the 90s stopped Hakeem. Nobody right. stopped Ewing. Nobody mm -hmm. stopped any of the great great bigs individually, right. right, for the most part. I mean, obviously you could pick apart games where they played bad, but for the most part, the bigs are going to do their thing against any good defensive big. At the end of the day, nobody's going to ask him. It's a, how can he impact the mm -hmm. game overall? He's shown that his style of defense it could easily translate into the 90s. 
Is there um, is there any is there any great wings of the nineties that Draymond can shut down? I, I just want to say facts, FYF. You up here cooking it, cooking his, early, and I he, see why Draymond's right. value. Oh, Draymond value. No, Draymond <laughs> value is never in, uh, in individually stopping one player. You, right. you, there's even in today's game, nobody's gonna look at Draymond and say, "Oh, he shut down KD today." So mm -hmm. when the people dumb Draymond Green's defense down to. Did he stop KD or did he stop this player? It's never about that. It's about how he impacts the overall team defense, right? Getting certain stops to certain aspects of the game, slowing teams up, blowing up their offense, throwing off their rhythm. Um, that That's his value. So whenever somebody just dumbs it down to just getting one stop here or holding some player under 25 there, that that's not truly what defense is. Because today's great players are getting too many opportunities to score for you to stop sure. them from getting their points. Sure. Hence the term. Hence the term. Hey, 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 I, I hear it's a lot of talking going on when I when Daddy ain't in here. I hear it's a lot of talking going on when Daddy ain't in here. What's going on? How y'all gonna have a barbecue and I ain't invited, Ron? Hey, you ticket. actually late, ticket. Let's be clear. I hear a whole, about that. I a whole lot of Draymond Green capping in here. No uh -huh. cap. How's it cap? Oh, you. Oh, you want to get right to it then? Huh, let's, well, let's go then. You want to <laughs> walk into the fight? You, you so, don't so want to walk into the look, fight? Well, look, I, maybe I create right the fire. Hold on, let, let, let's get right to this, right? First of all, all this, all this great mind dream talk. What, what's going on right now? What happened this year? What, this year's not over with. Year? What happened this year? Hold on, we 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 seventy percent through the season, and he's been a walking cesspool. So what happened this season? What, what happened last season in the NBA in the NBA finals when the coach had to bench his ass just so they could play better as a team? You talking about what one game? The year, what happened the year before that when they got mm. their ass smoked? When he's supposed to be an all-star, he went on all the smoke and he told and he told Matt Barnes and he told Steven Jackson, oh well, see, cause when Curry and them hurt, I, I ain't really gonna try and go hard. What you mean? <laughs> supposed to be a Hall of Famer. Hall of Fame game travel. Am I right, Chill Town? You a Hall of Famer. Your game's supposed to travel everywhere you go. It ain't supposed to be predicated off the greatest shooters that ever played a game of basketball. Let's not do this with me. Like I said, Steph Curry and Klay Thompson made this dude. Period. That's all there is to it. Because if that's, not the, case, if that's not the case, if that's not the case, why he say he was the best defensive player in the world before the NBA Finals game one against the Toronto Raptors and then Pascal Siakam proceeded to dust his ass up in that series, the entire series. Put 31 on his helmet, but 32 game one off the rip. Had that dude out there looking like a Kim Olajuwon in the post. Barbecue chicken. Yeah, Draymond Goody here, a little bit of there, a little bit of mix, a little bit of max. You ain't finna put him on nobody from the whole game. You ain't finna put him on one of them big dudes from the whole series. He gonna foul out. He gonna do that stupid stuff he always do to keep his ass out of the game and out of the way. Let's just keep it real. He's a very good role player for the Golden State Warriors. If you put him on any other team, he's out of the league in five years. If you think I'm lying, ask Bob. He'll tell you. Me and Bob go at it every day about something. He'll tell you. See, all this overhyping of these players and stuff like that, but it's the same dude, Lamont, that came and told Elder that he could make a case. Scottie Pippen was better than Hakeem Olajuwon. Now, what type of drugs is that? <laughs> take him up. Take him up the Lamont. Hey Lamont, hey listen, Lamont. You, when, hey, Lamont. When me and you, when me and you go at it, Lamont, worlds collide, baby. Believe it. Hold, 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 hold on, ticket. Hold on, ticket. Say what you just said one more time. Did you just say? Did you just say he could make a case that Scottie Pippen is better he than who? He could make a case that from what Elder was saying that Scottie Pippen was better than Hakeem Olajuwon. He tried to make it seem like for that whole. Listen, we all understand that Scottie Pippen and Bob don't like Scottie Pippen. Slander, but we all understand that. Look, Scotty Pippen, Jordan needed Pippen to win championships, right? But we're not gonna sit yes. up here and act like Scotty Pippen was on Mike level, man. We're not finna do that. We're not finna act like if Scotty didn't come in the league playing with Mike, playing with Oak and them dudes that made him tougher, that made him the type of player he was, that he wouldn't have turned out to play. The and then even when Mike left, I caught Lamont in a lot when he talked to Elder. He was talking about one year. Well, what happened the second year? Yo, FYF, if, if Scotty Pippen was so great. If he was so great, why the hell the Bulls was getting the hell beat out of him? The man went on national TV, pointed to his Jordans that he had on, and begged Mike to come back to pay that ass. If he was so that's, great, that's a relevant if he, was so great, if he was so great, why the year after he left Chicago, you know, the last year that he was in Chicago, they won the chip, but he wasn't an all-star, right? 
that same year when Michael Jordan and Dennis Rodman was kicking everybody's ass in the building because he was hurt and didn't want to play, right? Didn't nobody tell him to sign that bad contract. He did. But they want to wear capes for this dude. No, we're not finna do that. Yo, we finna F cook ultra hot. We finna F cook F ultra hot. They, even the GM told him, don't take that deal. Man, still sign hey. the paperwork. <laughs> Hey, so how y'all gonna get mad? How gonna get mad at a dude? And I heard Lamont saying this stuff. How you gonna get mad at a dude that signed well, the arms that they we, told we him the contract was bad, told him the contract was bad, and he still signed it? That sounds like a slave deal to me. That sounds like a slave deal to me. And well, then hold on, with this this the other half right here, still town. This one I really finna barbecue him. When he did get his money, and remember, he made more money in basketball than Mike did. Let's keep it a hundred. When he did get his money. With Houston, what happened? Good. He went over there. He's supposed to be the man. He the one got six world championships. Hakeem on the downslide. Barkley on the downslide. He's supposed to go take over. He, he went over there and played like a walking trash can, just like Draymond <laughs> Green does on a nightly basis. Right? Oh when Draymond God. Green plays a good game, hey, Mars, you can put your head down. But I'm going to tell you something. Don't sleep in this class, sucker. Get your pen, get your pencil, <laughs> get your paper, and take notes, clown. Because this is how big dogs operate. Chilltown know what's up. He know I ain't lying. When they paid Scotty all that money, right? I don't want to hear about he was old. They paid him. How much money they paid him over there in Houston, uh, Chilltown? Four, year, four, year four years, 60 right. million. Four years, 60 million. He got a baby. He, deserve, right? he deserved every damn dollar. This is horrible. Oh, no, 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 no. But I'm asking. Hold on. He deserved every but damn what dollar. Happened? What, hold F on. But F what F happened F when F he got F over there? Horrible. F FYF. I'm just listening. That's all I'm doing. And I'm, no, 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 no. Keep going. Keep going. The money is What happened when he got over there, though? No, no. This is all the stuff that that my brother over here, FYF, and I'm gonna tell y'all something. It's always I can, I can been a person. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. You got it. Can, we, hold on. I'm gonna address everything he said one by one. We can start with the most recent thing he said, talking about Scottie Pippen's money. It wasn't just Scottie Pippen. If you remember around that time, 98, 99, 2000, that's when all the stars who were stars throughout the 90s finally got paid. Carl Malone, the most he ever made going up to 1999 was six million a year. Then oh, yes, all of a sudden, dollars. all of a sudden, after 1999, he goes from 14 million on up towards the mm -hmm. end of his career when he wasn't even when he wasn't even in his prime anymore. So the money changed around that time because the CBA changed. So all the players who were great throughout the 90s, most of them capitalized around that time. So I, everybody know he was grossly underpaid for his whole career. All of them, Hakeem Olajuwon, all the stars in the 90s were and they all capitalized when they could. So we move on from that. So I don't I don't. I don't blame Scotty for getting his money, even though he was banged up and injured. Secondly, when I talked to Elder, remember, y'all, Elder came up with this new dysfunctional top 10 list. That's because of me, because I called out this ridiculous logic that he had talking about winning. And I said, if you're going to just use winning as this all purpose formula to to determine what players are the best of all time, then there's absolutely no way you leave Scotty Pippen out of that formula. When you look at the top 10 players of the 90s, Scotty Pippen was top 10 of the 90s. So was Hakeem Olajuwon. If you prioritize winning, that puts Pippen over Hakeem. If you go off Elder's logic, he saw his logic was flawed and we saw he kicked Hakeem Olajuwon out of his top 10. Right. He re revamped it, but it's even worse than before because he still has a whole bunch of holes that he's going to have to go back and revise and re address. When you look at Scottie Pippen, you can slander him all you want. He was still one of the top 10 players of that era. Jordan don't win nothing without him. It's time for us to start giving him his just due. And we discredit these 90s fans. 90s fans swear up and down. They talk about defense, defense. They pride and applaud defenders. But y'all trash all of the best defenders because they weren't great scores. And that carries on in this era, just like Draymond Green. Every player that you can think of in this era of basketball that plays similar to a 90s player, y'all trash. Y'all trash the Patrick Beverly, the hard nosed guys that actually go out there, defend, ain't chucking up a ton of threes, actually playing this hard nosed so called style that y'all see in the 90s. Y'all trash their game. Y'all trash the Draymonds. Remember, in this weird logic, first of all, it's about staying loyal to your team, staying on one team, doing it the right way with one team. But yet you criticize Draymond Green because he hasn't jump from team to team to team just to prove to you just to prove to you he can do it on different teams so he's shown you that he can be loyal and he's done it on one team and it's not me that says he was great right it's not me that says he was great it's some of the greatest coaches in nba history that said draymond green was great mark jackson gave him the stat seal of approval tom izzo gave him the seal of approval steve kerr greg popovich so it ain't just me all these other coaches putting them in starting roles putting them on olympic teams he's a starting team for a, a he's a starter on an on a NBA champions team that's been champions four times, 
but yet you just still find ways to say he's just a, a great role player. And I give him that. He is a great role player in that role, but he's done more than what a lot of people did in that role. You said Eric Pascal could replace him. Where's Eric Pascal at? He's at home somewhere in the G League probably. He's not even he's not even in the NBA relevant anymore. So it's not just any player can come in and do what Draymond does. I've yet to see anybody do what he does. He's made the most of a limited skill set. That's all he did. I'm not saying he's the the most skilled Tracy McGrady type player, but he's made the most of a limited skill set. He's going to go down as a Hall of Famer be because of what he's done on the court. That's all he's done. So when we get mad at these players, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me because he took advantage of it. And, and, you know, if you honestly ask me, y'all, there's a lot of similarities between Ticket TV and Draymond Green. And I think that's where a bit of the envy comes from. Because if you really look, if you do a deep dive in your homeworks, they really have very similar stat lines, the triple single stat line, right? The, the newspaper clippings talking about how hard they worked, how they facilitated the <laughs> offense. So, again, I mean, the, the coaches was, gave Ticket TV similar praise. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not. 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 I'm Lamont, I'm Lamont, your flowers. I, I didn't want to. Hey, I didn't want to go personal with you. So we hold on. I didn't want to go personal with you. I didn't want to go personal with not personal because we can go deep. Hold on, Lamont. We can go, it can get deeper than this, no. Lamont. It can get deeper than this because I can personal. do it to you for real. I can do it to that's you for real. Personal. In the whole, in Rana, I can end the whole if, stream. Hey, y'all. Can we get back to the game? No, 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 so, hey, first of all, so since Lamont want to talk about numbers, let's talk about Lamont Dante Lane. No, what was no, his numbers? I was saying, what was, no, 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 no. What were you, your numbers? No, 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 I'm no, saying no. they gave you what a lot of praise no, for no, that. No, 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 no. We're going to do, do it like this. No, 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 Lamont, we're going to do it like this because I'm going to praise you, you too. You, did you not? Wait, hold on, you Lamont, hold on, Lamont, hold on, Lamont, hold on, Lamont, Lamont. I didn't get praised for my numbers. Hold on, Lamont, Lamont. What was your numbers and what was your checks looking like? That's all I want to know because see this, this is one thing about me. I can hold on. I can show my dope. I can show my dope. I can show my check. I can show my contract. But, but we know you, that you are a my, hooper, though. So, you want to hold on. Since so you want to play this game, right? Now let's get to it, right? Nobody's running around here saying Pick is a Hall of Famer. These old folks running around here saying Draymond Green is a Hall of Famer. What was he great at? That's what I'm. What was Draymond Green great at? So when you say a lot of similarities. Okay, I can tell you, Robert Ory went to se went to different teams and won seven world championships. Seven. They don't talk about him as being a Hall of Famer. He had a big hand in every championship. Was guarding all the top big men. You talked about Pat Beverly. Don't nobody praise Pat Beverly on YouTube more than me. Right? So let's do this. So since you want to do this, Lamont Dante Lane, what did you average? What's your numbers? Right, because I put up big numbers. Yeah. Hold on, I put up big numbers with the biggest ball players. So, a matter of fact, these dudes playing the league was on my teams overseas. Can vouch for that. So when you want to, so when you want to do that, we can go anywhere you want to go with it, anywhere you want to go. But I ain't even want to go deep with you on that because I ain't going to do that to you, dog. I'm not going to do you like that. I'm not going to do you. Hold on, Lamont. Let me ask you one question. This is no joke. I'm not going to do you. Hey, Lamont. I'm not going to do you like that. coaches give you praise for your ability to stand and play me? Hold on, Lamont. Hold on, Lamont. That's a Hold on, Lamont. Because, hold on. What the fact is, the fact is this. The fact is, you're a liar. Hold on, hold on, Lamont. The fact is, you sit up here and make it seem like we just out here saying Draymond Green. No, we saying he ain't no Hall of Famer. These dudes say he's a Hall of Famer. It's only you a few in the left. Walking garbage. Hall of Fame. Hold you on. said he was a walking garbage. Why, why is he a Hall of Famer ticket? Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Get me on the yeah. Before you go any further, ticket. Get before you go any further, ticket. Get me on the record. I not, not only did I say he was a Hall of Famer, he is a first ballot Hall of Famer. Facts. So he's a Hall first get, ballot. Get me on the record. Okay. So look. Okay. So look. Okay. 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 If that's the case, I got other dudes. Hold on, I got other dudes that had way more illustrious careers. Why ain't uh 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 uh, uh Kevin Johnson on the ballot as a Hall of Famer, huh? But we gonna put Draymond is. Green. We got hold on. We got so much praise for a dude who came up with the greatest shooters that ever played the game, right? 
But we diminish this this fool right here will sit up here and take his little shots to diminish Kobe. Take his little sneak shots and, and make you lie and think, oh yeah, Mike's the GOAT, but then shit on the whole 90s, right? This is what this dude do, right? So I'm finna show y'all the truth. So does he want to talk about numbers? Let's put up his numbers. What was his stat line? His stat line ain't compared to mine. What was his checks? His checks ain't compared to mine because I really earned my checks the hard way. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I'll let y'all read between the lines. Did you want to go extra super ether? Max ether, like you say, Lamont. I can go deep, dog. I can go yeah. real deep. You don't want to play this game with me, dog. I get Nasir Jones on that ass, nigga. And when all I right, keep going, right, nigga, we'll hear the, okay, hold on. Ticket. You'll hear the unedited. Right. You'll hear the version. Hold on. You'll hear the version of ether. They ain't never released. The first one that Sony told me he couldn't release because it would have ended Jay-Z entirely. Period. So don't play with Yo, me, nigga. Ticket, ticket, I, hey, ticket. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I need, I need so like I said, hold on, hold on, Ron, hold on, Ron. So like I said, like I said, we only shoot at the narrative that Draymond Green is a Hall of Famer. Once again, how in the hell can Chilltown sit up here and say Draymond Green is a Hall of Famer when Chilltown's the same dude that said be a Hall of Famer, your game had to travel. Dude, Yo, I can answer that. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 I can answer that. I can answer that. I can answer that. First of all, I, I got said, you on. Hold on. I, I got you on. Chilltown, I got you on tape. Don't lie. I got you on tape right on here. When I first came on here, yeah. I got you. You said to be a Hall of Famer, your game must travel. You must have Hall of Fame game in other areas. You must be able to go in I other areas. That, and your I, said Hall of Fame. I said I said that the great players, their game travels. That's what I no, said. No, no, you said the Hall of Fame players. I got you on tape. I said Don't great, play, I said great I players. I will play the tape tonight. I will play the tape tonight. You said the Hall of Fame players, the all-time great Hall of Fame players, is what you said. You said that games travel. And when I asked you about Draymond Green, you moved the goalposts, nigga. So let's not do this. Hold on. All I'm saying is this. this I want you to think about something, right? Kill Town, let me ask you a question. I'm listening. How many, I'm listening. Hold on. Kill Town. How many championships you think Draymond Green have if he didn't play with Steph Clay and KD? Well, it depends on who else he played with. I'm asking, I don't care who else. In, the, in, in his era, if he don't play with Steph, Play and KD in that system, how many chips you think he got? I don't oh, know because I don't know who else he would have played with. I don't know. I don't know who else he would have played with. And the reason why I'm saying I don't know who else he would have played with, I don't know who else he would have played with. The reason why I'm saying I don't know who else he would have played with, his game would have traveled. So his impact on defense would have traveled. His ability to distribute that would have traveled. So if he's playing on another championship level team, they, mm -hmm. they, they legit have a shot to win. So it's not like Drew, we putting Draymond Green in Detroit. We're not nobody's saying that Draymond Green no, is I said, put him in the Ain't said, nobody saying that Kevin Durant. Ain't nobody saying that. Oh, hold on. Oh. Ain't, ain't nobody saying. Hold on. You hold on. Ain't nobody saying that. Ain't nobody saying that Draymond Green is Shaq. Nobody's saying that he's Olajuwon. Nobody's but saying Nick, that he's Michael Jordan. Nobody. No. Put him nobody put him in that category. Never put him in that category. Those are who's in the hall. Those are who's in the hall. Don't, don't understand what the Hall of Fame is, Ticket. The Hall of Fame is the basketball Hall of Fame. It is not the pro basketball Hall of Fame. Understand Kill. that. Kill. So with Kill. 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 Do you think Draymond Green's on a level with Dennis Rodman? I do think he's on a level with yes. Dennis Rodman. Nigga, go jump off. Nigga, man. Hold on, buddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. FIF, tap in. Hold up, Ticket. FIF, tap in. But see, that's the problem. I need to hear from you, Low, and then I need to hear from Mars and Bob. There's a problem. Go ahead, Lamont. I don't. I don't even know if Ticket. I think Ticket puts Draymond over Dennis Rodman. He's the one that's on record saying that Draymond Green was trash at defense and only grabbed people in the balls. So again, you put you put Dennis Rodman's defense on a lesser level, lesser than that of a Draymond already, and that's on record. What I've done a reaction about, video. Hold on, I didn't put, him, hold on, I don't put Dennis Rodman lesser than Draymond. That's a goddamn lie. But if he's a, if you describe Dr Dennis Rodman's game as he didn't really play defense, he was just grabbing people in the balls, then. Then no, no, no. Where I didn't did you say, even no, put no, no, Dennis no, no, Rodman? No, 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 no. He's a Hall of Famer. No, no. I said, no, no, no. I said, I said Dennis Rodman wasn't the greatest one-on-one -on -one defensive player in the world. He wasn't the greatest health defensive player in That's the world. I said it. Dennis I Rodman. No, I did a whole listen, reaction pull, video pull, pull to pull it, how crazy on. it was. Pull up the I said Dennis Rodman was not an elite defender, in my opinion. He was an no, elite rebounder. That is what I said. Okay, Lamont. Okay, okay. Lying Lamont. Pull it up. And Lamont, and Lamont, and Lamont. The, 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 the same is not an elite defender. Lamont, that's, that's Lamont. And when you, and when you pull up my stats, pull up all my stats and put them beside yours, nigga. 
Okay, okay so, LSU so, so let's, let's take the no, numbers no, no, off no, the table. No, 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 no. He don't want to no. be Kill Town. Kill Town. He don't want to be saved. Don't save him. Because, see, this is what no. it is. I'm not coming here. It's 105, nigga. No, no, I'm not no, for anybody. Let him be a man. Oh, I want to no, chill. Hold on. Here, let me let me address the let, let me address the Hall of Fame. Let him be a man. 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 Let what is Draymond Green elite at? Dennis Rodman, elite rebounder. Led the league in rebounding. Dikembe Mutombo, elite shot blocker. Elite rebounder. Ben Wallace, elite rebounder. Led the league in rebounding. Led the league in shot blocking. Led the league in steals. So now wow. all of a sudden, Draymond Green, hold on. Draymond Green is on the level of those guys. He on the level of the Zoe Mornings and all these dudes. But meanwhile, meanwhile, the dudes who didn't play, they hold career with Steph Clay and KD like Glendall Big Robinson, who gave you damn near 20-some a year. He ain't in the hall. Kevin Johnson, who had a whole stretch of like eight or nine years, he's putting up 20 and almost 10 assists. He ain't in the hall. And the list goes on. You got these dudes that out here dog Reggie Miller and all this other stuff. They'll dog all these other dudes and say, Draymond on a level. No. All I'm doing is straight it out. All them dudes I named y'all dominated something in the NBA. And I mean dominated for years. These are facts. So right. don't, right, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Hold on. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Tell me Draymond Green's a great role player like Robert Ory, like, like, just like Derek Fisher, just like a, a, a lot of these other guys, Bruce Bowens, all them other dudes. He was a higher level than them than, than Bruce Bowen and those guys, but he was a very good role player. But at the same time, he ain't no Hall of Famer, bro. And that's my point. These dudes lied right, to these kids you. and push this narrative. Don't stop playing with me, nigga. Let him rebuttal this. Go ahead, Lamar. All right, like hey, I said. Put up, like, stats, put up his stats on the screen beside mine. Put up his stats. It. Let him. No, we're not no, pulling no, up no, stats. No, 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 Because, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because we're going to tell the truth. Lamar, no, Ron. If he don't ahead. do it, Ron, I'm going to do it. If he don't do it, I'm going to do right. it. All right. Hold all on, right, hold right, on, right, Ron. Right. Ron. Ron, Ron. Hey, Ticket, you're about to get kicked out of practice, That's what's about to happen, Ticket. You're about to get kicked out of practice, Ticket. Come on, man. That's Hey, hey, that's what you Okay, on, you will kick me out for the month. I know. Do it. You no, do it. I know what you're no, gonna do. Nigga. No, do what I know what you're gonna do, nigga. Like I said, it, it's no, one on ten every single time. Hey, hey Bill Town. Hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. When I come in here, Just I come in here blasting. Low can lay down. Right. Mars can lay down. <laughs> nigga, I'm the big dog around this motherfucker. <laughs> nigga, don't forget it. Nigga. You ain't the only one. You ain't the only one. Yeah, I'm clear on that. You ain't the only one. I was. So, so, sit your so, ass so down, man, nigga. Man. Oh, oh. Go ahead, my man. I'm sorry. Sit your ass down, nigga. No, 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 look, look, look. I apologize. Like, if I, so the problem is, is, is that people, too many people had a misconception that it's the NBA Hall of Fame. It's the Basketball Hall of Fame. So when you take Draymond Green's complete resume, because there's a ton of players where they come short of getting into the Hall of Fame because they don't have a full basketball resume that gets them in. When you talk about his complete resume, you're talking about a guy who in college – came in as a four-star guy. He was a Big Ten player of the year. He was the uh, NABC player of the year in college basketball. And then, and there was multiple other accolades in college that made him a great college player. One of the best college players of all time at Michigan State. That's something that Tom Izzo can also confirm. But then you go into the NBA, a guy that came in as a second round pick. Nobody, he had no aspirations, no expectation to be anything. When he got his first opportunity to start, he took the starting job from David Lee and never relinquished it. That was under Mark Jackson. He still didn't relinquish it under new coaching with Steve Kerr. He was, you know, he, he landed on multiple all NBA defensive teams, first teams and second. He led the league in steals. He was an all NBA third team player. He was an all NBA second team player. And when you say all NBA second team, you're talking about potentially the top 10 players in the league. And that's with a guy who struggles on the offensive side of the ball, because it seems like that's what so many people like ticket fall in love with just the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, they, forget the how, they, they, they forget how impact, the they, they forget how impactful a defensive that's player a can be. You know, some of the, and one thing, one thing, one thing, one of the best coaches told me uh, when, when I was at a camp with Lou Olson, he says players on a basketball court spend more time defending than on offense. That's how important defense is. So when we sit here and diminish guys that are great defensively but might have offensive struggles, 
Um, I think that's sad, but we all understand that ticket. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's hold on, let me hold finish. up, ticket, ticket. You gotta let him finish his take. And we, and we no, all, no, no, and the ticket. You gotta let him finish. He let you get everything off and didn't interrupt you. Go ahead. And we know this is the, this is why I say sometimes this is probably more of a personal attack at Draymond, maybe because you don't like him, because we know he understands this element of the game. Because one of his favorite players of all time is Ben Wallace. Ben Wallace is a guy who was absolutely atrocious on the offensive side of the ball as a big man shooting in the low 40s at from the field. Right. But we all know his impact wasn't offensive. We know his impact was defensive. And so this is why you can have a respect for Ben Wallace, even though when he was on other teams outside of the Pistons, he wasn't carrying the team or he wasn't That's a damn because, lie. because 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 hey, he, because so he didn't Chicago, have stars. Or, Chicago, you got to let me finish. Go, hey, hold on. That's a lie. Why did Chicago go to the first? Why did Chicago go to the first de defensive team in the league the year Ben went over there? Answer the question. They went to number one defensively in the league. Look it up, low. So I'm gonna get this lying ass nigga because Lamont, you lie about a lot. But since you want to go, since you want to play these little lying games, Lamont, we can go. I can go real deep, Lamont. I can end you tonight in front of everybody. You know I can, Lamont. You know I can, Lamont. You know I can do it. You know I can do it. You know I. Hey, Ron. Hey, Ron, well, if can, I do it, do it, if I do it, Ron, Ron, if I do it, Ron, if I do it, it's going to get uglier than a masterpiece sneak in here if I do it. If I do right. it. <laughs> for sure, for sure. But hold on, no. Let him finish his take ticket. He, <laughs> he, he claims he's not done cooking you. Lo, I want to hear from you next if Draymond's a Hall of Famer or not. Go go ahead, Lamont. So so all, all I'm saying is this is why I say it's something else going on with his disdain for Draymond because – I know he's aware of players that struggle offensively, yet are great defensively, but have a main role on the team. He understands that with Ben Wallace, it's easy to see that with Draymond Green. It's easy to see that with a player like Dennis Rodman. It was easy to see that with a player like Bill Russell. And, and it goes on and on. Throughout NBA history, we have a ton of these guys that we can give a praise. Pre I ask you one question, to, Lamont. As what did Draymond Green dominate in? What did he dominate in defensively? Because you talk about Ben Wallace being atrocious. Now I'm going to jump on your bitch ass. What did Ben Wallace <laughs> Yo, and stop what did Draymond Green dominate? I can tell you. I, you, I can tell you. I, asked Lowe, I can tell you what he's dominated in. I asked Marge, what did Draymond I can tell you. Green dominate in? Okay. For, for five years in a row, for five years in a row, he led the NBA in pick and roll defensive efficiency. You something again might not so be very it, it may it may that not at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it, that, that may not be very Lamont, 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 that may that not be very impactful to you. But in a league where I'm asking you a question, in a league where all they run is high pick and roll, that's very important on any team. This is why people like this is why people like LeBron James. This is why people like Damian Lillard all want Draymond on their teams. Lamont, I'm going to ask you a question, Lamont. Does that make you a Hall of Famer because you good in pick and roll defense, nigga? No, right? It's the combination of everything that he does. Hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. To the dude who said I got real emotional about being this, being that. Hey, man. At least I came in and keep it real with y'all every single week and told the truth. I ain't never had to lie about nothing, nigga. So, like I said, I'm going to just leave it at that. This nigga Lamont be lying about everything, nigga. And see, this is the thing. Y'all praise y'all praise the fake and hate the real, nigga. But see, I'm going to show you niggas what it is on some real shit. I'm going to show you. Did we lose him? No, we didn't lose him. Yo. Yo, yo Ron. Ron, you can hear me? Yeah, yeah, what's up? We're not doing that. We're not doing that. This is Shaq. This is CEO. We're not doing that. Ticket, I hit you up. We're not doing it. Well, we're not doing that. it. That's too much. That's that's way too much. So carry on. FYF, keep cooking. Hey. But hold on, hold on. But fi finish your take. And like I said, low, I need to hear from you. Is Draymond Green a Hall of Famer? Ticket, I will bring you back in momentarily. I'm gonna let you simmer down. Go ahead, finish your take. When we, when we, like I said, I just ended. I'll end it very soon here. Again, people take shots at Draymond because there's so many moments, right? Like during the time when Steph Curry was hurt and, and Clay Thompson was hurt, where Draymond was out there with a bunch of rookies, and people like to take cheap shots at him for years like that and say, "Oh, you couldn't lead. You couldn't turn into Kobe and lead a team full of young players to the playoffs." That was never his role, and nobody expected him to do that. The, the the Golden State organization didn't expect him to do that. They expected him to do one thing that year. That was to help the young guys along, the guys that they planned on keeping on that roster moving forward in the future, help them along, help them become pros, and then they would move on. He did exactly that job. 
that was already confirmed by all of the young players on that team. They said he was early to practice, helping them out for players that like Eric Pastel, who couldn't remember a play. He taught he gives big praise to players like Draymond because he talks about how he helped all the young guys along. So, again, we give kudos to Draymond, or at least I do, because I know what he does great as as a player, as a former player myself and tick and anybody who's played anybody who's a scorer, anybody who knows basketball would love to play with a guy like Draymond because he does all the little things that most players don't want to do because you don't get credit for him. There's no stat. There's no running stat total for getting tip balls. There's no running stat total for hockey assists. There's no running stat total for setting screens. What player do y'all know says, I want to be the best screen setter in the league, right? There's no, you, there's no stat for that. And when you have a player willing to do all those things, the things that you don't get nothing for, no, no, nothing for, that's that's one of the reasons why Steph is so great. Have you have y'all seen how Steph plays when Draymond Green is not on the floor? I just look at the times when Draymond Green, their their offensive efficiency goes into the ground, right? Mm-hmm. So Steph even has an appreciation for Clay has an appreciation for him. All right. So again, we 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 harp on so many things with him. We try to nitpick the offense, and you'll run the offense to the ground and say he can't be this, that. I understand that. But again, he made the most of a very minimal skill set and he became a Hall of Famer. Um, based on what he's done in the NBA in college. Bet, bet. Low, Mars, Bob, I need to hear from you guys. Man, Jesus. Um, yeah, he's all of Famer. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, a player who's been a seven-time – even if you want to just look at a resume from a resume standpoint, seven-time all-defensive team. He's two gold medalists, um, won four championships, DPOI recipient. I mean, I don't like off of that resume alone. Everybody who has a similar resume has has been in a um has been in a Hall of Fame. Like I, I if I'm not mistaken, I think only Bruce Bowen and um I, I think that that may be it. Are the only is I think that maybe the only player who has more all defensive teams and is not in the Hall of Fame. Everybody else who who has that level of defensive intensity has been in a Hall of Fame. And I even like being hypercritical of Draymond right now i think it's completely unfair because most players most all-time great defenders do not have a level of defense defensive impact beyond a, a five six seven year span so to expect draymond to be an elite level defender for practically a decade straight is like almost unheard of but even if you want to believe that he should be that i'll be further proof that he is um a hall of famer and i think we do this thing where i don't think i think many people don't understand like the impact that Draymond has on that team defensively, like defensively alone, he he is anchored one of the better um, defensive units over the past seven years. So it's, it's not just, he is a a good defender. It's not just that the, the warriors are um, a really good defensive unit when he's on the floor. Like, no, they, they are at the top of the league every single year when he is on the floor and at their absolute best, they perform at all time heights when he is on the floor. Granted, yes, there are other defensive pieces around him, so I don't want to make it seem like it's just him. However, that's that's essentially how everybody operates. Even Tim Duncan, as great as he was, still had other great defensive pieces around him. But Draymond undeniably has been the only consistent piece from start to finish through this dynasty. He's been the catalyst. He's been the one who set the groundwork. And if you are assessing Draymond, based off of a stat sheet, then you're kind of missing the point. Got you. Yo, Mars, you are the Lone Warriors fan up here. Can we get an <laughs> honest opinion? Own it, no, Mars. Su- Own no it. subjectivity. Is Draymond Green a Hall of Famer? Um, Yeah, I think I've said I think he should have been on the top 75. So, yes, he's a Hall of Famer. I think, I think <laughs> the issue with Draymond Green is if you don't, a understand basketball or b you judge players by watching a box score you can't understand or fathom why people praise draymond green because what is he average like eight seven and seven something like that and then you see that he's next to these great offensive players stephen clay kd you can't understand why he is as impactful as people say he is but it's because basketball is more than the rebounds per game more than the blocks per game more than the steals per game so when people ask what does Draymond do defensively, that's so great. And it just shows that all you're doing is looking at the box score to make those assessments. Because Draymond Green could average Hassan Whiteside numbers in terms of blocks, and you would think he was making a great impact defensively. But the issue is what Draymond Green does defensively is makes the other team's offense substantially worse without the blocks, without the 10 rebounds, 
without the two and a half steals a game. He does it without all those things. But you actually have to watch the games to understand what's going on. And then the issue is when people, and then even when you do have the people who watch the games, then you have the, the other casuals who only watch the ball. So then they only see, well, Draymond Green isn't guarding the best player on the other team. So how is he bringing all this defensive value? It's another situation where you have to understand basketball and the nuance to know that if one player has the ball, four other people don't. So there's more to defense than just guarding the one guy with the ball because four people don't have the ball. Steph Curry is a clear mention of that. Off-ball offense is a big thing. Same reason as off-ball defense. Draymond Green makes offense harder for other teams even when they don't even when he's not guarding the guy with the ball directly. It's just you have to understand basketball and how it works to really fathom the impact Draymond Green has. But I guess it's not for everyone. Got you. Okay, Bob, I'm pretty sure you're on the other side of the fence based on your prior takes. How do you feel about Draymond, his resume, and him as a player being in that Hall of Fame contention? Um, you know, <clears throat> Ron, if it's okay with you, I'm going to answer I'm gonna answer that question in a moment. Um I want to go back to about an hour and a half ago when, uh, <laughs> when uh, Ticket when Tick and FYF was talking about um, Scotty Pippen. As everybody up here knows, I almost got laughed off the show because I got Scotty Scotty Pippen in my top ten. So it was it, it was it was good to hear FYF, you know, showing that love to Scotty. But at the same time, by no stretch of the imagination, is Scotty Pippen better than Hakeem Olajuwon? Uh, now back to back to. Uh, uh, Draymond, Draymond, right? Draymond, he he he's a Hall of Famer, but he's not a first ballot Hall of Famer. Chill, I gotta go against you on that one because mm -hmm. uh, my thing is a lot. Of, so, like, take ass. What would Draymond be doing without Steph, without Steph and Clay? Which is a fair question, but at the same time, that he can't, he can't, he can't, you know, has no control over where he gets drafted to. So, a lot of people say Robert Ory or Derek Fisher aren't in the Hall of Fame because of who they play with. For Robert Ory, Hakeem Olajuwon, Shaq, Kobe. Um, Tim Duncan. So he has a lot of rings, but he got those with great players. Draymond Green has the same benefit as Robert Ory. So therefore, if Robert Ory and Derek Fisher aren't going to be first ballot Hall of Famers, I think we should go off that same criteria with, Dray with Draymond Green. As, as Just as Ticket said, what is Draymond great at? What does he do that he's the best at? I don't see anything. Well, there's plenty of guys, Big Ox, that are in the Hall of Fame that weren't great at anything, but they were really good at a whole bunch of other things. Well, that's, I, I, he should be the Hall of Fame, too. I just don't think he's the first ballot Hall of Famer. I and, think it's one of those things he should hold on for. Yeah, and the reason why I think he's the first ballot Hall of Famer because it's a, it's an accumulation of his entire career. Like I told, like like we talked about, I mean, his career at Michigan State, he's the all-time leading rebounder in Michigan State history. Of all the players that ever came through Michigan State, he's the all, no, numero uno. You want to go? Uh, you, he's the all-time leading rebounder in Michigan well, State. Could, Hell yeah, I want to cook you for that. Hell <laughs> yes, I, I want to cook you for that. I'm going to cook your ass. Because I, 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 I want to make sure I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. So here we are. So we're talking about a blue blood. We're talking about a blue blood school in Michigan State, right? And I am the best rebounder to ever come through here, ever. That includes Kentucky. So we talk about teams at Kentucky, Duke, North Carolina. Uh, Duke, all of these great schools. I went to a blue blood school and I am the all time leading rebounder in this school's history. Took my team to the final four. I was the Big Ten player of the year. Big Ten is a power five school. I was the best player in that league. So when we move on to the NBA, I was the best defensive player at one point in the NBA. So when you talk <laughs> about him, when you, when you talk about him, what he does great. He might not do one thing particularly great, like Olajuwon rim protects, or like Michael Jordan scores, or like John Stockton passes. But man, does he do a whole lot of other things to impact the basketball? Well, let's get to it. Let's get to it then. Cause see, I see right now, I'm gonna have to get all you suckers all rolled in one. Cause none got more flows than Young. Plus, got more flows to come. You understand what I'm saying? Huh? <laughs> Bring huh? it, ticket. Bring it. Huh? Bring it. Bring it, ticket. Nigga, I ain't better than Big. I'm the closest one, nigga. Fuck wrong with bring you it. niggas. Like I said bring before, it bring it. Call, low, low, you're the legend of losing, low. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you a liar, too. First of all, no, you don't lie. You skew, you skew, you and Lamont, and you, and you greasy dudes, you, you skew the stats, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, Draymond made those defensive teams in the weakest era in defense in the history of the NBA, sucker. Now, like I said, mm. right, Big Ben Wallace and them dudes, he was making first-team All-NBAs, winning four Defensive Player of the Year 
boards mm -hmm. in the toughest defensive era in basketball. Draymond Green is in the worst defensive era in the history. The Rock means history of basketball. But y'all praising dudes for being in a weak-ass era the same way these dudes is all scoring 40 points like Cam Thomas and all these dudes in an era where it's the easiest to score in the history of basketball. But you're praising dudes who are non-real factors and have been exposed on the highest levels in the biggest games. Like I said before, who was Draymond's competition? But then we go back and we look at the real defensive demons, like the Kim May Matumbo and all these dudes. Look at all the guys they had to play against competition-wise to make those defensive right. teams. Right. Draymond ain't got nobody he's going up against defensively. He can make those defensive teams because it ain't really that many defensive bases in the league. Wait a minute. You guys tell me Rudy Gobert, the softest dude to walk planet Earth in the last 10 years in the NBA? Huh? That's supposed to be his competition? See, now I'm really finna slow cook you niggas. Like I said before, and he wasn't a better defender than Kawhi Leonard those years. Because those years Draymond was in the league, Kawhi Leonard was a better defender than Draymond. So that's another lie. Way better. Those effects. One-on-one -on -one defender too. Not no help defense. So like I said, you don't get in the NBA Hall of Fame just from, oh, man, you know what I'm saying? He was a help, good help defender. <laughs> good, good NBA Hall of Fame. That's not what this is. We're not going to do that. It's not the NBA Hall of Fame. We're not doing that. No, I'm not saying that. We're not doing that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that, chill. All I'm saying to you, all I'm saying to you is this. You guys are saying that he played with the greatest players that ever played and got chips off their back, Right? But when, when one of those guys was out, he did. Their team was trash. They did, when, when Clay Thompson was out, they make the playoffs. Where was his effect? He's supposed to be an all-star, Hall of Famer, something. When Scottie Pippen was out, Michael Jordan Scott, and Dennis Rodman dominated the league. What did this dude do? Him and Steph Curry couldn't even make the playoffs. Y'all praising his foolishness for these young cats. Like I said, and I'm still waiting on Lamont to put my stats beside his because mine killed me. Like I said before. So let's get to it. Am I we're, we're not going to put on. no stats on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, hold on. I'm not finished. Ron, I'm not finished. Let the Ron mm -hmm. finish cooking. Because you smell Ticket. what I'm cooking right now, boy. And I know, Ticket. and it smells Ticket. good. Ticket. Point blank, period. Don't like I said, we give Draymond Green credit for playing in the weakest defensive era in basketball. In my line, is this not the weakest defensive era where teams are scoring 140 points a night, not playing no deep? The, 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 the points have been going up. All these years, the defense ain't been played, right? But Chilltown, who is a student of the game, who came from the era, he an old nigga capping for young niggas. That's sad because you know the difference. You know, tell out. You know the comp. Tell out. You know the competition that all those dudes had defensively. So does low. But y'all play this game, and y'all want to put dudes that don't belong on that level on that level. These are facts. When Steph and Clay couldn't play. Draymond faked the injury, so he had to play. These are facts. How many times you seen this dude copping out, not wanting to play because his big dogs ain't playing? That ain't real. That ain't Hall of Fame type stuff. So once again, uh, I'm waiting for Low to tell me. Up. I'm waiting for Low to tell me what was Draymond Green's defensive competition when Low said he was making all these defensive teams. Who was his best, I, I best can, competition? I can, I, can, I can literally answer it. Kawhi, Anthony Davis, Tim Duncan. <laughs> His his no, first his Tim first Duncan. His Tim first, Duncan oh his, Tim his Duncan first, don't do that his first his his, his first his first all defensive team that he made he was competing with Kawhi AD and Tim Duncan even if you want to go beyond I said it went big I said it went big competition he's, 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 he's getting he's getting selected he's getting selected in as a forward he's not getting selected in as a center so those would mm -hmm. be his competition that that would be his competition. So that's a. Okay, if, you, if, you wanna, if you if you if you want if you want to remove Tim Duncan, Paul George will get in that conversation. If you don't want Paul George, Giannis will get in that conversation. So now so we're taking Draymond from the power forward. Where, now we're taking him from a big man position and trying to put him to a wing to buffer your argument, huh? No, that's that's how he got he got selected in as a forward. That's not that's not no, my. No, he's a that's power forward. Back. You're trying hold on. You're trying to move him into a, a wing and a guard spot, low low. What no, big I'm man not. was he competing with? I just, and when you're making an all defensive team, you make it either as a guard, forward, a center. He made it in as a forward. So the forwards that he was competing with Kawhi, Paul George, 
Anthony Davis, Giannis, th those are his competitions. When he when he first started making all defensive teams, objectively speaking, the NBA was not this high scoring league. In 2015, it was not this high scoring league. The offensive rating was on par with some of the years in the 90s and 80s. The amount of scoring that they were doing in the in, in 2015 was only right at a hundred points in 2015. And it didn't start getting crazy until the last two to three years. But when he started his defensive impact, the offense was just roughly around the same efficiency as it was in the 80s and 90s. That is all irrefutably true. So to say that he doesn't have competition, when you you praise Giannis, you praise Kawhi, even, even if you don't like A.B., I, I don't think anybody would argue that A.B. is not a great defender. I don't think anybody would not argue that Paul George is not a great defender. What you're saying is just objectively not true. AD, he come on. Well, 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 let's get another lie you put out there. Yeah, you said AD. It's easy to say AD when a man only play 45 games, 50 games a year. Mm. So uh, obviously he's gonna be out cooking up. Then, so then let's keep let's keep cooking. Let's keep cooking. Once again, you gave me three or four four players that he was competing against. I gave you in an era that Matumbo, Zoe Morning, all these other dudes are playing in, bro. I can name at least 20 hardcore defensive players, right? We don't praise Charles Oakley, but he was averaging that many double Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, chill, 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 hold on, hold on, one second, hold on, one second, chill, hold on, one second, chill, go ahead, go ahead, Oakley was there averaging a double double, he was there averaging a double double, didn't he average a double double a few years, uh, 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 Hill Town, didn't he average a double double a few years in Chicago, Oakley, yes. Yes, okay, so listen. So he had seasons where he averaged double double and he made an all star team too, right? But listen, we don't even and he and like I said, he averaged more points than Draymond for his career, right? He averaged more rebounds, right? So and he was a good he was a good passer as a big man too. We don't give him half the praise because he didn't play with the two greatest players that ever played a game of basketball. And and then Clay and then uh Kevin Durant. All I'm saying is this. All I'm saying is I think Draymond is a great role player. I don't think that he's not a good role player. I'm saying these dudes is on gas when they saying that this man, you understand what I'm saying, is the greatest player to ever play the game of basketball. Now see, Ron, y'all don't want me to get personal, right? But y'all let dudes come up and lie and y'all put that shit up on the screen, right? So when I start cooking dudes personally, don't get mad at me and say, ticket, man, don't do this. And y'all doing that, right? Because when I cook yeah, this boy right here, when I, when I, when I demolish his ass, right? Dude up here looking like that bag on a uh, 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 fake ass Jeremy Lin. When I, when I cook his ass, don't say nothing, right? So, like I said before, let's play fair, right? So we didn't right, get the, we didn't get we didn't we didn't get to see we didn't get to see Charles Oakley play with when Jordan and Pippen materialized into what they were. We didn't get to see that, right? And the reason why we didn't get to see that because Bill Cartwright fit better with that unit. But we did get to see Charles Oakley on an all-time great defensive unit. We did get to see that, did we not? And in the process of us seeing Charles Oakley on an all-time great defensive unit, how did that go? What, what unit are you talking about? When he was with the Knicks Boring. and Anthony Mason and when and, and when he was on that one, no, 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 I'm saying okay, good, okay, no, I'm, I'm thinking you talking about uh, point out a year, okay, look, so when they did that, they went to the NBA Finals, right? Yes, they did. Yes, yes sir. Okay, okay, and who did they lose to? They lost to uh, okay. the Houston Rockets. Yes, sir. Right. Hold on. Did they lose? Did they lose to the uh, to the Spurs? No, they lost. Uh, they lost to the Spurs. Um, what you call it? Oakley was already gone at in '99. He wasn't even there no more. Okay, he, was yeah, he, was in, he was in Toronto, right? He was in Toronto mm -hmm. at the time. He was already right? gone. He was already okay, gone. Okay, okay, but okay, but it ain't no shame in losing who they lost to because you no, lost. Nobody hold said on, that. hold on. You lost to the Dream. You lost Absolutely. to the Dream. Sure. Okay. So, so, no okay. So let's get this. Hold on. So all, all I want to do is say this, right? It's been other players who've been role players that have done just as great of a job as Draymond Green. But because they didn't play with Steph and Clay, we don't elevate them like that, bro. Bro, Robert Ory got a hand in seven world championships, offensively yes, and defensively. I'm talking about, bro, he's <laughs> – hold on. No, he's he does not have no hand, bro. He's guarding the best – hold on. He have a better defensive rating all time than Draymond, was, too. But look, there was finals where he didn't back. come into the end of the game. On, Lo, don't put your head, time out. Oh, don't put your head, Lo. Don't put that <laughs> no, head, Lo. Man, he did not have the same low, impact. Lo, I'm finna cook you. Robert Ory was guarding all the best big men in the league. He was well, guarding. He was to not. Well, yes, he was. Cause Shaq, come out. He was guarding. Come out. No. He was guarding Power Boys and Shaq was guarding the centers. Stop lying. He was guarding Chris Webber and Shaq was guarding Bloody Divac. Shaq was guarding Scott Pollard. 
Pat was guarding uh, uh, the other boy that came off the bench, Lawrence Funderburk. Robert Ord was guarding all the great power forwards in that era of basketball. So stop lying, boy. The hell you going to sit up here and lie for? He was all the dudes he was Weber guarding. was cooking him. What? Chris Weber, Chris Weber was cooking him in 2002. Chris no, no, no. Come on, come on. You make, come on. You make my point. Hold on. You make my point. And, and Pascal Siakam was cooking Draymond, but you I don't just, hold I that just, against Draymond. I just, I just watched that game that you were referencing. He scored a grand total of four points on him. Most of That's his points were on wide open. It's not. I said, I said four points on him. Most of his points were made off of wide open. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. Most of his points were in transition or in wide open shots. He scored a grand total of four of him in a one-on-one -on -one situation. I just watched every single last shot. That's not a lie. Lamont? <laughs> I don't know why how do you, people... How do you feel on the matter? I don't know why people consistently try to bring up Robert Ory when talking about Draymond Green, and it's not even close, because Robert Ory was never asked to do the things that Draymond was to do. Draymond has a role on both sides of the ball. He, he has to facilitate... The go to stay warrior offense, which again, everybody thinks is just this easy task. But just just last year, I, do y'all remember? I want any Golden State Warrior fans to tell me when Draymond Green got hurt, what happened to the offensive and defensive efficiency of that team? Where they were cooking up until December, Draymond Green gets hurt, and then that team looks like hot garbage when Draymond Green gets hurt. They don't get him back into the playoff start. But as soon as he comes back, they proceed to go ahead and cook and run through the playoffs as soon as Draymond came back. Again, we can go to any player in NBA history, any of the greats. You can target one game here, one game there, where they might have got outplayed by another dude. That does not make them good at something. Just Pascal, just because Pascal Siakam scored 30 on an injured Golden State Warrior team don't mean he did the greatest thing since sliced bread. That Look, where, what is he doing now? What has he done since? He hasn't done anything since. Right. So, again, let's let's not elevate guys over one game like it like Tick is doing. It's not we're not putting Draymond Green in the Hall of Fame over one game. We're putting him in. I'm saying he's in the Hall of Fame. It's a culmination of things from college all the way to NBA, from season to season of greatness. As Lowe talked about, as Chill talked about, the one of the hardest things to do consistently when playing basketball is play defense on a year in year out basis. It's one of the hardest things to do to be great at is play defense. Yet Draymond Green's been good at it on different facets from guarding on the perimeter, having to switch off and guard bigs, having to switch off and guard wings. He's been asked to do it all defensively. He's done it all without complaint, and we can't get mad at him just because he got lucky enough to get drafted to the Golden State Warriors. And I've said multiple times, I told Tickets this the other day, sometimes getting ranked in these all-time rankings and Hall of Fame, sometimes it takes a little bit of luck. The example in that is just look at James Worthy and Dominique Wilkins. Imagine if the Lakers would have drafted Dominique Wilkins. And let's say James Worthy would have went to the Atlanta Hawks. Just that one difference right there had left Dominique Wilkins off the first top 50 F5. because James F5. Worthy went to the went to the right team. So it's a little bit we of could, luck involved in this. We, we can we can we can dead that logic right now. Doc Rivers said, quote, the difference between James Worthy and Dominique Wilkins is magic had James Worthy. Doc had me. That's the difference. So, so I mean. It's, you know, like I say, sometimes it takes a little bit of luck. Sometimes it's about being in the right situation at the right time, and that determines the trajectory of your career. But we've seen a ton of players get put in the beautiful situations and not excel. So we've seen good players get put, you know, we just talked, we just saw with Kyrie Irving. He's been in great situation after great situation after great situation. He's found a way to blow up and 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 then not function properly or not work with most of the situation. You're playing with KD. You're playing with all these great stars, and yet it don't work. It only work with LeBron James. So we know just being in a good – it takes a little bit more than just being in a good situation. It takes you actually doing your job, playing your role, and adding to the impact as far as these teams actually win and being a part of it. You can't just be put in a situation and it work. Yo, yo, uh, everybody, I see all the Super Chats. Like, I'm not blind. I see them. We're only an hour into the show. You guys relax. We cooking on a hot topic right now. Uh, we will talk about the Dallas Mavericks, Luka mm -hmm. Doncic, Kyrie Irving. We got to talk about that. We're going to talk about what's next in Brooklyn as well. Uh, but before we do that, we are going to go ahead and get into these Super Chats right now. Oh, Ron, you, 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 you Ric Flair. You the dirtiest player in the game. You seen me down there, Ron. You ain't want to let me up because you want to let Lamont get his whole thing off, Ron. That's okay. I already know I'm playing against he, a loaded deck. I already he, know. He, he, he wasn't cooking right there, Oh, yeah, yeah. You already know. You seen me. 
You seen me, Ron. Don't act like you ain't seen me, Ron. What? Ron, you got 2020 yes no. vision, You wanted Lamont to get off everything he said. And he got Look, it off. Ron, Ron, <laughs> you are a great player. You the dirtiest player in the game. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's okay, Ron. I, 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 hey, Ron. I'm Hulk Hogan, the Ric Flair, Ron. Don't worry about that. And you remember what happened with that? Put the big leg drop on his socket and get his ass the hell up out of here. Like I said before, like I said before, once again, in Chill Town, you are sad, as I was saying, bro. You are old dude capping for young dudes, bro. And that's just sad, man. Why do you keep saying I'm capping for you? Why, why, why do you keep saying I'm capping? Who, 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 I got who so am much I capping for you, bro? Man, you don't been through wars on you. I got so much love for you, dog. Who am I capping for? Who am I capping for? Bro, you capping for these young cats, bro. You know Draymond Green ain't Hall of Famer, bro. But you say this. Hold on. Chill down. You will say this because you know everybody in the comment section will say, oh, man, I don't like Ticket, man. Ticket ain't this. So what you do is you'll go with the you'll go with the you'll go with the crowd just to go against me. That's not true. Wait, wait. Ticket, how can you say something like that when I've been to your house? How can you say something like that? That is not true. That's number one. Number two, you know what's sad, Ticket? And to the dude, and to Lamont, and, and, to Lamont, and, and Lamont's a liar. He uh, said one game, Pascal cooked in the whole series. He, and you said against an injured team. That team wasn't injured to start the series. That team wasn't injured to start the series. They was healthy this with Draymond true. Green, Steph Curry, and Klay Thompson. We ain't, we ain't going to add KD. He was, he was extra. He was guarding him one-on-one -on -one and barbecued his ass. Right? He's a fact. So let's not say one game. Y'all praise Draymond. Who is Draymond Green locked down? Who? Who? Who is Draymond? I, I, I want you to ask me, who yeah. is Draymond Green locked so, down ever in the so, series? So, in the first, so. hold on, in the first finals, Iggy got the finals MVP because he hopped right. on LeBron James. And LeBron right. was shooting 30% when Iggy was guarding him. In the last NBA finals, right? Boy. Andrew Wiggins <laughs> was playing the best defense. Andrew Wiggins was playing the best defense. And a dude named Gary Payton the second. And the other two, KD was the reason why they won those chips. So what, 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 I'm just trying to figure out where is all this defense low talking about right if now? You, where was all look, this, this defense three you, years ago? If you, four if years this ago. Is the last, look, now, right quick, this is the last question. We're going to talk about Draymond, and then we're going to go ahead and move on. But answer, I need to know who is Draymond locked up. That's if you, if you, if you watch the series, Draymond actually played better defensively against LeBron and Iguodala. Iguodal, those made up stats, and they are made up stats that ESPN continues to push. If you just watch those series, they, ESPN would attribute steals to Iguodala that never actually occurred. Steals in which uh, are turnovers to LeBron where he would turn the ball over and Iguodala would be on the bench and they would attribute to him. I've already made a whole video about that. If you actually look at the game, record it yourself, the player who actually got more stops from an individual standpoint was Draymond. The problem with a lot of defensive metrics is that they don't tell the whole truth, which is why I don't really like using defensive metrics. The reason why Iguodala's defensive, met defensive metrics look so great is because beyond, I believe, two, game two or three, they were sending help religiously. And then in game five or six, whatever the closeout game was, Iguodala got in foul trouble, and Draymond was the one who actually picked him up and was the one who was defending him. And he struggled all throughout the remainder of the game as Draymond being the primary defender. In terms of him locking down someone that uh, again in, in today's game there's not it's not an individual one-on-one -on -one. if you watch them play bro it's switch, switching rotating sending help knowing when to properly make the proper assessments defensively it's not a one-on-one -on -one situation and most of the teams especially in the postseason it's guard heavy anyway in the western conference between their matchups with uh Kawhi, well Kawhi is more for but he's more perimeter oriented Kawhi Harden and Damian Lillard so the players that that are needed to be stopped Draymond isn't the one who's going to be defending him because that's not his responsibility but in terms of impacting the game beyond who you're defending on a one-on-one -on -one basis which defense is more than just one-on-one -on -one, yes Draymond is a Draymond's not just amazing at it he he does it at a historic level so my last question is this would Draymond Green be a hall of famer if he didn't play with Steph Clay and KD Hey, when I when I simulated it on 2K, uh, he was the Hall of Famer. Oh my God! <laughs> hey, Lamar, you, already going, you already going to hell. So I, I, don't no, want I, to I simulated it. I simulated. Go, I put him on the Bucks go, with Giannis, and he go, was a Hall of Famer still. Come I, on, if man. I did the video. About, and that's the hold on the mind. And what you just said is the problem. These little kids going on. I did 2K. it on the video. I simulated. Play. We're going on 2K. We're going on real life, man. We no, but you said life, if bro. the closest thing we can get to simulating that is I simulated it, hey, and hey, Draymond bro. was a Draymond Green won six championships with Giannis and the Bucks, 
He was nine <laughs> times defensive player of the year. Nah, he made the first team all defensive team I'm, I'm, every year he played. I'm That's the closest I'm we can get. He was even I'm better with the Bucks. He was even better with the Bucks. And I'm done with it. I'm gonna tell y'all why that's a lie. Simulated, man. I see. Hold on. I'm gonna tell y'all why that's a lie, and I'm done with it. He would have never been able to win those type of championships and awards with LeBron because LeBron controls the ball most of the time. Draymond would be mitigated because he's the one who usually pushes the rock up and initiates the offense for the Golden State Warriors off the rebound. If you play with LeBron James, his ass would be in the fucking corner shooting bricks on the bench and oh, out the damn league. Yeah, hold Put on, let on me bus. finish. Let me finish. I'm hold up. Wait a minute. Let me he put some pimping it. in it. Then he if you play it. with Giannis, if you play with Giannis, guess what? Giannis do the same thing as LeBron James. Giannis gets the rock off the rim, pushes it up court, or if it's not him, it's Drew Holiday handling the rock. So his game wouldn't fit with the Bucs because the Bucs don't have the same type of all-time great shooters that the Golden State Warriors have. Oh, let's keep going. If you put him with KD and Kyrie and the Brooklyn Nets, would it work then? No. Why? Because Joe Harris can't make a shot to save his life in the playoffs. Kevin Durant. He's the type of dude you can get a ball to and play with. But Kyrie Irving, he needs to get it, go, and dance. And then if they had James Harden or Ben Simmons, he wouldn't have been able to play his game because those two guys need a ball to push up too. So shut the hell up. What's up? Well, well, to be honest with to be honest with you though, um <laughs> ticket. Mars, you good? You, you I, I'm you said I, I, topic like 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I know. I, I, just, just, I'll, I'll just say this. Yes, Mo got it, some yes. interesting to it's, contribute. So no, nah, this, this, this will be yes, yes. Draymond does Mars, benefit. shut your ass up and enjoy the show. You see how many people watching? <laughs> shut the hell up, boy. He he benefits immensely from the team that he's on. Like that's not I'm not I don't think anybody really is here to debate that. He he mm -hmm. benefits immensely. But that that if we're being honest with ourselves, that is a good that is a good portion of the players in the hall of fame anyway. It's a lot. Now there's there, 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 there's a good that's portion a of the Hall of Famers. Lo, you ain't a liar, benefit. Lo. Lo, no, you are a no. you are a dirty liar right there. Lo, there, there's a there's lo, a lo, good lo, portion lo, of the Hall of Famers. This ain't gonna take me over ten seconds, Lo. Lo, if you put any of those other players, if you put any of those other players on other teams, Lo, and I'm talking about it's in the Hall of Fame, they would still be great. If you put Scotty on a different team, Lamont says it all the time. So does Bob. He still be a Hall of Famer. If you put Gary Payton on a different team. He'd still be a Hall of Famer, sir. If you put a Keem on any team, he'd still be a Hall of Famer. If you put Mike on any Akeem team, wasn't Hall of Famer. When I if you put, if you put, it, say what? Stop! Akeem, please Akeem. stop! Please stop! Please stop! <laughs> what? I right, yes, yes, but but but, but, but so all but, them but dudes ticket, in the Hall of Fame. Hold on, all them dudes in the Hall. You could have put them on any team, and they still would have been in the Hall. So but that ticket, could your narrative. Ticket, ticket, I dare chill town. Hey, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I ask? Can I? Let's. We can round it up with this. Ticket, you're using. Literally, like top fifty. Name me one dude time. in the Hall of Fame, Lo, you're, that would not have that would not have got work on the team he was on. Name me one. Casey Jones. That's a guy. Man. Bill boy, Bradley. Some, they Bill some Bradley. Yo, what? Y'all, boy, y'all niggas disrespectful right here, bro. If if the only thing we can do with Draymond is talk about a whole bunch of if scenarios that we can only simulate on 2K, if that's the only way you can bring down this game, no, that I'm, tells you you're standing on a no, weak no, no, foundation Lamont, with your logic. Lamont, you're using a video I'm, game. I'm, I'm talking about I'm talking about what actually happened. You're talking about no, 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 ifs no, no. that we can only simulate. Game. Lamont, all I'm saying is this. Everything that you say oh, Lamont, only happens okay, in video games. Okay, Lamont, should a Hall of Famer's game travel? Let me ask everybody on the panel. Should a Hall of Famer be able to be no, great No, not all Hall of Famer's games travel. Hall okay. of Famers are made Hall of Famers based on what they do in their career. We don't judge them on a whole bunch of ifs if their game travels. So, so we judge them on Lamont. what they so did. let me get it straight. Now it's not about your game now. It's the just Hall about of Fame. No, the Hall of Fame. You no, the Hall of Fame, the most trash hooper can get into the Hall of Fame if you make the most of your career. If you get a ton of accolades, achievements, and winning, and you have a lot of impact on winning, you can get a Hall of Fame. Like I said, Draymond Green is not the most skilled player in the world. He made the most of his situation and talent, and he put himself in a situation where he can get a Hall of Fame nod. Nobody's saying he's Jordan with the ball of Kobe or all these guys, but he made the most of a good situation, more so than a lot of other guys like i just said with Kyrie, kyrie has been in a ton of great situation and never made the most of any of them unless he was with lebron so at the end of the day we can't knock him for what he's done and capitalizing off his situation why am i to knock him for that why do i drop him down because of these ifs and if you put him on the clippers if you put him on these other things like i said the only way i can see what ifs where ifs happen that's if i simulate it on 2k and when i simulated it he was even better than what, he, what we've seen with the Bill, Bill Bradley got in because he has two championships. That is literally their definition of like somebody getting in. Bill Bradley doesn't have an All NBA. He doesn't have really any individual accolades outside of one All Star appearance. That's it. Bill Bradley got in. 
because he 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 was on a team. That career average. Yeah, his career, career average was twelve like three and three. Right, and, and, and what and what was he in, and what was he in college? Uh, I got to go double check. Oh, right. and, 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 and he was awesome in the Ivy League. He went to right, Princeton. Chill, so was, chill, was, so chill. That's awesome. right. Go ahead. He was he, he was awesome in the Ivy League. I think he was Player of the Year in the Ivy League twice, something like that. So, I think that's but, different. If I'm not mistaken, that's not the reason why he got in. If I'm not mistaken. Well, him, yeah, he was, like, I mean, well, let me tell you, let me take that back. That's that's like Christian, it. That's like Christian of Leitner got in based off their college career, so cut it out, man. Christian Leitner is not in the Hall of Fame. He's not excuse, a Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame excuse me, dudes like Christian Leitner got into the. I'm oh, sorry, dudes like Christian Leitner, Leitner got into the basketball, uh, to the college basketball Hall of Fame because of his because of his career. Excuse he's me, he's not, but Whoa. he's not in, but he's not in the Mike, basketball. So, but hold on, but hold on, hold on, hold on, right? But and he had, didn't he have a couple good seasons in the league? Chill town, Christian Leitner, yeah. He made the All Star team. I right. think he made the All Star right. team. Right. One time. Hold, on, hold, on, yeah. hold on. And do you think he was a better basketball player, just skill wise, than Draymond Green? In terms of his skill set, I, I think the, I think that he might have been a better basketball player, but I think that Draymond Green's impact was more than what Christian Leitner. So was. I'm saying, Christian, so my whole if point Christian, is, if Christian I don't Leitner, say, I don't mind if you say College Basketball Hall of Fame because Draymond got that. But when you talk about the Pro Basketball Hall of Fame, when you combine it everything, bro, can't there's do it. The, there's the problem, though, Ticket. There is no Pro Basketball Hall of Fame. It's the Basketball Hall of Fame. And yeah, it just so happens that pros are in it. Right. It just so happens that pros are in it. Y'all got it. Go ahead, Ron. Y'all got all it. Right. Go ahead. All right. All right. Let's get into these Super Chats. We will not be talking about Draymond for the rest of the season. We've the talked about him year. for the rest <laughs> of his career. <laughs> 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 all right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and dive into these Super Chats from the top. We got a lot to get through. Let's yep. go ahead and get into them. My man Sports PSP said, I wonder how low is processing Kyrie going to Dallas and can't wait to hear Chill's Super Bowl prediction. Uh, who wants to go first? Chill, let's just start with your Super Bowl prediction, and then we're going to go ahead and just dive into this whole Kyrie thing. Uh, I'm, a 49, you, I'm, a, I'm a 49er fan, and I've always felt like the team that beat your team and won it makes your team look better. So I'm rolling with the Eagles because they beat my team. Oh, so it makes, it makes it look so much better because my team lost to the champs. So that's number one. I think that Philadelphia defensively and offensively, as good as Patrick Mahomes is, I think that they're going to be able to handle Kansas City, and I think they win the bowl game. Uh, in terms of my me processing Kyrie, boy, there's a lot to talk about with that whole thing. I'm upset because the, uh, obviously they didn't go to the Lakers, but I decided I'm a Bucks fan now because I can't I can't root for a team. You front runner, you better not do that. No, I, 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 I can't. That See, at least I went to Houston. At least no I went to Houston. Nah, 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 nah. You must I be out of your mind. I can't. You, I can't, that can't, you want that Lakers bandwagon? You better stay on nah, it. I don't hear none of your nonsense. I can't. Get out of here, for, low. I can't root for a team that that employs Rob Palenka. It's ridiculous, dog. Uh -huh. I'm low. I can't. I'm trying to tell you, low. We'll accept. We'll accept you in Sacramento. But Sacramento be also a bandwagoning, so I can't join them either. I might as well go to the trade. Go to the trade. Oh my goodness gracious! Stop. Stop. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here for, here for Houston. Like. Oh man, stop, stop, stop! But in terms of Kyrie, um, I don't know. Personally speaking, I know I'm, I'll get flagged for this. I don't even know what why people are so upset at what Kyrie did. If I'm thinking that being Kyrie in the, in, the, in the off season said that he didn't want to stay, he voiced his opinion then. Joe Sy and them decided they were going to play around and act like they were. We're not going to give him the contract. And then once they came to the agreement that they were not on the same page, they went to the market, found out that nobody wanted Kyrie, or at least they didn't give something of value. And so here we are like a, a few months later, and it's the same thing. Kyrie already told y'all that I'm only going to stay here if y'all give me the contract, if not trade me. So we knew this. Joe Sy just should have just blown it up in the uh, offseason. But um, in terms of him going to Dallas, that's great for them. I still think it's a bad trade for the Nets. And the Nets are just a poorly ran franchise for the past, like, going on 15 years now. One of the worst ran franchises in the NBA. Yo, Big Ox, how do you feel about Kyrie in Dallas? Uh, I'm still – I just got to see it. I got to see it. Um, if you want my, my opinion right now, that's only, there's only one basketball. You know? There's only one basketball. So I'm not really sold on what's going to happen down there. But like I said, I mean, it's scary, though. It's a lot of firepower. And I think um, not this weekend, but I think next week we play we play them back-to-back -back in Sacramento. We play, we play them Friday and Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. So that's that's going to be what I need to see. If they come and kick our ass, then, you know, I'll go ahead and, I'll, I'll go ahead and accept it. But I don't, I don't really think that's going to happen, though. So I'll, we'll see what happens when we, when we play them. Got you. Chill Town, what's going on in Dallas? I think this is – they got worse defensively, but – He's a better player than Brunson was. And I think now what this is going to do with Dallas is we're going to find out if Luca 
can actually play with another star and can he play off the basketball? And I think this is a win-win for Dallas, to be honest with you, because if this works and they end up getting to the finals, if this works and they end up getting to the finals and he walks out the front door, which I think he's going to do because I think he's a rental, if this works and he gets to the finals, I think this makes Luka and I think this makes Dallas an even more attractive place because, one, Luka shows that he can play off the basketball with another star, and, two, they got a lot of money down there in Dallas, so they can pay. So with that being said, I think this is a win-win for Dallas, to be honest with you. Plus, with the as far as the new as far as the Nets, I mean, they did save $18 million with this trade from a business standpoint. I can I can get with that logic, but I don't understand why KD is still on the roster. I don't get it. I don't get it either. Hmm. Boy. Mars, can we hear your uh Kyrie and Luca take? Um it, it helps them offensively because you have now someone can take the burden off of Luca because we've seen that Dallas Mavericks offense is not viable as an NBA offense without Luka Doncic on the floor. Now you have someone else you can take a load off of him. It it also helps when teams want to trap or double Luka, you have a, another viable option on the court at the same time. But the, the biggest issue is going to be defensively. They're already like a bottom 10 defense, if I'm not mistaken. And now you've lost Dorian Finney-Smith. Even Spencer Dinwiddie isn't good, but he's not atrocious. You add Kyrie, who I'd say is average at best defensively. Luka Doncic obviously has his problems. This this team defensively come playoff time, that probably is the thing that's going to hold them back. If if you think their favorites out the West, sure, but the defense is going to be. If that's if there's any reason why they won't make it out the West, it's going to be because of their defense, in my opinion. Got you, got you, Yo, Lamont. Contenders or pretenders, the Dallas Mavericks right now after this big trade. C- contenders, but not not on um, a championship level. You're gonna see a lot of highlights, a lot of high scoring games. I think this was a a trade that's gonna make it look good to finish out this season. It's gonna show a lot of promise if they can keep this core group together. I think if you have an off season with these two and you can really revamp your offense and figure out how you're going to share the ball amongst Kyrie and Luca a little bit better over over a full offseason. And then maybe if you can go into the offseason, if you can add a player like a, a Draymond Green to to make up for the, you know, the defensive, uh, you know, pre- like the, and that's what they're missing. They lost. The, I don't think they're, they're missing a Hall of Fame defender. They're mi- well, they're missing. Like, I think they're going to really, really miss. Dorian Finney-Smith a lot more than what they think. I know he's not a big, big name, but they're going to miss him bad, and it's going to really show in the playoffs when it's time to really lock down and defend them, pick and rolls, and you need guys that can chase over screens and really get after three-point shooters. That's where you're going to feel that pain the most when you need them crucial stops late game. So I don't think they can do it this year. I think it's going to show a lot of promise. Maybe Mark Cuban can find a way to convince Kyrie to stay. I think I think that's what they walked in. They said we're gonna, you know, we're gonna show you why we want you here, and that that's what's gonna sell you if you can convince them to stay and then add this add this off season. I think it's a, a next season. That's when we'll see the most optimized form of the Mavericks. But I, I don't know if we'll see it this year. That's Absolutely. why I think it, that's why I think it's a win win for Dallas because if he walks out the front door, they're showing Luca that we're trying, and they also have money in the summer to sign somebody else as opposed to they're just going to go with what they've had like they did with Dirk Nowitzki and basically run run Luka into the ground. And they were getting Kyrie Irving. I think that they're showing Luka that, yo, we are serious about winning it because I think they're further along. I think they further along. I mean, they went to the Western Conference Championship last year. So it's mm-hmm. obvious that they're not that far away. It's clear that they're there. So it's just a matter of this thing working out. Hello, Fluent. Nice, nice to have you on board. You haven't missed too much in that thing. We just been Tony Tone, what up? Talking about a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Finally, the voice of reason is here. Oh man, you all a bunch of sorry capping motherfuckers, straight up. Oh wow, all of you, all of you. I can't. I don't even know how I watched for an hour. I don't even know. Let's hear it, Fluent. Yeah. Do you, do you have anything you need to get off your chest? If not, I want to hear your thoughts on the Dallas Mavericks as currently constructed before we hear tickets thoughts. It's horrible, horrible. It's a terrible fit. You got two guys who need to have the ball in their hand all the time. Don't give me any bullshit about they can play off ball. They cannot. Um, there's not going to be any cap space because they're already over cap. So even when he does walk in the summer, which Kyrie will, it won't prove this to, to what Chill was saying. It will not prove to Luca we're trying. It'll prove that we're 
tried and failed again, like we do as Dallas Mavericks. Mavericks always try and fail. Give me one time where they put a really good player next to their superstar. Never. It's always role players. Um, so, no, I think it's going to be a horrible mess. I think it's not going to work. Um, and that's and listen, we're assuming that that's Kyrie on his best behavior. Is it going to be Kyrie on his best behavior? Because what's going to happen that first game when he's open and Luka dribbles the ball 400 times and then shoots? Because who dribbles the ball more, the most in the NBA right now? Luka Doncic. So that's what he's going to do. He can't just change his play style, bam, overnight. There's not mm. enough time in the season for them to figure out how to play together. It just it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I told you it's not gonna work. It's just it's it's a disaster. Horrible, horrible move. I think they, it, they didn't want other teams to get them. They probably just didn't want the Lakers to get them. It, it's not gonna work. It's a terrible move. And and that was the thing that was reported that Josiah he he was basically being spiteful and he didn't want Kyrie to go to the Lakers. He wanted uh, to go anywhere. I, I don't know if that. I don't know if that was really hey, that, that, that's that's the, didn't, he didn't want Russ. What would he want yeah. Russ for? No. That wasn't. Of course, he yeah, wants so to want. assume that it won't work. Oh, of course, he wants. Yeah, Russ. why? Yeah, why? Why are you assuming Absolutely. that it won't If work? I'm the Nets, I want Russ. What? Want what? Russ. What's Russ gonna do? Yes, if I'm the Nets, 100. percent What is Russ gonna do? He's gonna come in, do his thing. You're gonna lose a bunch of games. You'll get your draft picks, <laughs> and then next, and then, and then this summer you have 44 million dollars coming off the books. I want Russ. 44 million. Wait, Russ wait, wait, on the books for 44 million. That's number one. Number one, Russ is not on the books. 40, for whatever the hell he is. Like that, that, that's, that, that's number one. Number two. Whatever the number is. Number two. Did you forget that Kevin Durant is on that roster? Did you forget about that? Trade you think he's staying? I don't think. Apparently, I, I don't apparently think he's, so. No, you think he's saying no? Here's, here's the thing, Lo. The, 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 asking to text KD and say, <laughs> the truth. Hey, "Hold on, like you knew, like you knew you were going to get swept by the Celtics." Tell us the truth, like you did that time when you said, "Hey, we're coming home early," and say, "Are you going to be there next year?" And he'll tell him, "No." Hey. And there you go. It's all over. And hey, hold on, before we get into KD, huh. we'll get into that in the next hour. So hey, everybody, wow. relax on that, and wow. and, and we'll, we'll we'll get Dale's text messages with KD too. Oh, we'll get God. all of that. Oh, no, let, me, let me say one thing about the um I'm sorry, I don't mean but go, I'm go saying ahead, go ahead, talk, it, talk to it. It, why when people say it's gonna be hard for these two to work together, we just saw Spencer Dinwiddie, a, 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 a miniature version of Kyrie having one of his best seasons of his career playing alongside Luca, shoot 17 points a game, shooting close to 40% from the three-point line. And he's just a miniature version. They they score in similar ways. When you say Kyrie's ball dominant, no, Kyrie's not ball dominant. He just scores very quickly when he gets the ball in, in two, three, maybe four dribbles. He's not just sitting there dribbling the shot clock out. I think it could work. I think it's just Jason Kidd, if any coach can figure it out offensively, Jason Kidd has shown that he can be creative enough offensively to 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 get the ball moving, to get you both guys enough touches to make it work. Lo, you fighting that? I don't. Wait, I don't wait, see. Wait, wait, low, low. What, 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 he made. He made Brunson. He what, has what, success with Brunson what, what, last year off the bench. Do, because are, Brunson are, you was comparing, a, are you comparing Brunson and Dinwiddie's mindset to Kyrie's? No, we're talking about their style of how they score. Their attack. About, hey, what about mindset? That's the difference. If, you, if you think he's going to make another anti-Semitic joke, that's something that's off the table. We don't know. I can't calculate that. I'm looking at the basketball. Definitely, I'm looking at the basketball history. I look at the guy who's shown me who he is. Kyrie yeah, showed us who he is. He you know who he is. I'm not judging him based on if he's going to make another mistake and get suspended. I'm judging the well, game. You, you, I think – I think. Oh, I'm, 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 go, ahead, go, 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 go. Talk to us, Ticket. How you feel yeah, about I, I, I just want to say this to what Fluent was saying. I think what Fluent said was complete bull crap. First of all, Kyrie Irving is a world champion at the highest level. <sighs> to be a world champion, and he was a big part of that. It wasn't like he was just along for the ride. The man average game made 30 points in the finals. So he understands what it takes to win. A lot of them other guys y'all talked about that they had, hadn't won shit. So that's first and foremost. Secondly, we're like this with Kyrie because, one, he's been hurt a lot. And, two, he's taking stances that are uncomfortable with people, which, you know what? Hey, a lot of things in life are uncomfortable. But nobody foresee or foresaw the pandemic coming. You understand? Which he had a personal choice, what he took, which killed half his season. And he didn't want to be out. He wanted to play. Right. So but he got crucified for that. And then he got crucified for a tweet. But they didn't even go after the person who actually put the who actually got to put the movie together. They just went after Kyrie. Right. So he got he got he got killed for that, too. Right. So but let's be honest. He worked himself when y'all said he wouldn't chill uh, fluent. He worked himself back into being an all star. Right. He's one of the top 20 players in the world. 
in the game in the, in the game of professional basketball, he's one of the greatest players in the game right now. That's that's bar none, right? And Kyrie Irving, it shows you he can be coached because he didn't give Jock Vaughn any problems. In fact, before Kyrie Irving got hurt, everybody forgets he was going to lead that Boston team to the Eastern Conference Finals, to the NBA Finals potentially. If he would have been on that Boston team, they would if he didn't get hurt, they would have went to the NBA Finals because he'd have closed out that game seven. So he would have led a team without LeBron James to the NBA Finals, right? So just because we don't like a guy because he caught a couple bad breaks and we don't understand him doesn't mean that we have to demonize him and make him seem like he's all types of problems because I'm going to tell you all something. Him in the situation with Luka, it's a win-win for Dallas. They got off of two dudes who are going to get them nowhere fast. And then if it doesn't work out with Kyrie Irving, all they got to do is a sign and trade because LeBron James on national TV begging him to get him. So, you know, the Lakers are probably going to move off Russ. They're probably going to get some assets in return that they're not going to want to keep. And when he leaves, Dallas will probably be able to pick up those assets and a couple first round picks and be able to do whatever they want to do with those assets in a sign and trade this summer. Because Brian Winhold said the Lakers are still in play for Kyrie Irving to go over there next season. So Dallas still wins. They get off a bad contract to Spencer Dinwiddie, who they weren't going to win a championship with. They get off Dorian Finney-Smith, who's having one of his worst seasons in the NBA. Man, she looked good. Uh, his worst season in the NBA. Focus, take and, it. Turn your camera on, take it. <laughs> I wanted to show you. I wanted, hey, I wanted to show you. Yeah. Hold on. Man, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, we, yeah, hold on. Oh, Where's she at, take it? Where's she at? Hold on. I'm sitting outside the gym. I'm sitting outside the gym talking to y'all. But look. Watch yeah. this. I, I'm just telling y'all the truth, right? Yo, yo. So as I, said before, as I said before, as I said before, as I said before, you know, look, as I said, oh, as I said before, as I said before, dog, don't let's not demonize Kyrie Irving because of stuff that happened that a lot of stuff he couldn't control. Because a lot of people tweet out stuff that offend a lot of people. But guess what? They don't get no repercussions. Dana White hit his wife on national TV on on TV. This man ain't nobody saying nothing after day one. We went on Kyrie for two weeks. Over a tweet, but Dana let, White let's, is let's be, let's let's be White. Very, Hold on, let's be very clear, what? Ticket. I'm not. I've never demonized Kyrie for what he does off the court. In fact, I defended him for the tweet. I don't give what? a damn what he said that offended people. I don't give a damn because people are too damn soft and sensitive. So that has nothing. His off the court has nothing to do. But his teammate said he's great. About Kyrie. His teammate, yeah. his, Nick Glasson said Kyrie's the greatest teammate he ever had. Cam Thomas said he missed Kyrie. Kyrie was his best, his favorite teammate. All these dudes on the team, if you look at them, so the, the, the players are saying something different than coaches. I, I agree with Lamont. I think that Jay Kidd in that situation with Luka, with Kyrie, I think it can work. Now, do I think they can win a chip? No, because they don't got no answers for Giannis if they get to the finals. But I do think they can make a run in his weak West. And I do think that if Kyrie Irving stay healthy and Luka stay healthy, the one thing we know about Luka is Luka can play with anybody. And, and, and that's that's against what we think. We think he can't because he's ball dominant. But Luka Donish will share the rock. And if you got a guy like Kyrie who can put it in there to pr uh, at a prolific level, they're going to give teams problems because we're in an era where teams ain't really playing deep. You're outscoring dudes. So, yeah. Well, we, we'll, you know what? We'll, we'll see because, one, I don't – nothing to do with off the court. So – and you should know that if you've seen anything I've posted, I don't give a damn about off the court. I don't think it's going to work on the court. And when you just you brought up a last point right there about the offense, tell me the last team that has won an NBA chip, and that's really the point here, uh, that didn't have a top 10 team in terms of team de defensive team efficiency. Lakers? In the last yeah, 20 years, they, they, they one team has done time. it, and it was the Warriors in 20, whatever, 18, 16, whatever, and they were 11th. So no this team has no defense. defense. So, so no defense on, the league, on the court, this ain't going to work. Now, I could be wrong. You could be wrong. We're going to see in the next 30 games and nothing to do with off the court. I'm just like, by, I, by hey, the way, my, the Clippers and the Mavericks play each other tomorrow night. We will get that. It, they're saying that that will be the first time we will see Kyrie Irving. Hey, hey, hey Ron, I just, think, I just think it's wrong for us to count out a world champion, a dude who's been at the highest level. And, and let me say this to y'all. It's a reason why LeBron is begging to play with the guy again. It's a reason. And it ain't because he don't think the dude can get the job done. It's because he knows because what he's he about. Stack the deck to win. Ticket, isn't that what you keep telling no, no, me? But I'm, saying, but, no, no, but I'm saying he knows what he's about, bro. Everybody in the NBA knows what Kyrie Irving's about. It's not this narrative that you guys think. The media can make you think stuff about people, bro. Just like these clowns on YouTube can make you think anything you want to think about me. But if you know me in real life, you know if you need some ticket coming through, that's a fact. That's a fact. 
That's a I, fact. So, like I said, they I have made, they have demonized, hold on, yeah, they have demonized Kyrie Irving. Guys yeah, like Stephen A. Smith that. have completely destroyed his reputation around the league, and everybody runs with that narrative about this cat instead of paying attention to specifics. When he wasn't hurt, before he got hurt, him and that Boston Celtics team was killing. He was the leader of that team. They said he was going to lose every game when KD got hurt. He racked up a few wins with that team they had. You got to give him some type of credit. He took himself back to an all-star level, 27-5-5. and five. That's MVP-type numbers. What did, we I gonna put the respect on him, did I say anything negative about him as a player, or did I say anything? You said you didn't think he could – you said you didn't think he could get to the all-star. That's what okay. you said. I didn't say that. First, first and foremost – I didn't say that. First, first and foremost – the Brooklyn Nets were they were they they lost they lost seven of their eleven games when Irv, when 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 KD was out the lineup. That's number one. N- number two, Kyrie Irving has shown as a basketball player that he's unreliable. That's the point, though. Not only is he unreliable, he's inconsistent. That's the point. When he came to when he came to Brooklyn, the plan with him and KD was to win the NBA championship. That was the plan, and it's failed miserably. Hold on, everybody. That's not his fault. That's not his fault that the dumbass yes, owner from the Brooklyn Nets didn't pay. Hold on. That's not his fault the dumbass owner from the Brooklyn Nets didn't pay him when him and KD were the second seed before KD got hurt. All oh, these dudes oh. running around here still saying, hold on. They were still saying that they thought KD and them had a chance to win the chip. KD and them ran it up to the second seed in the East from the bottom of the East once Kyrie came back from that suspension. Yep. These are facts. Right. Hold on. These are right. facts. KD gets hurt. Everything gets out of whack. But it wasn't going to stop because – Still, you had Kyrie playing at an all-time level. All you had to do was get a man his contract, and if you didn't like what he did, trade him at the season was over with to the Lakers. That's it. But ticket the way he was not the way he was as the, as unreliable as he was at that point, right? And as fragile as he was, because we're talking about a dude who broke down two previous seasons. Now you want to extend him, and the Brooklyn Nets were going the other way. Right. No, so he, he doesn't, doesn't play. Move. He doesn't. So he doesn't play in the 2020 season. He, he only plays 20 games and then he breaks down in the 2021 season in the playoffs. And then Chill last town. year, he under. Chill town. What they pay I'm you listening. in the NBA for? Fluent. What do they pay you in the NBA for? Low. What do they pay? What can you do? For, what have you done for me lately? Lately, Kyrie Irving has been there every game. Listen, you, we know dudes who've been loyal to the game, who haven't missed games and done everything. They come out, they have a lame season. Look at Isaiah Thomas. Danny Ainge didn't want to pay him his money. That man put in all that work. He he came up lame in the playoffs because he got hurt, and Danny Ainge didn't want to pay him. Well, that's so all that, that, all that, all that, all that, what Kyrie did true. before, oh, that is true. No, Danny, 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 Danny Ainge put 150. Okay, stop right there, ticket. Danny Ainge put $150 million on the table. Isaiah Thomas outpriced himself. He thought he was a max player. That's a lie. And he, that's and he, a was, lie. And, and he rejected he never, that deal. He rejected that deal. He said, he said that he, let's let's make sure we clear. Isaiah Thomas was a B player who had an A year, and Danny Ainge offered him 150 million. He rejected that deal because he thought he was a max player, and he said that. It's a lie. He never got 100 million. He never got that. that, 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 that Come on. He never so got that. Rejected- and hold on, low, low, low. And see, this is why this is why I don't like y'all, low. Because y'all know whenever whenever y'all think I'm lying, this is the, I'm about to show y'all in the chat room the bias. Whenever these dudes think I'm lying, here comes Mars over here looking like a jabroni. Here comes low. Over here, like D'Lo Brown or, or sexual chocolate Mark Henry. Here, these dudes go all jumping on my head, right? That's how these dudes do. No, but then no, when no, I say no, something, no, 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 that ain't true. When I say something, when I say something, and low, 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 right, them dudes be quiet. Them dudes be quiet. They did not if offer ticket, Isaiah Thomas no money. Ticket, me, ticket, ticket, if you write, if you're right, we give it up when you write. Don't make it sound like when you write, you don't get you don't get the praise that you. They didn't offer him nothing. Okay, exactly. that's what yes, they, they did. Offer him he offered him one hundred and fifty million. He offered him. He offered him one hundred fifty million dollar contract. He rejected. He said he was a max player. Isaiah Low, Thomas said they, that. Low, did they? Offer Isaiah him? Thomas said that. Okay, I'm. I'm right there. Right that now. he was a max player. He said that. He's on record now, saying, oh, now you I, tired, am Low. I, now "I am a max player." Okay, Low, I got you. I got you. That is a fact. So. Hey, what low, hey, low, I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna catch you in traffic, low. Don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> yo, yo, let's let's go ahead and keep hey, it pushing. Low on. in the right. tight zoom. <laughs> I, I, I got more super chats to get yep. into. I know that people want us to get into these super chats, so we will go ahead and do that. Yeah, all right, Mars. This is strictly for you. If the Warriors give Wiseman minutes, he can be the missing piece at the five for them. Agree or disagree? Thank you for the five dollars, man. 
Does anybody up here agree? I actually agree with Ticket. No, well, I, hell I, actually, no. I, actually, I actually agree with Ticket on this. If he was somewhere else, he'd be a, he, he could be an 18 and 10 guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He needs to be I'm, he needs I'm, to be I'm, off the Warriors. No. He needs to be off the Warriors. Who? He, Who? he doesn't have it. He I, don't got it. I, I, think if, I, I think if Wiseman was on another team, he'd be a double double guy. I believe that. And this is why and the book eight, eighteen and ten double. You need to trade him before he. That's why. That's why him. the book is going to be and, 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 That would be the worst double double in in the NBA. He's far. gonna he's gonna turn yeah, into you know, Anthony soon. You need to sure. trade him while he has still value still. You think he's that bad? But Lamont, they no, doing that to him. Lamont, they doing that no. to him. And okay, just, no, I think it's him. I think it's him. I think he's a low motor player. I think he doesn't give consistent effort. I mean, a lot of the mistakes he makes are just off just sheer not giving effort. He makes low IQ plays defensively, even though he has all the athleticism in the world yeah. to do the things. That his It's his mental makeup. And just, you know, some people just are not built for the NBA. They have all the hey, Lamont, tools, but just what? they hey, aren't Lamont, built that's for bull. Lamont, that's bull what you said, because guess what? That's what happens when you got a seven-foot one guy out there trying to play like Draymond Green. And that's what the Warriors got. Well, they got him out not there trying, trying to play do Draymond, like Draymond Green type of stuff. No, no, I'm saying that's what they're trying to make him do. All this. he ain't that type of dude, bro. If he, if he was with the Phoenix Suns playing the same role as DeAndre Ayton, he'd average the same numbers as DeAndre Ayton. But you got to think, what does Draymond do? Draymond Green is a cerebral player. He plays with his brain, not necessarily with athletics. I'm not saying, no, I'm not saying Lamont. I'm, all so I'm they're just saying, asking him to think. To he him. can't think. No, I'm saying no, no. I'm sorry, no. You're not hearing me, dog. I'm saying they're trying to make a dude that's a seven foot lanky dude. Play a role like he's a Draymond Green. They try to do all the players like that, mold them into that type of. They do the same thing with Looney. Those guys pass back door, cut all this other stuff. No, he's a dude. Well, are we gonna play pick and roll, throw the alley oop, give him a couple touches in the post. He come up, give me eighteen and ten in this era with about two blocks. Two blocks. <laughs> hey, but like, like, like they said, if you're gonna play. Ooh. Championship basketball, and you got Steph Curry and Clay on the team. It's gonna be a lot of sacrifices. You're gonna have to change your role. You're gonna, and when you get opportunities to be great, let's say when these guys are out, we've seen plenty of games where Clay and Steph have both set even Draymond, and he still hasn't shown that he can put up 18 and 10 with them guys. But sitting. the system so didn't change. It's a matter the system of didn't change. They still was running the same system though, dog. So come on, man, let's keep it. Let's keep it 100, bro. Because these dudes, let these dudes tell you this. They'll tell you the only reason why Jordan Poole put up the numbers he put up because of the Warrior system. Okay, I, I see the one fifty. Didn't they? They offered him one fifty before he got injured because he was betting on them, betting on himself. Thank you. And he I never said no. no. But that is thank that you. Confirm that they offered him one fifty, not like a, rumor, or like a report. Like everybody came out and said he was offered one fifty and he rejected it. Like himself. No, he didn't reject it. He it, he got hurt and they took it off the table and he oh. traded his ass without telling him. So they took so so it was on the table. Which one is no, it? Was it on the said table he or not? It. No, you said he rejected it. I said he would never reject no hundred and fifty. It was on the table. Ticket said it wasn't no, on the table. You said he, he rejected, rejected it. No, 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 no. I look, he said, chill town, rewind the tape. He said that this man turned out a hundred and fifty million dollar yes, offer because he, he, he wanted a max yes, deal. I said it. he tell me, I said he was never turning down and never offered that to turn down. Because you know why? Because he got hurt. And when he got hurt, Danny Ainge took it off the table. He didn't offer it to him again. When Isaiah came back to him, guess he what? He got a phone call. He was traded to the Cavs. Well, he did so so they when they put it on the table, he should have signed that quick, fast, right. and hurry. No, right. no, no. They were just talking. They he didn't offer oh, okay. it to him. There's no okay. No, right, so you remember that. I, just, I, don't I, don't know. I don't know. All of a sudden, he got fluent. All of us, while they was talking, all of a sudden, he got hurt. Remember? And then he didn't play no more. We was wondering what happened to him. And then we found out after he got traded to the Cavs, what happened? He had a bad hit. That's what we found out. He had a bad hit. All right, y'all. Let's keep it pushing. K Spiffy with the super chat. He said, low, looking around like this is a mid off. That's how you was looking, low. I don't, I don't know, know what that means. I don't, I don't know, know what that means. Thanks for the super chat, brother. We appreciate you. <laughs> you being you being rude, low? <laughs> Not I. Chime did. He said LeBron is the only Hall of Fame player who gets slandered for doing stuff that no one else has ever done. They will not yeah, like what? Him like what? Get half the NBA on his team. Get 108 trades in his career. Get 31 trades while he's on the Lakers watch. When Kobe Bryant had 25 his whole career. Get 30 trades in four years when the Lakers. When Michael Jordan had 24 his whole career. That type of stuff. Go on national TV on ESPN, whining like a little baby because he didn't get Kyrie Irving in the trade. Yeah, that's why he get cooked because he do stuff the other greats didn't do, sucker. 
Well, the that other was greats did do it. They well, other that was, greats that was did whine and cry. It just who, was who went on media. national TV on ESPN it just was and no cried about media. Media. The They were all crybabies. Ewing one. was the crybaby. Hakeem was, 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 was the crybaby. Moses Malone was the crybaby. How you think Charles Barkley was a crybaby? How you think Charles Barkley ended up in Phoenix? I asked you one question. Name one. They all cried. It just was no social media. Influent. Ask these dudes to name one player who went on TV or with a mob Rashad or somebody in the interview. And crying about not getting a player in the trade. Name him. Name oh, one player. Well, I, I, that okay, had okay. I'm, glad, on his watch. I'm glad you mentioned that because Charles Barkley said, "Quote: I asked for Shaq. They got me Charles Shackelford. He said that. Who he said it to? <laughs> he said that. Who he said it to? He said that on national television. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I no, asked time. for Shaq. I, I at, at the time. At the I time. asked for. I asked for Shaq. They got me Charles Shackelford. End quote. He said that. Okay. Okay. Okay, Jim. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Ron, hold on. Chill, I got one question. Do, do any of y'all in the comment, do any of y'all here on the panel condone what LeBron just did the other day? No, that was what? That was so what? Hey, so, why, so, no, so look, so this, this dude say we cook LeBron, right? Now let's tell the truth, y'all. Wait, wait, wait. Ticket, ticket. Which LeBron moment are you talking about? Magic, hold on. When he said it, when he said LeBron just went on ESPN and cried about not getting Kyrie Irving, how he was disappointed. Now, watch this. Magic Johnson got fined a half a million dollars for speaking on a different player. Draymond Green got fined mm -hmm. for being on, on TNT just saying another player's name. We mm -hmm. ain't heard nothing about LeBron James. That was pretty crazy. I'm gonna be you honest. can't do that. You cannot do that. that. You cannot do that. No. Do, do especially, us, especially do us under the bus. Do us under the bus. You know what it is? You know what especially it is? To, to, the, to, the super, to the super chat person. That was pretty crazy. You're, to the super chat person, Yes. LeBron is doing things we've never seen anyone do before. The peak longevity, block, all that stuff. Absolutely phenomenal. The problem is when you, because you try to equate it to the hate he gets. The hate he gets is because there's so many of his fans who are morons. And he doesn't, he makes it so easy when he does stuff like, oh man, I'm so upset that we didn't get Kyrie, a guy that could help us win a chip. Oh, uh, I'm so mad that I can't go to Starbucks. Okay, sorry, dude. You're a billionaire. And you can't go to Starbucks. Your life, your life must be really hard. He says stuff like that that just rubs a lot of people the wrong way. I don't care, but there's a lot of people who are like, you're a billionaire complaining you can't go to Starbucks. You're you're a guy who's gone to the finals ten times. You're complaining you can't get Kyrie. Like, enough, enough. He sh he he needs to stop doing that stuff. I'm sorry. That's the problem. That's where people why he rubs people the wrong way. All right, saying he the greatest of all time again yesterday. Yeah, you should, here, nigga. you should think you're the greatest of all time, but let other people say it. Oh, so he's not supposed to say it. Nah, well, not you should think it. No, hold, hold on, Lamont. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Ron. Lamont, you're not supposed to say it when you have 108 trades on your watch. You have 55 different players who in the last count, two years who who counts that? the NBA on one team. Who counts oh, trades? Hold on, hold on, Lamont. And you <laughs> who does six, that, bro? Lamont, hold on. You, you have to be a hater to go count some trades, You lost six who does Lamont, that? Lamont, how is that hating when you call? Hold on, Lamont. How is that hating when none of these other players, when Michael Jordan, Sean called himself the GOAT because of the simple fact that he wanted to respect the guys who came before him that played in other eras? This dude called himself the GOAT, but this dude got six NBA Finals losses, had the most trades in the history of the NBA by far. Go look at all the all time greats that played in the game. He got you got three top 75 players on his team. Right now, he playing supposedly at an MVP level. Two dudes on his team. He can't even get in the playoffs in a weak ass West. Man, put that in your pipe and smoke it, boy. The hell wrong with you? Yo, yo ah, Lamont, the classic. Lamont, yo, what up? The classic. Right? What up? Before, before you leave the show or before the show ends, we need yeah. to hear your top ten all time. Oh, well, well, I do need to hear that. I actually wait though. We'll we'll get into that in a little bit because we I still have a, a, a shit ton of super chats to run through. So we're gonna continue to do that. Uh, King Shada. 442. He said Elder's logic didn't make any sense. He says he doesn't reward losing, but has wilt over LeBron. His list isn't consistent for every player. He said, but he said that to be fair to Elder, he did say, Hey, that Lamont, what was the which call it? Before you go, Lamont, I want Chill Town to answer this question about you. One second. Hey, Chill Town, what you think about Lamont saying that uh all the big men in the 90s were playing against a bunch of plumbers <laughs> and they were out of shape fat dudes? That's not what I said. That's not That's what, what I said. you said. Hold on. That's no. what you I got the video, Lamont. That's what you no. said. Don't lie. You said no, I, all them dudes was playing against plumbers and against you said it was a bunch of nobodies in the league back then. 
I just want to hear what Chill Town and Fluent and them got to say about nah, that. Do, do y'all agree? <laughs> that's not what I say. I, got, hey, I even got the headline of the video too. Don't play with me, Lamont. <laughs> I, I will. I will smoke you. Oh, Ticket brought his receipts today. Uh -oh. Damn right, I got them. <laughs> No, I made I made a, a five part video series, and, and I specifically talk about the power forwards. A lot of the power forwards uh, were out of shape, and then a lot of the uh, centers were just completely overrated. In, in what era? I don't. I, I, I don't. I don't think. I don't think the nineties was a was a, was a big man era. I, I don't see a big man era being dominated by a shooting guard. You told me a big man era is dominated by. By, by shooting guard, then, then it's not truly a big man there. How great are your big man if it's dominated by a sm a six six guard? <clears throat> you talking about Michael Jordan? I'm talking yeah. about the nineties. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So you, <laughs> how great is your era? Wait, 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 wait. How great is your era? Nah, bro. No, no way. No way. Not a big man there. <laughs> no the, the power forwards of the nineties were and no centers were out of shape. Oh, you know. Huh? I did he a video. Said, I, he I, he I listed off a, I listed off a multitude got, of the ones that were out of shape. It's on the video. I, I just I just ran down the names and I, I showed their weights and everything. And so mm -hmm. it is what it is. Now again, you can always run to the top of the nineties and you can give me the Lonzos, the Barclays, and a few at the top like the Carl Malones. But for the most part, the, the over the overall majority of the guys that we're talking about are guys that you guys can't remember. These guys are probably working at gas stations right now or doing a lot of other things that have nothing to do with basketball. And that's just where they are. But again, the top, I'm not knocking the Carl Malones. I'm not knocking the Barclays, even though yeah. these guys didn't play very much defense, like in the defensive era, but I'm not yeah. knocking those guys. I'm just saying generally across the board, you're not talking about a ton of guys that was just in shape that took their fitness very seriously. It's like the Masons, like the Oakleys, these guys, like you're mm -hmm. talking about when I had a conversation with Anthony Mason in his barbershop before he passed, he talked about how they would snort cocaine. He talked about how they would drink before and after games. So he, he told me about these things. Have you ever played on that? It, it actually so, helped. Um, here's the funny yeah, part. No, so I would they're, never they're do not, that. They're not in shape like the two-time MVP now, right? They're no way. Two-time MVP. Okay. All right. I'm just telling – I mean, right. when I sit down and he's – I mean, people can say it's Scott, but, when, again, when I have a player – and then I'm going to have Scott Williams on next week. And Scott Williams from the Chicago Bulls is going to – help me address some of these things as well. And so th this is a guy from the 90s. So it's not just me. I take, I formulate my opinion based on the things that I research and based on some of the things the players tell me. And so if these players are confirming these things, what am I supposed to do? Just deny it because you guys say no, so? No. So where, what, what research What research is telling you that the 90s wasn't? Well, well when I bring Scott here. Williams on, we'll just address it then. And, and, and uh, we can have a conversation. Is Scott, is Scott, is Scott Williams going to come on, come on your channel and tell yeah. the world, well, that, we're just going to have that the conversation. 90s, the 90s weren't a big man era because Michael Jordan, the best player we're ever. We're going to talk about a lot of there. things, but we're going to talk about that as well. <clears throat> okay. And, but, and are we, 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 I said, and we're taking one player's a word as gospel. He was in well, everyone's what, room. What he I'm saying is, when office. you have, when I have a compilation, remember Jordan even snitched on his own teammates for doing cracking in the locker room. So that was, that was the what 80s. I'm saying. Is, that was the 80s, what I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, when I have various, when I have various reports from players, not just re reports that you can go read. When I've sat down and talked with players, and they're giving me similar accounts, what accounts do you have to counter that? That is based in fact outside of your feelings. I've talked to multiple players and coaches and trainers who say the opposite. Okay. Or the okay. fact that, or, or the then, fact then, that we, then bring or, forth or, those coaches and players right. to counter what I'm saying. Or, or otherwise, the fact, or the fact that we actually, or, or, the or the fact that we were actually there, there to see it. it. No, you watch out. No, what you saw was what WGN showed you. Just because you saw what WGN showed you. I just want to wait, wait. I just want to make sure that I'm clear. Just because he's just because Scott Williams says one more than Scott Williams. Okay, even Scott Williams. I'm actually watching Olajuwon. I'm actually watching Ewing. I'm actually watching David Robinson. I'm actually watching Shaquille O'Neal. I'm actually watching Buck Williams. I'm actually watching A.C. Green. I'm actually watching Charles Barkley. I'm actually watching all of these other guys. Now, that's the idea that these that's are- less than 1% of players that, in the 90s. So, so even if that's less than 1% of the players, how many, explain to the people how many people win, how many teams win the NBA championship of the 30 teams or the 22 teams that's in the NBA? One. Let me ask that's you a it. question too. Let me ask you a question. That's it. So with that also being said, with, with that also being said, how many guys make first team all NBA? Five. And it's one center. Y'all so don't respect that. Y'all don't respect the first team. 
Y'all yeah, don't who respect, else respect that. Yeah, hold on, when, 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 when I have conversations, anything, if you've heard, if you've ever heard me, anybody on here will tell you. If you ever heard me, I take being an all pro very seriously. Hold that on, is hold. at the that is at the top of my list. Then why do y'all make a laughing? Don't say y'all. Don't say y'all. Do not say y'all. If you're defending so, them, you're part I, of the y'all. Uh, uh no, don't say y'all. I think Scottie Pippen is a top five small forward all time. So okay. don't say y'all. Uh, okay, uh, well, then, you're one of the, you're one of the few that don't think. Again, I defend a ton of players in the '90s. I take being an all pro very. When I see players, when, when when you have a player like Ticket who will praise a Charles Oakley but won't give no credit to a Scottie Pippen, that baffles my mind. If y'all say I bash the '90s, I I give a ton of credit to the guys that deserve it. But he will. I'm I'm talking about he'll praise these bums like Charles Oakley to the moon. Guys that was yeah. true to true definition of role players. Charles but you will. Was a, a, hey, come on, yes, yes, yes. Charles Oakley was not a bum. Yes, yes. Yes. Charles Oakley was not a bum. Let's dead that line. How do y'all elevate these guys? To say that Charles Oakley was a bum. To say that Charles Oakley was a bum. It's not. I you don't say it to his face either because he'll smack you inside your lip. Yeah, now he go. Again, that's that tells you right there he's a bum. We're not doing most that. of no. the guys we're, we're not, that are we're not quick doing to that. fight on a basketball no, court. Are we're not doing that. We're, we're, no, no, we're not doing, doing that. off the court. Actually, but, Any, yeah, most of the guys that are quick to fight, quick tempered on anywhere, because y'all say he was this big, rough and tough guy. He's gonna punch and do this. And th those are the true scrubs. The guys that sat there quick to fight. Those are the true scrubs. That's what I'm trying to make sense of, right? I'm, 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 I feel like I'm in the matrix right now, for real. I really. I, like I mean, but like I said, I'm not. I, really I don't. I, I, I give the guys credit that was really balling, but I'm it, 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 how can it be a big man error if you let a guard dominate? Balling, balling like who? David well, Robinson. They, they didn't let. They you, didn't you're let running to the top. I said, don't run to the top. Run to run to the consensus. First of all, they didn't. What other shooter guard besides Jordan was was the top? Was on not only that, Big Ops, it's not like they let him dominate. It's oh. that that wasn't that that was not the case. They didn't let him dominate. Hold on, how did they not let him dominate when they called him God on the basketball court? Because he was better than everybody else. That oh. don't mean you let them do it. When, when, you, what did Kobe say? That? Kobe, when they when Kobe asked about, oh, that's Black Jesus. He said, "What are y'all talking about?" He thought they were delusional when can they were sitting there running name, around calling him God on the basketball two, court. Two shooting guards in the nineties, better than Hakeem Olajuwon and David Robinson. What you running to the top again? No, I'm not and, saying and, there's a ton and, of and, players and, better than him, but I don't think it was a big man error. I'm, just, I'm not talking about a ton. I'm just one player, two shooting guards. one or two I'm centers, asking, two shooting even, guards. even five good players. centers doesn't two make you a big guards. man error. Five, okay, five good centers don't make you a big man error. Name me two shooting guards besides Michael Jordan. And, and, and again, on what level? Good or good with regards better. to they won. Better. Are you talking better about than, better, better than better, 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 better than big man? Better than big man. Ticket is crazy. Hold on. Are you talking? Are you talking about? Just talent, or are you talking about what they actually did on the floor's impact? I'm talking about basketball. I'm talking because about when basketball. you talk about a king, who am I? If if I'm like I said, oh, Elder no, convinced me. Stop. Just like just like Low convinced, just like Low convinced Elder to change no, something. If, if you're not, you're not gonna talk me in circles. Elder, elder, me, elder convinced me that winning right means now. more than anything. And Hakeem Olajuwon, for the most part throughout the '90s, was a loser. So I, I no way I can put I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. Okay, but could you name me two shooting guards? Besides Michael Jordan, that are better basketball players than David Robinson and Hakeem. I can name a small forward. I can name a small shooting guard. I can name a small forward. Which Could one? you name a shooting guard? Yes, oh, 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 Scotty Pippen. Oh, oh, oh. Answer the question. Scotty Pippen was not better than Hakeem Olajuwon. <laughs> Stop, yo. Scotty Pippen was better than Hakeem Olajuwon. No, he was not. Hey, yo, let's hold FIF accountable to answer this question. Jeez. Yes, oh, yes, we can. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Okay, okay. I'm admitting that. Please. That's oh, you talking about the whole keep thing? Keep, keep going, Ron. No, 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 no. Going, Ron. You talking about the whole thing? Going, you don't think it was a '90s era? No, I said, I said. I mean, you don't think it was a big man? I, era? I don't think it was truly this big man dominant era that people claim it was, because the big men weren't truly dominating anything. So, what, so what, what do you think what, it was? What was it then? Yeah. It was just an era that was led by Jordan. If you remove Jordan from that era, there's really not much to talk about. Just that like he said, he's trolling. trolling. He's just trolling. Yeah. He's just trolling. That's it's not a troll. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's whoever's the best at explaining basketball in the '90s. Tell me what was so great about 90s basketball without mentioning Michael Jordan. Well, you can't even answer the question. Tell me what now, was so now great about 90s basketball. Now you're asking questions. You can answer one simple question, but you now you got the nerve to ask us some questions. <laughs> there, were, there weren't a lot of good shooting guards. I didn't say it was a shooting wild, guard error. There weren't a lot of good shooting guards. It wasn't okay, a so shooting guard area. If, if you could give it to one position, what what, what position? I'm not, what position I don't know. It, there was none. It was, the, it was just the one player. It was the Jordan era. Without Jordan, it's a trash era of basketball. 
So, 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 so those Houston Rockets. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Tell me, tell me about '90s basketball, <laughs> about 90s basketball <laughs> without mentioning Michael Jordan. Big man. Somebody do it. Off the first top 50 and now you want to give them to me now no come who's on man. i don't want to hear that who wait who was y'all that's number one i don't know i'm saying the first top 50 that came out dominique right. was left off Correct. so don't but give me dominique now mistake Oh, yeah, not it. Yeah, yeah, this is insane. Yeah, y'all been making a lot of mistakes in the That's, '90s. Yeah, no, I didn't make that damn list. They made they, the y'all? '90s making a lot of mistakes. Well, first on. of all, half, half of Dominique Wilkins' career was in the '80s. He came in the league in '82, so he played eight years of the '80s. So his best seasons were in the '80s. He so let's kill the '90s. In the 90s. Ooh, so let, 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 in the 90s. Let's, let's first. First of all, he had that one great year. Oh, Jordan, Jordan is an '80s season. player because so, he came in the league in '84. He came in the league in '84. Uh, right. Not, not only did he come in the league in '84, but Dominique. Dominique Wil Dominique Wilkins came in the league in '82, so he, he played almost a decade in the '80s. So that's number one. Number two. Number two. Two. two what was two, so two, great two, about the '90s without mentioning Jordan? Oh, uh, Hakeem Olajuwon. Dominic B. Hakeem Olajuwon was so great. Barkley was great. David Robinson was great. Um, uh, give me some good st Jazz, narrative storylines. The Utah Matt Jazz Jones. were great. Carl Malone was great. Okay, what was so great about him? Hey, FIF, I'm gonna tell you. Look, what, I see. What, I see. What, I see so Go ahead. I, 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 I see that on two K. I asked, I asked, who's the best bigs of all time? I simulated it on two K. I swear. And they came, they came with all these dominant bigs. You know, Patrick Ewing, David Robinson. No, nah, you got to start with Bill Russell and Wilt. So the two best bigs of all time is outside of the nineties. That's fine. But I simulated it on two K. I swear I did. And then Shaq, I would consider Shaq a two thousands big. You might want to put him. But, in he, but, he, well, but what was he doing? Even though he showed up in ninety two, he didn't start winning until two thousand. You just said anything about Dominique? Come on, that doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> This is, oh this is big, these are nasty <laughs> arguments. Real, this is absolutely right, terrible. Move on from Trollmont onto something Please. else. Yeah. How am I trolling? Yeah, hold on. Nobody's so answering the question. What's so great I about just, the 90s? I did just answer the question. I hey, did. Hey, I, can you chill? One more question is why, why, did, why did they cut away from the NBA finals during the OJ car chase when Jordan was out the league? I don't think they would have done that if Jordan was playing in the NBA oh finals. That is God. not true. Well, first, first of all, crazy. that is the worst wow. thing. That, wow. That's one of the worst things. It was things boring. It was boring. It was boring. No, it was not only was it not boring. Are we talking about O.J. Simpson? Were, were you really upset right that now? they cut away from that finals? Were yes, really I was. Upset? No, you wasn't. No, oh, you my wasn't. God. This is Well, beautiful, beautiful thing about being in Canada, they didn't cut away, and we got to watch that beautiful game and not some stilly, slow this car chase. So good for us. logic that I've ever heard. All and right, I've heard some pretty bad logic. Wow. <laughs> let's, let, let's go ahead and get off of that. Let's Please. get back into these super Jesus. chats. Deshaun916. Shout out 916, Sack Town. He said, Wiseman is a post-dominant big in the league where defensive bigs or bigs that can bang down low as a small percentage of players, he can thrive. Oh, my God, please. Can we – oh, my God. Y'all just don't be watching Thank him play. Thank you for the $5. Thank you for the – Y'all don't watch him play at all, bro. They don't. That's all. T-Wolf2486 said, I wish Ticket listened half as much as he runs his big-ass mouth and talks oh over Oh, my people. God. No. It didn't. It, there was a couple no. words you put in there that went there. Uh, I like Calm Ticket. I, I, don't got my, I don't got my glasses on today. <laughs> Irregular said, Ticket, <laughs> Ticket don't let these cats off the hook when it comes to Jay Reed and a $100 million <laughs> man. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's fine. You're too cheap. Jose Barreto, Barreto, I'm sorry, oh, if I, I butchered, sorry if I butchered your name. He said, what is you guys' favorite 21st century basketball performance by a single player? For me, it's 81 points, Kobe, Kobe's 81-point game versus the Toronto Rafters. I see Fluent shaking his head, yes. What do you guys think? Let's start with you, Fluent. Oh, no, that's, you know, I, I was there. There's nothing, nothing will top that ever for me, period. End of discussion, till the day I die. In the modern era, so like we go back that far, um, for me, it'd be Kobe 2009 uh, finals. Kobe 2001 Eastern Conf Western Conference semifinals game for 48 and 16. I was in the building that afternoon. The, mo the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. Mars? Dream on Green Game Seven Twenty Six. 
Uh, love Mars. I swear I love this dude, y'all. We gonna get Mars gonna give me a stroke, but I love him, y'all. I swear. Spam dub Mars in the chat. Yo, Lamont, I would like to know your favorite moment in the 21st century, and I would like to know your favorite moment in the 90s decade as well. Oh my um, God, Brandon Roy, Brandon Roy versus Dallas Mavericks. Um, the game where he was, you know, he's struggling, knee pain. He found a way to rejuvenate himself for that one game, just show everybody a last glimpse of what made him a great player. Yeah. And for me, that was my favorite player of all time. And just to see him be able to come back out there and bring them back and get the comeback win, even though they lost the series, uh, that was big for me right there. So uh, Brandon Roy, that's my favorite 21st century. I think in the 90s, um, for me, it just has to, I, I would say, the 92, 1992 Bulls versus Blazers. Mm -hmm. Um Game six, uh, when Michael Jordan got benched and, you know, Scottie Pippen had to lead the bench unit uh, for the comeback, you know, because, you know, Jordan was playing a little out of control. They had to bench him and they <laughs> Pippen had to, you know, finish him off. So Scottie Pippen leading that 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 run so they can close that series out. And, and, hey, know, hey, 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 L, don't don't stop there. They were down 15 in the fourth with seven minutes. That game was over. The Blazers should have lost that game. Yeah, the Blazers like should have lost that game. And, and, and there were some people that are gonna say that, oh, that's Jordan's normal time to sit the bench. No, it wasn't. The assistant coaches told Phil Jackson, he's playing out of control. We got to bench him. And they benched him. Pippen led the comeback, and that was one of Pippen's. And Pippen of the '90s, he's my favorite. As you guys know, he's my favorite player in the '90s. So I got to get that moment to him. It's a, it's a little biased there, but. Most overrated, you know. boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, Bobby. I never thought that we would find somebody that shares your same sentiment as Scottie Pippen. That's amazing. Right, I'm trying to tell you, top and I, ten. And I never thought Please. I would find somebody that shares my same sentiment as Brandon Roy. Shout out Brandon Roy, the mm -hmm. best player to ever come out of Seattle. Garfield legend, you big facts. Uh, we will continue big to facts. keep it pushing on the super chats. Wait, hold, actually, on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me tell you my favorite. My, my bad. Yeah, my don't, bad. Don't, don't leave box out. Hold on, don't leave box out. Uh, my fa my favorite performance was um, Kawhi Leonard. Uh, against against the uh, not the Raptors against the Sixers sending Joel big crybaby ass packing. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Had that boy sticking his lip out in the tunnel. That's good. That, was, <laughs> that, that was actually a lot of fun to watch too. I, I, agree. I, agree, I agree with you, Ox. After he was doing this whole Hulk Hogan thing with the and flying yeah. his plane. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> Y'all are insane today, boy. For real. <laughs> this is what we doing today. That, that was fun. Right. This, this is what we doing today. He got, he got what he deserved. Game. That wasn't a good game, but it was. That was an amazing game. All right, on to the next. We actually have reached a point where the sponsor of the panel has joined the Super Chat. And so we're going to just dig into... Aaron Miss Jones' Super Chats. We're going to go ahead and reel these off. He said, a lot's gone on around the league. Nets want Brandon Ingram, too. How do we feel about that? Do the Nets I was, want Brandon Ingram? I was saying that last year when he asked out, when he asked mm -hmm. to get traded, I I call, I said, call up New Orleans, ask for Brandon Ingram, ask for Herb Jones, and three ones. And I think Brooklyn would have handed him over. I, and, and, I love him, and, I, and I love him. And I love him. And I love him. And I I love him and and I love Kevin Durant in in in, in New Orleans. But can I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you. Can I get me that's the best way to go? Why why couldn't they? Because uh, wait, do the Nets want Brandon Ingram alongside KD or for KD? There's no way they're getting him alongside for KD. You're saying yeah, BI there, 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 Herb Jones yeah. the first for KD. Yeah, there's no way that there's no way that that Ken, Kevin Durant is is coming to New Orleans. I mean Brandon Ingram is coming to New Orleans with Kevin Durant. You're gonna have to give him up. You have to give Brandon Ingram up. Not happening. What I what I was gonna say is how how do they get um how because isn't Bi on a on a max on a, isn't he on a max contract extension off his rookie deal? Oh, uh, the Ben Simmons. Yeah, because like, the, the Ben Simmons. Simmons. Ben, ben Simmons is really ruining any type ben of. Ben Simmons might be doing. Something. You would have to I put Ben Simmons that. in the deal to make it work. Oh, you can't have two players on a rookie extension. Oh, no, you can't trade. You can't trade. And him. Ben Simmons doesn't have any value as of today in the NBA in terms of trade. He, might, he, he, might have have he has he has negative value. He, might he has negative value. value. So so he's actually behind the eight ball. So he's not even even with the eight ball. He's behind it. Is what you're telling me? Send, send him to yes. the Shanghai Warriors or Sharks or whatever the hell they're called. I'll trade him. I'll trade him for James Wiseman. 
I just don't think he wants to play basketball anymore, to be honest with you. I really don't. I don't think he ever wanted to play basketball. I don't. I don't think he wants to play basketball. He he looks happier when you see him on the sideline in street clothes cheering for the guys. When he's on the floor, I don't see any joy with him whatsoever. There's no intensity. He looks like the guy who's the last guy to walk through the door and the first guy out the door. That's what he looks like to me. Mm -hmm. And I vouch for him too, Tom. I, 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 know, I told you you were crazy. And, and, and it turns out I was not. I, I vouched yeah, for him. This crazy yes, old dude here said, let's build a yes, team in Brooklyn. Or I, wanted to build, I, wanted to, I was looking at him, and I, he was coming back this season. He was healthy. I'm thinking, yo, we can build a unit around him because we're going to get this. We're going to get a better version of Ben Simmons because he's going to prove to everybody that what happened in Philadelphia was, was a fluke, only to find out that actually it wasn't. This was just a small sample size of who he really is. I, I was on the same train. I, I gave him too many, one too many opportunities too, man. And boy, why he you just... guys listen to me? Now you're more fluent. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, uh, Thanks, Grip City. We appreciate you, brother. By the way, chat, slow down. And I agree with Aramis Jones. We want you guys to slow down. Slow down. Like he said. By the way. <laughs> All right, drink more water. Chimed in with another super chat. Shout out Drink More Water. He's always tuning in, always coming with the super chats. Uh, he said, Lamont, what type of player would you rather coach? Players like LeBron and Giannis who dominate the game physically but lack some skill or a KD and Tatum that have skills but lack physicality? Oh, for me, it's, it's – uh, yeah. Give me the skill. Give me the KD and the Tatum. I can find other guys to grind it out with defensively, man. But, I mean, you got – you know, and LeBron and Giannis are unique talents in, in their own right. So it just kind of depends, I mean, on, on the other pieces you want to put around. It's hard to say you don't want to build around LeBron, but I'm just not a fan of ball-dominant players that just facilitate. I'm a fan of a ton of ball movement. And if you are a scorer, you get it done in a few dribbles. Don't sit there and dribble dribble the shot clock away and I'm and everybody's just watching. So that's just me. But, um, I mean, you couldn't go wrong with any of them guys. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Prince Nova XX said, Draymond equals a defensive player of the year, steals champ, seven-time all-defensive team. That sounds like elite defense to me. I don't know. But no one plays defense in this era, so. Yeah, no. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know where that comes from. King shot a 442 set for somebody who talks about being soft. Ticket got real emotional when his stats got compared to a Hall of Famer. L O L. That's not what I was trying to do, y'all. What were you trying to do? We all I wasn't know. trying. Look, so basically, <clears throat> similar stat lines. Be careful right the, here. Yo, yo, at the end of the day, there was a lot of praise. <laughs> it was a lot of praise. And this is where t- I'm trying to give Ticket his flower. The, irregardless of the stat lines, it was still a ton of praise getting thrown at Ticket for what he's able to do on the floor with regards to facilitating playmaking and shot making and things like that. So at the end of the day, if you're just yelling out triple single isn't always the best route to go because it's always going to come down to your impact on the floor. That, and, 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 you know, that's why I said it's a lot of similarities there. And, you know, that's what's documented. Okay, okay, absolutely. Uh, speaking of which, FYF, Christopher D came with a super chat. He said, was on the podcast with FYF yesterday. Love my brother. But it's crazy to say Ben Simmons has any trade value, much less that the Bulls would entertain a trade for Levine for Simmons. Hanging the phone up. Click. We hanging the phone. If, if they even attempt to call to ask for Zach Levine for Ben Simmons, we hanging the phone up. No way, they, no way they're even entertaining that. I would consider it for the Bulls. Why? Why is that? Why? And the reason why I, I could consider it is because what they're missing. I mean, if you look at how good that team was, Mm-hmm. Just with Lonzo Ball on the floor. Just with mm-hmm. Lonzo on the floor. I mean, Lonzo's much better three-point shooter, but mm-hmm. Lonzo's just playmaking alone made the Bulls dominant for a short period of time before he went yes, down he with injury. Yes, and so did. when you got two scores like Zach Levine and DeRozan without a facilitator, it just ain't working. I would obviously it doesn't look like they want to it don't look like they want to pay Levine. Maybe mm-hmm. try something. Maybe try something different. I don't know if they can. I don't know if the contracts will work, but I just think it's time to give them give a different look because I don't think Lonzo's coming back anytime soon. But you, you can't. You, you can't but say, then you're you getting rid think. of one of the scores. You, you can't Simmons. believe Levine can't get you better return than Ben Simmons. No, exactly. obviously the package would be different. They would have to probably add in a, a Seth Curry and do different things with the package to make it better for the Bulls because they're taking on the bad contract right now. Ben Simmons is the guy. But so and and you know the Nets are winning, so the Nets would have to give up more. 
but you know, if you add some pieces in there, I don't think it will com- be completely horrible. But at this point in time, it's just nobody's going to take any chances on Ben Simmons. Um, he's just played himself out of a lot of trade talks right now. All right, I'll, quick, I'll, quick, I'll, quick, I'll, I'll, quick. I'll accept that answer because boy, that was <laughs> my goodness, boy. <laughs> quick side, quick, quick side note. If y'all think LeBron James is breaking this record in Oklahoma City tonight, y'all on crack. Yeah. It's not happening. Let's, <laughs> let's let's talk about it. That's not he's, happening. He's sitting tonight. He's sitting tonight. <laughs> LeBron James is thirty six. No, he's not away. sitting, but yeah, he's not playing. I mean, he's not. He's not breaking it. Come on. Now. He, Le- LeBron James, Oklahoma City. Mm-mm. He's, he's thirty six points away. <laughs> yeah. He plays OKC tonight mm-hmm. in LA. And then who does he play tomorrow in LA? He plays Milwaukee. No, not, not tomorrow, but next. Thursday. Milwaukee. Thursday. Milwaukee, Thursday. Mm-hmm. And then they go on the road and they play. Man, it's Milwaukee. Milwaukee. He beating it. In I, think, I think they play Golden State on Saturday. Yeah, it's Golden he's, State he, on he's Saturday. He's breaking the record on Thursday. He's breaking on Thursday. Everybody with, agrees with, with a that? sky hook in Milwaukee. Literally with a sky hook in Milwaukee. He literally it's not in Milwaukee. It's, 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 it's in Los Angeles. But he's he doing it against the same team that Kareem played. Of course, he he breaking that in Milwaukee. For the he team that Kareem in, played for. He's, he's got to do it in L.A. because they pay $92,000 for courtside seats. He... <laughs> and I will be at home on stream watching it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what y'all are doing, boy. <laughs> if he breaks it tonight, there's going to be a lot of people wanting some refunds. I mean, now is it far fetched for LeBron oh to score God. 36? Is that far fetched? It's not. It's not. No, it's, it's not. not. It's, it's not, not that no, LeBron not. is incapable. It's that LeBron will have 35 and something so far again. No, it's not. It's not I just, I, I just can't see him breaking the scoring record in Oklahoma City when they got a game. No, it's, it's in tonight. No, it's against, oh, it's against it's Oklahoma City. Against not OKD, so you're telling me, hold on. So chill. You think, you think, let's say he comes out hot. He comes out hot. He's just hitting everything. He's gonna take himself out. He will sub himself. No, he'll 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 start making the right play. Ah, oh, okay, okay, happen. okay. All right. I'm just. I'm gonna get I'm my actually, teammates involved. That's, that's what right. exactly yeah, what yeah, will yeah. happen. Anthony yeah, Davis will start getting a lot of touches. Else, you know, that's that's what will happen. Yeah. If he start he start knocking out threes. He's like, damn, I ain't supposed to be this hot tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas. The will I, will, will LeBron will LeBron risk losing the game to break it? Yeah. No. Yes, no. he yeah, I think, we'll, I, we'll find out. I, I we'll think, find out think tonight. LeBron is that crazy. I think no. LeBron is that insane. He will risk losing a game. No, you are bro, not, y'all you are crazy. Are There's no way he does that. Yes, but, what he what he's, he's, he's not about to. He's not about no to go way. over 36 to try win this game. He's not. He's trying to win this game with. Oh, so you're telling me, so Mars, he's got 35 points. Game goes into overtime. He's he's just passing. Yeah, making the he's right play. He's, he's making the right he's play. Go, he go, he go, he go try Oklahoma to get the double team. Allegan putting him on the line on purpose. <laughs> no, no, no. Intentional, if intentional if fouls. He, and if, he they, foul, they if he get fouled, if he gets fouled, then yes. But he gonna try to get them. Come on, come on, come double me real quick. Double, double oh man, quick. if I'm <laughs> Oklahoma City, I am letting him get open dunks and layups all the first and second quarter, <laughs> and forcing him to break it tonight. In my, I, I. Just ruin everything. That's what I would do. Nah, uh, that Shea Gilson, they're gonna try to ruin it. They're gonna try to they always go after the Lakers hard. They always play them tough for no somehow. Reason. No reason. Hey, they're above them in the standards. What do you mean no reason? Nah, this is a big game for them. Be, this is a big this is a big game for both teams. Man, can we get to the Scotty Pippen slander? Man, I'm tired of Scotty Pippen, bro. Oh, well, let's go. If, if, if that's where you want to go, low. Uh, <laughs> but can we get to the soup? I, I, I thought we were going to go. I thought we were going to go. I thought we were going to go. Ron, just so you know, the two weeks I hosted, every super chat got read and answered, bro. Put it out, man. I'm trying to read the super chats. But there's smoke just looming in the air. Low called out Scotty Pippen. No, no, my bad. We can finish it. Hey. I don't want to excuse you for being a bad host. FYI called out Ticket. (laughs) And guess what? He called out Ticket. The smoke. Hey, look, man. I never (laughs) average it. I never average it. Only time I average a triple single in pro basketball is my last, is my very last game when I, before I, when I got hurt, before I had to stop playing for about two years, bro. You, sir. (laughs) You, sir. Come on, man. Let's break down your career. So what did you do? Oh, man. I just gave you praise, man. No, no, no. I, I, I want to give you praise. What did you do? I'm going to walk on. I'm going to walk on. No, no, no. Oh, no, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about pro basketball. We ain't talking about oh. college. We're talking about pro basketball. Oh, no. There was if, no if pro basketball. Stats, I averaged 28 and 12, led the league but, in scoring and rebounding. But they gave you a ton of praise. And, and, yeah. No, 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 no,
I said he was great. Was, hold on, 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 great defender. Because from everything I was, the Lakers did take me in the mid rounds on on in the G League draft. Now, yeah, they called. They said, "Oh, tickets a G League reject." But how no, can they say something to me? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How can they say something to me when these niggas ain't never even been at that level? No, but I, I'm giving right? you the so, praise. So basically, hold I'm on. So you basically, praise. so basically, a nigga like you can't talk to a nigga like me about basketball. Cause you ain't on. Cause while I'm not on Draymond's level, you no, ain't on my I, level. Right? I didn't say you and wasn't well, on Draymond. I'm saying well, you are on Draymond's well, level. I'm gonna need you to read out elders' cash apps too, cause elders sent a donation. I'm gonna need you to read out elders' donations. Don't skip by elders' donations because elders show love and support you. He's a member of the channel, elders, so we can do that too, right? So cause see, when, when I come through, I come, hold on, I come through with the ether napalm bomb because oh, yeah, what Lamont yeah. said Lamont tried to be funny, right? But what Lamont won't do is, to be he won't put, hold on, he won't put up my pro stats against his YMCA stats. He won't do that. I don't have YMCA. He won't do it. He won't do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, my, because like I said, this gets deeper. We can do, we can do this, right? We can do this, right? So put up my stats in the KBL, put up my stats in Venezuela, put up my stats in China, put up my stats in uh in uh put up Argentina, put up all my stats from there, and let's put up your stats. Then. You then, were saying you then, were then, hold on, hold on, because Draymond Green, yeah, he got big dog, little dog talk over me because he making millions. Nah, it wasn't weed, about you know, big dog, stuff, right, dog. Right? No, 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 Lamont. So we're going to go all the way there, right? Because I showed him how goofy you was with them dumbass takes you had about the 90s. Now I'm finna get on. Uh, now we finna go. We finna go deeper than that. Right. So first of all, Ron, put up Elders <laughs> Cash App, bro. Put Elders Cash App. Don't duck Elders Cash App. We're not going to duck the people. We're going to get the people what they want. We will get the people what they want, right? <laughs> Period, nigga. That, that, like I said before, they, all these dudes can say whatever they want to say, but tell him to put up his numbers against mine. And the YMCA numbers ain't going to mix. They ain't going to match. Because it's easy for him to say that, right? Because he's comparing me to Trayvon. But he don't <laughs> compare to me. He, he trying to, Lamont, don't let him fool y'all. I'm not 6'9". He's trying, nine. To be funny. he's trying to be funny. He's trying to be funny, right? Cause you said, "Hey man, y'all need to pull up to some of these gyms in Indiana." Okay, well, cool. I'm not in Indiana. No, no. That, that, I mean, that's what you told people though. You told people, "Yo, y'all need to pull up to some of them gyms in Indiana and nah, come Arizona. see what the smoke is like." Arizona. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously, I know you're down there in Arizona now, Lamont. No, no, no. Palm I trees. said no. That's when you Elder said? said. Elder has said he dominates D1 players still to this day in leagues, and I said. If that's the case, I would love to see it because we all watched him play against Hitman X, and it didn't look like a guy that could dominate in against pro am guys in the, in any the, league. So, I mean, like, I, that's all I was saying. I was like, I would love to see it. It's it's yeah, hard. Exactly. These guys can play. When you when when we listen, Draymond's gonna give me all day. He's gonna get all of us on our. He's gonna get no, everybody no. that's on me basically. I, 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 I wasn't hitting you against they Draymond. I'm saying y'all had the similar they praise. Y'all the coaches praised y'all in a similar manner. So Ain't no similar praise because he did play in the league. I didn't. But all I'm saying is, Lamont, you can't do that when you ain't on my level. See, you can't do that. See what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying to you. And I, and I ain't right. being funny. You talking real life because you brought that up. I was just going to pick you cool. basketball. But since you went personal, I ain't even go all the way that deep personal. Basketball. I just go basketball. Because, see, it took Shaq and them to come up here with you. And they ain't want to read Elders, Elders Cash App. I ain't like that. What is what is Elder's Cash App? Here's out? Elder's Cash App. Okay, geez. Shout out, Elder. He says, so, the 90s was weak, full of <laughs> overweight and druggies. <laughs> full of overweight and druggies, but Jordan is the GOAT. And yeah. my logic is questioned. Last Jordan is the, Jordan is a, Jordan is the GOAT, but my criteria is not based on your competition. So <clears> I don't, I don't, I can't penalize players because of the competition you played in. Remember. Elder was the one that penalized players like Bill Russell and those guys because he felt like their competition was weak. What I say is one thing is when I'm talking about the best of the best, I say, how well did you dominate your era of basketball? And to me, Jordan dominated his era of basketball more than any other superstar that I've seen. And if I'm wrong, then y'all tell me I'm wrong and put another player up there. Maybe somebody wants to argue Kareem. I don't think Kareem was as dominant as Michael Jordan whoa, over whoa, his whoa, era. Whoa, 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 so, again, whoa, whoa. that's all. So, for me, Jordan dominated his era. I can't penalize him for things he can't control. He couldn't control the competition. He couldn't He couldn't add more significant shooting guards to the 90s to make it harder. He's something that's out of his control. And, see, and I'm not going to penalize him. If I say something like that, the whole chat explode and say, I'm crazy. Y'all say, I'm crazy. <laughs> this dude come on here and say, you did, you, like you, this. You, Go ahead. What, what did I say that was wrong, though? 
Bro, you, first of all, you just you you try to praise him and then discredit him at the same time. And I'm surprised Lowe ain't, say, ain't say nothing. I'm surprised Lowe ain't said nothing. He's the legend of winning. He knows I'm trying, to, I'm trying, I'm trying to get to the Scottie Pippen talk. That's what I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get to No, y'all Pippen discredit Scottie Pippen. Y'all will discredit Scottie Pippen. Scotty is. The way you're talking about him is absurd. We're not allowing that. Better than Hakeem? Oh, no. No, no, you, I, no, I said, no, I said, I said, I said no. earlier. I said earlier about no touch of the imagination. He's six and zero in the finals. Scotty Pippen better than Hakeem Olajuwon. Oh, he's six and zero in the finals. Still top ten. Yo, yo, yo Lamont, Lamont. Uh, let's just start here. Where is Scotty Pippen ranked all time? For no, just what's a top ten? What's a complete? I got, I got Scotty no, 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 top ten. We'll, we'll, we'll get his top ten, but I want to know where you got Scotty. Where? Look at big eyes. Top twenty. <laughs> Top twenty. And, 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 I just and, said top ten. And what I said was, <laughs> and the reason why I say with my list because everybody has preferences and biases, I tend to elevate guys that have a ton of defensive versatility. And so with Pippen, you can knock him offensively. If maybe he doesn't look it look like some of the best scores of all time, but defensively, we have yet to see a player duplicate what Pippen was able to do on the defensive end. Not one player in NBA history can you say could defend like Scottie Pippen. And when you're that good defensively and nobody's matched it, we've seen Kobe kind of mirror what Jordan looked like. We've seen a ton of players mirror certain things, but I've yet to see any player defensively mirror what Scottie Pippen's done. And for me, that adds value. Wow. For me, that's value. I was, you don't think nobody's ever mirrored what he's done? Tell me one player. Tell me one player that's defensively mirrored Scottie Pippen. Kawhi, on ball close, but off ball, he's atrocious. When you go, I mean, Draymond Green, you could say, but he's still a tinge below in almost every versatility category. I'm saying, so Kawhi Leonard's not close, because off ball, Kawhi Leonard's like a cone. I've done multiple videos showing Kawhi Leonard's off ball defense is not close to Scottie Pippen's. Kawhi on ball, Terry, like guys like Tony Allen, on ball, great. But nobody's matched his defensive versatility. He was elite on ball. He was elite off ball. He was elite in transition defensively. How many players in all these defensive categories were elite? You will be hard-pressed to find any. And on top of the fact, he could guard your point guard full court, right? He could come down and control the half-court defense and literally, like Kobe Bryant said, take away a whole half of the court. Right. He, he could do so many different things. He gave Phil Jackson so much flexibility with that defense. Um, we've yet to see that duplicated. And it's not easy to do what he's done. It's not easy to commit to that side of the ball. Right. And not get a ton of praise for those things. He didn't get one defensive player of the year throughout the 90s. That's sad. That's sad. That's the, one of the worst. That's one of the biggest one of the biggest, you know, probably you know, that, that that shouldn't. I don't know how that happened. For him not to get one defensive player of the year, that's that's what Mars is crazy. Go ahead. What go you ahead. got, Mars? What you got, Mars? Um, if if you have Scottie Pippen top twenty, does that mean you don't have Hakeem top twenty? No, I have Hakeem in my top twenty. Oh, so they're both in your top twenty, but Scottie's just Ooh. higher. No, Scottie's not higher. When he I when I said when I said that when I said that the elder, remember when I said that the elder, y'all, I was playing on his logic when he said he prioritizes winning. I said, well, if you prioritize winning, then how do you not have Scotty over Hakeem? Because he's 6-0 in the finals. Because remember, he said, I prioritize winning in the finals. With Scotty Pippen, top 10 player of the 90s, and he's 6-0 in the finals. If you use that logic, he, he that shoots him way past Hakeem if you go off that logic. So, but that just tells you the flaw in the logic. One of the reasons why he changed that logic, because it didn't make sense. Because you'll elevate guys over Hakeem that don't necessarily belong. So do you, that's, do that's you why put, I said Do that. you put defensive ability... At a one to one with offense when you're rating players, what do you mean? One to one, because oh, you said Pippen because of you, you admitted he had some flaws on offense, but because of the things he did defensively, you put him up top 20. So, I'm asking you, do you look at defense and offense as a one to one? No, no, it, it, it's based on how you play defense. Your impact throws that completely off. Scotty Pippen's ability to defend in that era, he didn't have to score 30 points a game to have a complete impact on a game. All he had to do was be great defensively. He can completely blow up your offensive game plan. That is enough right there. That is enough right there. You don't have to go – with Jordan on your team, why would I go out trying to score 30? Right? With no, shooters yeah, with players like Kukos on my team. Like, so his yeah. impact defensively, his versatility 30, defensively. But he couldn't do that, though. He, he could, could score 30. He could score 30. He could he average had. 30. No, he no, not average. He could go out yeah, and score okay. thirty. He was never asked to do that. He was never no, no, asked to go and score thirty. And then to the defensive player of the year. And just so we're clear, I'm not. I I am not a hate uh, Pippen guy. I, I praise yeah. Pippen quite a lot. Um, but I'm curious, what year do you feel like he should have won Depoy? 
I think he could have won Defensive Player of the Year in 94. I think he could have won it. I think it was either 92 or 93. I mean, these are the years where I see him. I think the problem with the 90s is that generally there was so oh, much man. favoritism to the big men that all the most of the big men that won Defensive Player of the Year outside of Rodman and Gary Payton, all you had to do was come close to leading the league in blocks and you would be there. They, they, It was a lot of favoritism for the big men. And so a lot of the defensive players like a Pippen never got the credit they deserve. Fortunately, Gary Payton was able to get it. Not sure how he was able to do that. I don't. I mean, I don't. Because yeah, because I'm just. I'm looking at. I'm looking at his prime years, right. and yeah, it's Dennis Rodman, Dennis Rodman, David Robinson, Hakeem Olajuwon, uh, Dikembe Mutombo, Gary Payton, Mutombo, and and I guess and, Morning at the tail end of it in a non big man era. So how did? So where I, I'm trying to figure out where Pip, the things was. that Pippen did. It was hard to tally up on stats. Right. Deflections, picking up full court, p mm -hmm. picking up in a press in 96. Mm -hmm. There's no stat that keeps track of the things that he right. did defensively. So he couldn't get rewarded for it. It was easier to reward players like Akeem because of a ton of blocks. I'm talking about how you average four blocks in a game. It's hard for me to say you're not one of the best. Play I mean, it's hard. So I think in the 90s, they tend to just look at a lot of stats and that's how they but, rewarded it. And but even, and even and, 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 one last ahead, question, Joe. One last question because we talked about this last week. So I'm curious. Because uh, I haven't talked to this, I don't know. I've never talked to this guy before. I don't know who he is. Um, perimeter or 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 interior defense, which is more difficult in your opinion? Well, I mean, I would have to say, I would say, I would have to say, just post defense is more difficult. Okay, mm -hmm. post defense is more difficult. <clears throat> but Yo. again, but it, it, again, I think one of the, I think it also based on your assignment. If I'm given a def my defensive assignment. If I'm a perimeter player, could be harder than yours in the post. If I'm Pippen and I'm asked to guard a Mark Jackson or some mm -hmm. guy out there, and you and, and not only guard him, pick him up mm -hmm. full court, just blow up the offense. And yep. then once you once he gets into the half court, then yep. I have to fight through screens. I have to pick up guys like a Reggie Miller and all these other things. So he had he had like five or six assignments defensively. Yep. And, and sometimes he had to switch off and guard the post because the Bulls right. didn't have the greatest post defenders, the Bill Winningtons and all these guys. You're not look, you're not talking about top notch elite rim protectors there. So cool. Pippen had to pick up the slack there a lot. So Pippen was asked to do more defensively than a lot of the bigs of the '90s. He was just good at so many things, but there was no there was no running stat to keep track of the things that he did great. So it was harder for people to say he was a great defender because they didn't have in front of their eyes stats that show he led the league in this or he led the league in that. Nobody cared about deflections. Only coaches cared about some of the mm -hmm. things that he did. That's Low, so it's, it's, low. is, is Pippen top 30 low? <laughs> low, you said you wanted to Pippen slam to bring your logic. What's so is funny? He top, okay, is he top 40 low? Oh, no, don't. Pippen's without a top 50 player. I'm not, I'm not denying it. And if he's top 30, he's like on the lower end of 30 um, – if closer I had, 40, I don't, I don't, 40, I don't, yeah, cl like closer to like 35 than like, like 25. Is, I, is Draymond top 50? No, I don't have Draymond top 50. No. Okay, cool, cool. So, um, to that, <clears> that that are, no, no, because no, so I'm, to, F, I'm to, to, F, to, to, to your point, I mean, we, mm -hmm. can't we say the same thing about Akeem Olajuwon? Because we're talking about an elite rim protector. So, what now I do is I just completely shut down your interior offense. Anybody that's coming to the rim, anybody that's coming into the paint, anything that's going on, I'm completely shutting that down. Add that to the fact that. Hakeem Olajuwon, as a perimeter defender and as a transition defender, being able to guard the rim, being able to get back on defense and guard the rim, he slows down your transition game. Now, I can appreciate Scottie Pippen as a wing defender, basically, because what Scottie Pippen was as a wing defender was he was a guy who threw guys off rhythm. He's a guy who keeps the ball away from a scorer. A great scorer, what he wants to do is when he when he gets the basketball, he gets himself in rhythm. Scotty's going to keep the ball away from you, and that's how he's going to throw you off rhythm. Now, the same logic goes with Hakeem Olajuwon. Well, Hakeem Olajuwon, he's going to keep you guys out of the paint. I'm going to completely take away that part of your offense. It's basically like a cornerback shutting the field in half. And if I'm shutting the field in half, I completely disable your offense. And Hakeem Olajuwon was able to do that. So to say that nobody duplicated what Scottie Pippen did, I completely think that that's false because Hakeem Olajuwon had a major impact on defense. I mean, yeah, like I said, it, the way you look at defense, if you want to give them that much credit, I mean, that's fine. And and again, the 90s were a pace down era where they went to the post a lot. I can see why you would go there. But I just think with the Bulls and the success that they had, the things that they asked that man to do defensively, I mean, imagine telling a player, I want you to do pick up full court. I want you to 
the, the lead the team in the, in the half court defense. I want you to be the, the vocal leader on the floor and all these things. I'm talking about they asked the man to do a ton defensively. and He was able to do them all, including guard to post from time to time. And, and you know, I mean, if you want to elevate Elijah on up there just because of his post defense outside of the post, I don't know if we can say it was as great. Um, is what Absolutely people give him credit for. Scottie Pippen was a great transition I just don't see the life. numbers that support that. The numbers well, well, that I well, see don't well, support well, that. See, that's the thing right there. Once again, you keep saying the numbers. Once again, you're telling me the numbers, and then you tell me that what Scottie Pippen does don't show up on the stat sheet. On the stat mm -hmm. sheet. No, I'm talking about analytics. I'm talking right, about well, analytics. It's the same logic, because you can't no. tell me that the numbers analytics. Analytics again, support that Pippen was the best defender of the night. Once again, you can't tell me that Scottie Pippen's numbers – don't show up on the stat sheet, but then tell me that Hakeem Olajuwon's numbers, running numbers, numbers, is different those, those from two, Those analytics. two things aren't the same thing. So with that being said, Hakeem Olajuwon, from the eye test, which is what you're going off of with Scottie Pippen, the stuff that doesn't show up on the box score. From the eye test, when I watch Hakeem Olajuwon as a transition defender, when Rod Strickland is coming down in transition, and he can't go to the basket because Hakeem Olajuwon is standing under the basket in transition. Ooh. Or Kai Drexler, he can't go to the basket because Hakeem Olajuwon has come down and slowed your transition game down. Now, in Scottie Pippen's defense, I will tell you this. I did hear Lenny Wilkins say he's the only guy that I've ever seen that can have five points and completely dominate the game. Now, I will tell you that. However, when I think about Akeem Olajuwon, his ability to rebound, his ability to keep your team at one shot, right, at one shot and stifle your stifle your offense, all of those things add up. I think Hakeem Olajuwon is the best defensive player in NBA history. Yeah, I mean, I yo, mean, yo, yo, yo. I think it goes up, based on what you favor. If you favor, ver if you favor dominance at w one portion of the quarter, if you favor versatility, I can't knock people who say that. If you say Akeem's the best, I won't fight that because I understand mm -hmm. how great he was defensively. And like I said, I just think there's a rank. I think Pippen should be within a certain range. I think Akeem should be in that same range. So when you're talking about the best defenders, I'm not gonna fight people who have him over Pippen. Or I just think. If you have a list of top ten defenders all time, I think Pippen and Akeem both deserve to be in there. I don't really care where you I can't. Them. I can't name ten you know defenders better than Scottie Pippen. I can't. Yeah, and I, I, can't I won't even try. To, I won't even try to do that. No. Yeah, yo, yo, fellas, you, what, fellas, what you got? What you um, got? Um, I, I want the the discussion to continue going. Uh, I see a super chat up here it says, "Please cook Elder's top 10. I know uh, <laughs> FYF has mentioned Elder multiple times. Well, it's funny on the ch on the panel and on Player's Choice. You just never know what you're gonna get. Be careful what you ask for. And because what, what happens? For. Because, because what happens? They what happens? Pop, they will here they pop are. up here they out are. of nowhere. Here here Elder Rooster. Elder's in the house. Elder is in the house. What's up, brother? Before, before can I say hey. this real quick? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Elder. Cutter. I just I've been kind of oh, holding back on this. Oh, yeah. All right." When you when you're saying they they didn't favor Jesus, you cut my head off again. When you when you say they didn't favor um, guard play or versatility and stuff like that, which I think to the extent you're correct. But what okay? A would you consider Dennis Rodman falling under the umbrella of like defensive bigs, or he's more in the versatility like Pippen? I, I consider Rodman more of a, a versatile defender. Mm -hmm. uh, like people try to put, put Robin as this guy that just. Because you look at that one game where he slowed up Shaq for a half, and they say, oh, he's this great. No, he's not a post defender. He was – when they when Rodman at his best defensively, you sent him out there as a wild card to just completely go blow stuff up. Go pick this guy up full court. Be a nuisance, blow stuff up, um, ball hawk, ball stop, hold up cutters, be physical, um, chuck guys cutting through the lane. That's what you asked Rodman to do. That's Rodman at his prime defensively. You actually diminish him when you just tell him to go defend the post. That's not the best defensive Rodman, right? The Bulls 96 were the best defensive team of all time. Why? Because they picked up full court. They could press. They could do a ton of different things. And they didn't just relegate Rodman to just guarding post players. They actually you utilize all his skills. I, I would then, Marquez, I'll follow that up with, Fair enough. There were definitely a lot of bigs who won DPOY, but by your logic, then there would be nothing but big men who leading the DPOY race every year, and that's not the case. Actually, most of the year DPOY years followed up from whoever the censor was who won it was Scottie Pippen, was Gary Payton, was Mookie Blaylock, was Dennis Rodman, was was other players. And Dennis Rodman, if I'm not mistaken, won two, and then um, GP Gary won one as well. Mm -hmm. So, I, like. I understand. And then even before that, I, fair enough, this is the 80s, but Alvin Robinson and then Michael Cooper also won one as, won some as well. So I, I'm, I do think there's some validity in what you're saying, that there is a subsection of people probably at that time who were gauging defense based off just counting stats when that's not the best way to look at defense. I think that's fair. But if you just look throughout the years, even when there are team, even when there's times when a big man does win it, 
such as 90, 92, right after um, David Robinson, it was Dennis Rodman right after him, and he nearly beat him out. It was 46 um, votes to 39 votes. And then right after Dennis Rodman, it was Michael Jordan. And right after Michael Jordan, it was Scottie Pippen. And then right after Scottie Pippen, it was Joe Dumars. Literally the next four, four players in the race were all perimeter-oriented players. Then in 96, even though, yes, um, 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 hold on, hold on, Lo. Don't skip the fact that in '94 Elijah Wan won it. Don't leave him out. No, no, wait, no. I'm, I'm about to. I'm, I'm trying to go to every single year. Then, then in '96, when when GP won it, the next person up was Scottie Pippen, and he received more votes than both the Kim and Batumbo, <laughs> David Robinson, and my um, I'm Hakeem Olajuwon. Then in '97. When Dikembe won it, right after him was um, Gary Payton, Mookie Blaylock, Scottie Pippen, and Michael Jordan, and Joe Dumars. Like, literally right after them, and I'm not saying that they didn't favor it, but right after them was a whole bunch of other perimeter-oriented players. And then finally, in 1998, when Dikembe Mutombo won it, Gary Payton was just two votes away from winning himself. And then after that, it was David Robinson Fair. But then right after that, it was Michael and, and Mookie Blaylock. So it, winning it, Sure, maybe so, but to say that they didn't really value it at all when the rest of the players who were receiving DPOY votes were nothing but perimeter-oriented players for majority of the 90s, I don't really see. But again, coming close don't count. That's the thing. Nobody's going to remember Scotty for coming close in the defensive player of the year race. I mean, people remember Gary Payton, wanted to think he's the first guard, first guard to win defensive player of the year. That's always going to stand out. Nobody, if no, if, if, if it well, when you know in that in that era we're talking about we are talking about that big man there, and I know there was another guard that won it, but very few guards have actually won it. That's yeah, not true. true. That's S not true at all. S Sidney Moncrief. Just, won so, it. just so you Sidney know, Moncrief in, 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 in the eighty two eighty three season, right? So in the eighty two eighty three yeah, season, you said more big, guards that, have won defensive player of the year than bigs. Once again, so in the eighty two eighty three season, it's not a very balanced. That, that's when the defensive player of the year was implemented. That was the first year. So from nineteen eighty two to nineteen ninety mm -hmm. four. Of the eight defensive players of the year were two guards. That was Sidney Moncrief, Alvin Robinson, Michael Cooper, and Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. So that's four guys in that decade, right? So it wasn't even 80s? though it was in the 80s. It was for, from, since from, it was implemented. From, yeah, I, I can say right now from 1983 when first, it was implemented. The first, seven, the first seven years that it was awarded, mm -hmm. four guys. Times, it was not a center. Yeah, it was it, uh, up until up until four times four times time two guards won it. Four yeah, up, times up until up until ninety eight. It's Moncrief twice, Alvin right. Robinson, Cooper, right. Jordan, Dennis Rodman. Like you said, is a perimeter right. oriented player, mm -hmm. and then GP. It's eight eight players won it in the first. If we're primarily talking about the nineties, though, which yeah. is a big man dominant era, it doesn't surprise me that they favored big men in the defensive player of the year award race. That's what it is. Oh, no, I get I, that's I, what I'm referring to. If you go you outside of the nineties, you can't say you that go outside of the nineties though. You can't say that for the whole race because I just like I just said, if it's one player winning it, fair enough. But if it's close between him and GP, then that would mean that at that time they still would have valued GP to a similar degree. And I and I get what you're saying that people are not going to remember it. But we're not talking about people who don't remember. We're talking about people who studied a game of basketball. Us, and we we look at, but, we but look one of the reasons why Scottie Pippen gets diminished is because he doesn't have a defensive player of the year. Award. Well, wait a minute. Let's not hold focus on, our energy on people who don't know basketball. Even even, even, even if that's Scottie Pippen is great, not it don't matter if he didn't win it. Even people who know basketball diminish. Uh, but but even even Law, and I'm not, I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> though, but even even if that's true, right? Let's say the, let's say for the sake of argument that because he wasn't winning it, it diminishes it. Who he was coming in second place to? That's what I'm saying. Doesn't that elevate how great of a defensive player those guys were? Because in we, addition all, to him, we all acknowledge that Tim Duncan is one of the greatest defensive players of all time as well, and he didn't right. win one ever, and he made the All League defensive team. 15 times. So I don't like, I, I mean, I, I, the people you probably are talking about are just people who are trying to diminish Scotty and don't do it legitimately. Yeah. What I'm about to do ain't going to be applicable to that. But <laughs> Scott, Scott, Scotty is as great as he was, and he was a phenomenal player. I, I don't know where y'all may have, have him at, but I, this idea that like Scotty was this top 20 player or top 15 or wherever you may have him, <laughs> when there's players who had the responsibility to impact their, their team's success from an individual standpoint and lead that charge. Scottie Pippen, yes, got that responsibility in 94. And I think he did a, a great job. 95 happened, 90, the 95 season happened, and he was failing to do so before Michael Jordan got there because they were barely above 500. For as great as defensively he was, he was an amazing defender. Yet when in 98, when he missed half of the season, essentially, they were still on pace to win 55 to 60 plus games. They were still one of the best defensive teams in the NBA. 
day. Not knocking Scotty. I'm not saying that. But the reality is, is that it wasn't as if like the Bulls defense was contingent on Scotty Pippa's excellence because even in 98, when he was not the same player, he was they were still an amazing defensive team. And they went through the postseason with him having a bad back, especially in the finals. And they were still great defensively. So I'm not again, Scotty Pippen was deaf. I'm not saying he was a cherry on top as well. He definitely put them in conversations is all time great. But his defense is so great that it should comp- it should propel him over players who had the responsibility to lead, team- lead teams for 10 plus years. That That is absurd. Elder, do you, have, do you have a rebuttal, Lamont? If not, Elder I'm just saying I think I think to go on. playing defense at a high level is leading your team. I think too many people correlate scoring points with leading the team. When we've seen a ton of great scores score points and it don't do absolutely nothing. Usually, the greatest teams, even with the best scores, they usually have a great defense behind it. The best teams and throughout NBA history have the best defense, no matter how great their offense is. We've seen right. bad offensive teams like the Pistons dominate the NBA just with defense alone. That just tells you how impactful defense is. So for me, I value defense. I value defensive versatility. I think it's time to just give a player like Scottie Pippen his flowers. Does he have a ton of the accolades and the awards that some of the other guys have? No. But I think when you look at his, you know, when we try to diminish what he was, even as an offensive player, he was still first team all NBA three times in his career. He was still run. He was still in the MVP reach. Remember, if you value being an MVP conversation, he was in the MVP conversation twice, once without Jordan and once with Jordan. But so if he wasn't just, a, he wasn't just the average. Though? No, what top I'm saying, team? I'm just, what I'm giving you is a compilation of things that add and you throw it all in one pot and it, it does elevate him and make him better. Like I said, defense, if you ever hoop before, the one thing you know is doing deep playing defense at a high level consistency is the hardest thing to do on a basketball court. The well, easiest thing to do on a basketball court is, is give up defense. But um I guess the, the question, you playing. I don't play def- I don't play defense. I shoot. Um I just don't know how you have him. You had him top fifteen? No, I said top twenty. Oh, top 20. Okay. I can't remember where I have him. It's probably closer to 20 than it was to anything. Right, I just heard low but say 15, so I was just... Yeah, it was any, still, I have him in the top 20. 20, 20, 20, 20. And, and I will admit I that the, him being over a few guys is biased because I do pro- favor defense. It, it, you know, is he a better player than some of the guys that I have him over? Just player, skill for skill? Probably not, but I think what he did with his career, I reward him for being impactful defensively. I know Ron's going to ask you your top 10, but... Can I got you, my top. I'm cu- yeah, I know Ron's going to ask you that later. I just I'm curious. Who are some of the guys that are not in your top twenty that you think are just a couple of names that you think are consensus top twenty guys that you have Pippen over because of his defensive versatility? Um, if I could, I'm trying to just immediately come up with some names because I'm trying Dr. to. I'm J. just. Try- I'm trying to recover my list. Well, I think Dr. Dr. J. J. I think Dr. J is one of those guys that get disrespected, but I have Dr. J in my top twenty. Um, so, but he's over Pippen. Yeah, I think I believe I have Dr. J. I know he's in my top 20. I think I have Pippen at 19 or 20, So, I, but I know for a fact I have Dr. J. Up Baylor. One. Elgin Baylor, he's not in my top 20. No. Yeah, I'm assuming well, Weston, what, Weston Robertson. Who? Oscar Robertson and Jerry Weston. Oscar Robinson, yeah. I have Oscar Robinson. He, I had him at 10. He's bumped down to 11 now. Jerry West. I can't recall. I can't recall. If I have my top 20, I don't want to misquote my yeah, top okay. 20. I'll, 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 no, no, I, if, I, if I could go get my top 20, I just don't have time to go pull up the video. No, 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 that's, fine. Yeah, that's, fine. that's fine. That's fine. But I got my, I know my top 10 for sure. All right, I just can't recall my full top 20. We will get that momentarily. Uh, yo, if you do have to cut mm-hmm. out, make sure you let me know so we can get that before you leave. Yo, yeah. Elder Rufus, you've been in here waiting patiently. I know you have a lot to get off your chest. I got I got and... about 20 minutes to um around just uh, to let you know. All right, cool. We're gonna let Elder cook go whatever, ahead, he, Elder. whatever it is that yeah. he needs to cook and whoever it is that he needs to cook, uh-huh. and then we'll come straight back to that top 10. All right, hey, salute low, chill, fluent, big ox, and ra. Salute, my brothers. Oh, first oh, thing yes? I'm gonna get first thing I'm gonna get started <laughs> with is Warnock 56, whoever that is, I don't know you, don't know who you are. You are the definition of a hoe, okay? You started with insulting me, and when you got insulted back, you decided to be petty as hell and put me in timeout. That's the clear definition of a hoe. I'm a man, so I'm getting over here to let you know. I don't know who you are, woman, male, male, female, I don't know. But you insulted me. I had said one word to you all night. 
I've been chilling in the chat listening to everybody cook. And you insulted me by calling me a clown. And when I insulted you back, you put me in timeout. You're a hoe, just so you know it, how I feel. Okay? Now, I understand I'm unpleasant, and a lot of folks don't like talking to me. So maybe you don't. <laughs> You're a hoe, though, and I want you to know that. Now, getting back to one of the shows I did, there was a topic that came up, and I think a lot of people missed the topic. The topic that came up was, is Scottie Pippen greater than Akeem Olajuwon? Certain individuals have admitted publicly that they were trolling on that show, right? See, for me, one thing I don't do, when people say idiotic, just remarkable, stupid things, I don't address them. They don't deserve my attention. They don't deserve my comments on So I'm not having a conversation on if Scottie Pippen was a better player than Akeem Olajuwon. Just like I will not have a, a, a conversation about if uh, – Draymond Green is better than Magic Johnson. I'm not giving you my energy on that. And this narrative that has come down the pipeline that when I give a, a thought or when I give an opinion or I give a statement about a player that I owe, listen to what I'm saying, that I owe you an explanation. I owe you to tell you something logical. I don't owe you nothing, whoever you are. It's my thoughts. It's my opinions. It's subjective. doesn't matter why I feel the way I feel. It's mine, just like most of you have a whole bunch of thoughts and opinions. I'm not obligated at all to justify them. Now, when you want to go on your debate forums and all that kind of stuff, that's the type of stuff you can do there, and I'm cool with that. The show that I have put forward on here is called Ask Elder. You don't see it as a debate forum. You come in to get wisdom. You come in to get some knowledge. If you don't feel I got it, hey, you got all these uh, incredible brothers around you right now. Every single one of them got their own platforms, own shows, own everything. And a lot of them love to debate. Go to their channel. If you want to explain yourself why you believe what you believe, I'm not forced to. I'm not obligated to. Some of you may not like me. Some of you will call me a LeBron James hater. I don't care. Because guess why? The people that hate LeBron James call me a LeBron James lover. <laughs> so I don't really care. At the end of the day, pushing narratives and doing all this crazy behind-the-scenes stuff don't affect me one bit. At the end of the day, there was no reason for me to explain anything. The man himself admitted he was trolling. He does not have Scottie Pippen above Hakeem Olajuwon. Guess what that means, y'all? Conversation over. We got nothing else to talk about because we agree. Because I don't have him over there. Now, I don't care what his logic is for having Hakeem over Pippen. I agree that Pippen, I mean, that Akeem is a better player. So we got nothing else to talk about at the end of the day. Now, a lot of you said, I heard, I saw you in the comments, Cook Elder on his top ten, da, 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 da. Guess what? You got the Ask Elder show. You cook me. And guess what? All these dudes up here on the panel, I have never once stopped any of them from coming on the Ask Elder show. If they got beef with me, if they got any kind of issue with me on anything that I've ever said, they can come and we can get it all on my show. I don't go to their platforms because I don't like the format of it. Some people have some of the most ridiculous debating formats I've ever seen in my life. Some folk won't let you talk. You come in and they're going to interrupt you. You're going to say 10 things in, or 10 seconds of talk, <clears throat> and they're going to interrupt you. So I'm not dealing with that. I prefer to converse. I don't prefer to debate. I will if it gets to that point, but that ain't what I prefer. I like talking basketball. I know a lot of you like to be entertained. I think I can be entertained at times. Some of you think I'm boring. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, all this false narrative about my, my logic is flawed. It's only flawed to those that don't understand the game. That's it. It's only flawed to those that see it from a certain glass half full or, or whatever. And I'm cool with that. Guess what? That's their opinion. Because you don't see me on their platform trying to knock them down for the way they think. I don't care. That's your sentiments that's your thoughts and that's your opinions at the end of the day i know exactly who i stand for i've been around this game for a long long time a ton of people appreciate what i bring to the table i'll let all y'all know speak, speaking, of, all... speaking of speaking of not entertaining if you don't get ben simmons off my television right now i swear to god i'm gonna lose it <laughs> get ben simmons off my tv Get him off my TV. Get him off my TV. Hey, get him off my TV, Elder. I ain't playing with you, man. Hey, man. My, my, <laughs> my get him boy, off my uh, TV. My boy, uh, 
uh, uh, Kareem, he hates Ben Simmons too. He's not a Ben Simmons fan. He hates that get dude. Ben Simmons off my television. I swear to God, he don't like mm-hmm. that dude. But but like I was saying, I like to talk basketball. I like to converse back and forth, and I like to have good conversations. Yeah, I'll get into right, debates man. every blue moon, but it ain't it ain't what I prefer to do because it's full of opinion. At the All end right, of the Elder, day, well, you you sticking around to debate with us, or, uh, or what? What you what you want to do? Because because it's, it's about to turn right back up in a second. You you, no, you no, want no, a no. part of that? Or I'm gonna you... give I'm gonna give everybody because I'm here. So anybody here that wants to ask me questions <clears throat> about my top ten or anything, I'm gonna give them that opportunity. I'm gonna give them that opportunity. I ain't. I don't, one thing I don't do. I don't duck no smoke. I don't duck no smoke. You want the smoke, you can get it. Is there any smoke for Elder? The floor is yours. I'll remove everybody from the screen, and we could turn this back to Black Friday, and it could be you and Elder. Anybody <laughs> have smoke with Elder right Thank now? You, oh, I'm good. good. This, this is really I'm, good. I'm, 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 we can't. We can't. We can't contest it if 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 we can't if we can't. Argue let's, with let's the logic on how it was formulated, then, then, then there's no reason to talk about it. That means everybody should just be able to say it and we just move on. I mean, the reason why we have this is entertaining to hear people's top tens and it's entertaining to go back and forth as far as determining why you got him here, why we think he should be higher. At the end of the day, it's, no, it's nothing personal. It's not personal shots. It's just fun conversations. It's boring to just come on here and everybody just agree and walk away. But I think we can have conversations and just debate these things in, a, in an entertainment fashion and move on. And so when we talk about position, and I thought it was comical to see LeBron James at nine when, again, when 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 you talk about your criteria, hey, Ron, hey, Ron, I that, that's entertaining. When I came in, I'm speaking to them. now. I, I, Mars, you don't got to be scared to talk to me. You don't have Mars, to act like I'm not here. Mars but at the end of the day, you can you, you got hey, in your Ron, feelings over a video hey, because you got ether. And now it's you want to cry. Don't come on Player's Choice publicly. and cry. Be a man Mars and talk to me. Don't you call somebody I'm a woman in the it. chat, but now you he acting like a woman I'm on the planet. panel. Right, hold on. You talk Mars like a, you call planet. somebody a woman on the chat. Address me like a man right now and stop ducking. Mars Mars said, come on, man. Quit being, now you being Mars the woman. Said, now you being now, pleasant, pleasant, now you are being the hole that you called the man in the chat. That's why I didn't address him. Because he has said You didn't address me because you scared to talk real basketball with me. Now, anybody because else getting your that feelings I over a thumbnail? Address, I deal up, with bro. them. Grow up. Roaches, man. I don't deal with. That's what little girls do, bro. That's what women do. Grow up, so, man. Hey, hey, like hey, I low said, I'm, I'm respectful deal. to everybody. It's just basketball. Who? Don't act like Ron? I disrespect Ron? you. If any of y'all I don't got disrespect anything, nobody. I deal with y'all. Yo, I, I know. So be a woman and don't address me. Be a woman and don't say nothing. That's what women do. All right, we gonna cut this off, yo, elder. Uh, don't no, nobody no, got no, don't no. nobody up here. That's what women do. You. They get in their feelings and say they don't want to talk to people now, look, over sports. I just want to say I'm a, I'm a feminist hey, and I, I love I love hey, all women. But but that's what he hey, said. The man in the chat. Now he now he's trying to I'm act like, saying, like I don't exist. I just want to publicly be a man. Be a man. If you don't like something I say, be a man. Be a man and talk about it. Elder Elder, say the last words before we move on. All right. Well, like I said, if he don't want to talk, then let's move on. Personally, I don't care. Zero against Mars. I don't. But Mars was the one said he don't desire to speak with me and I'm unpleasant. So I'm not dissing Mars for everybody out there can see. I'm I'm honoring him. He said he don't want to talk to me and I'm unpleasant. Talk yourself out of it, bro. Just talk basketball. Nobody's here for another lecture, bro. Just Just talk basketball. I have zero issues. We hear lectures all day. For the the record, I have zero issues with women. I think women can. Bro, ain't no issues with women, but I stand with wrong. I stand with You can't come in the panel. You can't come in the panel calling somebody in the chat. Come on, that's emotional right there. That's emotional. You 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 upset over a basketball take because you can't break down your own criteria because a million people said you got ether. That's emotional, bro. Anything I said on that or any other platform, you're more than welcome. Like I said, well, go ahead and dip out if you ain't got nothing to say. All right. Anybody else, I'll be more than happy to. Like I said, uh, like I, I said, that, like I don't deal with I, th- this is what FYL Sports does to people. They get people emotional over basketball. That's how you know you don't know nothing and, about basketball. And, 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 that is the true right definition. <laughs> that is the true definition of somebody that don't know basketball. Right when you run from basketball conversations with people that Everybody really good? ain't never disrespected you. Low, you good? I'm good, you too. Good, I'm good. Blue, you good? Big Ox, you good? Oh, gee, I'm straight. Ain't nobody Ron, trying to good? conversate with that. Hey, crazy thing is, Elder, 
I yeah. got some smoke for your black ass. But we gotta move, hey, but we gotta move on because we gotta get Lamont's top ten. I'm gonna pull up the app. I give it to you. Think, so. Hey, boy, all right. my, my city's all you, the way rolled back. I'm gonna let you at. have it. I gave you an opportunity. I'm gonna let you have it. You gonna smoke no my wall? No problem. <laughs> You're gonna need more than that, but that's cool. Man, uh, trust me, I, I I got ammunition for days. Hey, this Al Qaeda over Brian, here. Brian, I got a, I got a slide. Out. I'm a slide. Right, but hold, on, hold on, we want to hear that top ten. Hey, yeah, yo, Elder, you. appreciate you for pulling up. We're gonna catch Hello. you on Ask Elder Mondays. You guys make sure to pull up. Politic with Elder, amazing show, different type of vibe. But uh, while we're here, Lamont, we need that top ten. The top ten. Um, one MJ. Talk about dominance. So like, so usually my go ahead, go ahead, chill. No, you just said it, Jay. I'm, I'm, I'm just going off the number, Jay. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go. So again, my top five is gonna primarily be based on guys that complete dominance over their decade. Because I love mm -hmm. those. I got to give those guys credit. You dominate your decade. So you got LeBron two, uh, Kareem three, uh, Bill Russell, um, and then I go. I got Tim Duncan at five. Mm -hmm. I got Wilt Chamberlain at six. Um, Larry Bird at seven. Mm -hmm. Magic at eight. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, who did I have there? Who do I have? I know. I'm trying to remember who my. Hell, you should be able to. With your criteria and what you have, you should be able to run this down. No Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal at nine. At nine. Okay. Steph Curry at ten, and then at 10. Okay. remember, the, my modified is the per, Steph Curry got bumped in after mm -hmm. you know, okay. but but I right. bumped down. I bumped down Oscar Robinson. I had mm -hmm. previously had Oscar Robinson at ten. I bumped him down. Then I had okay. Kobe right after that. I had Kobe. So Kobe's at twelve now on my list. Oh man, this is gonna be a long night. Bro. We have, uh, but you got you got you got Curry at you got Curry at eight, right? I got, got Curry at ten. Mark, got Curry at ten. Curry at ten. Just cracked. He just magic. barely cracked it. He barely cracked mm -hmm. it. And I think I think he's the only. I think he has he has potential. It's gonna be a long shot, but he has potential to pass Magic and Bird. He there's potential there because he's still playing. He's hmm. just potential there because he's still playing. But again, it's gonna take a. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not saying it's possible, but he still has some work to do. But I think there's potential, and I think the door is open for him to pass. Those no, in no, in no Shaq, right? No, Shaq no, is at nine. Shaq at nine. The ones, the main ones, didn't make it. Duncan, right? Right? No, 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 Tim Duncan was five. Tim Duncan's five. He has no. He has no Kobe. But he put Russell and Wilt right after that, and then Magic and Curry. I mean, Magic and Bird, and then Shaq and Curry. Hold on, FYF though. So yeah. you're you're saying that he has the potential to pass Magic. So I have two questions. He's still playing. He's if, still playing. If, if he has the potential to pass Magic, that means you would have him as your number one point guard, and also that means you would have him as better than Shaq too, since Magic is ahead of Shaq. And Shaq's I, I believe Magic. when Steph Curry finishes playing, and I did a top ten point guard list, and I like mm -hmm. to give people their respect. Uh, it's hard for me. I just it, you know like with LeBron over MJ and with some of these spots, it's hard for me to just elevate guys to number one at a certain position or all time and they still actively playing. So I'm going to give Magic his just due right now. Um, I'm going to give him that respect until Steph Curry retires. Once Steph Curry retires, to me, he's going to go down as the best point guard of all time. Um, he's still playing right now. I'm going to give keep Magic at that one spot until that happens. So same thing with Jordan. Um, Jordan right now has it, but as soon as LeBron retires, it's just too much. It's too much that he's done for me to just look back and look over everything and not put him at number one. You so know, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Stop right, stop right there. Stop right there, Lamont. So if that's true, you gotta wait for him to retire. <laughs> just, he'll just what woke up. World? You know, because what I've been are we talking about but you, but you I was a big I, I was against I was against a ton of people. Um while Jordan played after his third championship, people were running around calling him the GOAT. That they was, were completely was disrespecting that was, that was, that was Kareem's, on. the Wilts. So right. I said, like I said, the Baldwin only way I cannot be a part of that is by not doing it myself. So at right. the end of the day, I, I have to lend that same respect to the guy. Right. So right now, MJ one, LeBron two, Kareem, Bill Russell, right. Tim Duncan, Wilt, Bird, Magic, Dun um, right. Shaq, and then Curry. My my my, my, my issue. Can I, I got Sorry, hold on. Go ahead, Tom. Go ahead, Tom. I just I just because you're already saying once they retire, so you've already made up your mind. So, so what, what are we waiting on? Just be a man that's, and put that's, in. That's, Why are you waiting? That's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Lamont. Already made up. Just do that's it. Exactly what I'm talking no? about, Lamont. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's what it, I mean right there. Because at the end of the day, it is what it is. I told you why they're at right now. Don't I mean? But they if they're all Steph Curry. If Steph Curry would have quit today, you think tomorrow on Thursday he's the best point guard in NBA history? So that doesn't change today. 
That doesn't change. But today. it will change once playing. he retires. For me, if he quit today, I, for, you got him me, as the, if, if he quits today, for you me, got him as the best point guard he's in still, NBA he's, history. Because the is thing is, here, here's the thing, Chill. With him being actively playing, yeah, he with the way we see players activate this day and age, he could actually do more and elevate them. Like if if I know it won't happen, but if Steph right. Curry hauls off and wins or another MVP and wins three championships, right. I know it won't happen. What I'm saying is. Now we're talking potentially top five, right. right? So the thing is, there's so much more he can still do with the way we see players extend their longevity. Right. It's hard for me to give him a Zach spot. So right now, I'm just giving him his gesture. I believe right. Steph Curry belongs in the top ten. All right, and I, I have no problem, and, and I got no problem with that. But my problem with, but my problem, what I'm having with you is, if Steph Curry quits today, so that means that he jumps ahead of Magic, right? So you're not saying that he's a top five player. He's just better than Magic. And that means that pushes him up. That means that pushes him up the list. What I'm trying to make sense of is if that pushes him up the list to jump ahead of Magic, if he quits, then why isn't he already ahead of him? Because Magic isn't playing anymore. And it's not like he and it's not like if you already have him, if you are you already think he's better than Magic. So yeah, that means if you if you already think he's better than Magic, then put him ahead of Magic. There's nothing else that he could do. I, I, it's simple. I do the, I do the I tell, I told no you courtesy. why, though. No, don't, I, don't 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 do the courtesy. I, I got James I, it's ahead of too late. It's too late. It's, I've got, already I, extended. I got, I got I've already James extended ahead. the courtesy. And, and you know uh, what? I'm, and for me as a content creator, it gives me more content. So when I do change it, that's another piece of content <laughs> oh I can put God, out there. You know. What? Okay. I gotta find reasons to change the list up, man. Your list is so your list is fraud. I'm just yeah, it's not. Huh. He's, he's, he's no, my list, my list, my list, my list, because you have a list, list of people that you don't believe in, and you're waiting. To why, how over. do I not believe in him? Because, because again, LeBron, you're talking about the is over Jordan, you say that Curry, once he retires, is over Magic. So the fact that you don't have them there already means your list is fraudulent, and you're but there. Doing, I, I, but I've explained it, motive, and I don't respect Curry it. actively playing. You, I mean, I, you don't have to again. Yeah. Like and I, like I said, I, it's no, I don't, I don't keep mind. Going, keep going, keep going, I don't mind that people don't like my list. Just for me, like oh, I said, I don't care about your list. I don't care this about your list. The preference I is, I don't like this. the trolling and the. Mm. It's not list. trolling. No, no, oh, absolutely. You, you, you've you've admit, you've admitted to trolling on multiple. You, you no, 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 what I do is I troll oh, other no, people's no, logic. No, no, I don't with this list right here. One thing I said was fraudulent. I said it. Built on I've already awesome, said awesome that, though. I I just, hey, no, crazy. I've said that the fact that we saw how people elevating Jordan before his time came was a negative in basketball. Put people saying Jordan was the GOAT after three championships was extremely disrespectful. And then I know there were a lot of people that thought it. I know a lot of people could potentially forecast it at that time. But again, to me, that was just disrespectful as far as those guys that finished their careers. I think they had to hold that spot until we see these players finish their career. And so with Steph Curry, I think he's still playing at a level where he can go up the list. We I, we all know that LeBron James is playing at a level where he can go up or wherever you guys have him. I don't and most, some people don't have him at two or or, or, you know, that some people might already have him at one. But I think those, when you're actively playing, you can still do work. You can so still putting, bump yourself up. So, so putting Steph at 10 was just your way of, like, like when the artist puts the cliffhanger in their book. No, well, no, what I'm saying is putting them at 10 is me paying my respect for, like, we, I see what you're doing. Because I see a ton of people who don't give him the, the just do. So a lot of people will say, even though he's won four championships and done all this stuff and they won't even crack him in the top 15. Oh, he's just coming off picks and he just chucks up threes and that they they dwindle his game down just to that and they completely disrespect him. I'm saying I think he's done enough to be top 10. He's completely done enough to be top 10. And, and he, he, when when he retires, it's just about where you place him in your top 10. Mm -hmm. Wherever you put him, I think I think it's just about that. If my, I, if my, I think my, I think my, this is irresponsible of you. I know you got yeah. people that look at you and they look up to you. And they, they it is what it is. I think that's yeah. irresponsible of you, F. It is I, what it is. Yo, it, 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 I, just gotta, I just got I got a quick like two three questions. Okay, oh. when you say when you say dominated a, a decade, think what do about you mean the kids, dog? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, when you talk about dominance, like when you talk about dominating. So MJ dominated an entire decade, offensively, LeBron, defensively, winning wise. We talk right about right LeBron. Now. LeBron dominated for a period of time, offensively, defensively, and winning-wise. I mean, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you can say the same things. Bill Russell, you can definitely say the same things. Tim Duncan, you can say the same things. And it's like what I'm saying is these players to me, and then I think the only player that's I'm a little sorry bit to cut you more, off, guys. Fellas, I got to bounce. I'm sorry, but I got to bounce, fellas. Right. But, yo, I, I'll get with y'all dudes later. I appreciate right, you. Right. See, 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 see you tomorrow, too, right, Chill? Yeah, no I, doubt. We there. What's going on tomorrow, too? 
No, Chill. five o'clock. Five o'clock Eastern. What, five Eastern. Oh, yeah. I'm, five, I'm, 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 I'm Pacific. I'm Pacific. Yeah, he Pacific time. Five o'clock Eastern. So chill I'll give I'll, 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 I'll give I'll give it you tomorrow. I'll chill give you tomorrow. Right here on Player Show. Yeah, chill, chill with you. They trying to have you promote. I got a dip too. brother. Out. All right, but okay, you Steph Curry is Steph Curry top ten all time. Okay, thank you. Okay, what you okay? Keep that man away from a basketball court. Well, what what is what is my argument? What is okay? The argument I'm trying to say is that um. You say dominant, and then you brought up winning, and you said for a decade. No, multiple things. To say offensively, defensively. Yeah. To me, winning is more so team. I can't just put all the winning on one individual player sure. to win. That, that's the hard, one of the hardest things to put on a player. You got to have an organization and a team that's built to win for a player to win. One player can't just win. We Oscar Robinson proved that. Couldn't, couldn't you? But couldn't you argue that um, Bird and also? Bird, Magic, and Kobe dominated for a year? I mean, a decade? Well, that's why they're in my top 15. All, anybody in my top 20, you can connect the word some type of dominance with, whether it's defensive dominance, offensive dominance, or all three. It, for me, and then everything is just all preferenced out of that based on what I like, what I like, what I tend to prefer. So when you talk about Kobe, was he dominant? Yes. Was he dominant offensively? Yes. Did he do a ton of winning? Yes. And then now it's about what do I prefer? Where are my preferences? Where do I place them? How do mm -hmm. I value it by how I look at basketball? Some people might look at Kobe differently and may elevate some of the things he do. I don't I don't mind when people have him in the top ten. I don't mind it. And, and, but I don't and mind. you don't and you don't think that Hakeem dominated enough. Well, I, it's hard for me to connect. I mean, offensive dominance and defensive dominance, yes. And then, like I said, in my top 20, Hakeem's in there. So you can connect the, word, the dominance with Hakeem to a certain aspect. It's where I where I preference it, I don't put him in my top 10. But he's definitely in my top 20. But, but what, when, what, is, what is a lack of dominance that Hakeem has that is not in the top 10? What would, would you connect it with the winning? Okay. And so offensively, so, defensively so. dominant, but the winning side of it, again, well, one thing I can't kill him for, but at the end of the day, some of the things directly tied to Hakeem Olajuwon, were directly tied to him when it cost his own team losses in the playoffs and things like that because he didn't want to capitulate and do things for the team for the betterment of the team on the court. But people don't like That's to talk fair, about you, you, you people don't like have, to talk about some of Hakeem's yeah, miscomings. But, but y'all gotta have, also you ask you me have, where you have I have in your top ten though. You have Wilt in your top ten, and that's a dominance. Well. I, I think off, I think what we've seen out of Wilt, Wilt Chamberlain. That offensive dominance, we will never see it duplicated and that's, again. And that's and that's fair. There's rules that set in place that will prevent people from doing that. The, the, the it, it, it is, but he, the one thing is, I can't take away the fact that he did it. The no, things no, that, that we saw, the numbers that we saw, will put better. up again. It's hard for me to say the man who averaged fifty points per game in a season, no, no. and then other multiple other seasons, hundred points. I mean, it's well, you want me just completely what, what ignore decade, these what, what decade did Kareem decade dominate? I, it's not necessarily a decade with Kareem because he played through multiple decades, but he was a dominant player when he played, I believe. To win MVP and your team not make the playoffs, to me, that's dominant. So could you not argue, especially you're saying lack of winning, why would Kareem be that high then? Because Kareem went throughout the 70s and won a championship and had years where he well, didn't remember, make deep postseason. On my, totem pole, on my totem pole, I don't prioritize winning as much. I feel like that's more organizational and team than anything, but I have to take it into consideration when I'm looking at the top 10. So or or even the top 20, anything like that. So I do consider it, but I'm not killing him for not having all the winning that people put on him. I can't. So why is Hakeem out of the top 10 then? Because, like I said, when you when I evaluate Hakeem's winning, when you do a deep dive into Hakeem and how his teams were losing, I feel like he played more of a direct role in some of those losses than players like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I think, like I said, I don't believe Akeem. I don't. I don't believe Akeem Olajuwon gets enough criticism for the, some of the things that he was doing on and off the court and with regards to killing the team or making making it hard for that team to win. People just talk about Akeem. They talk about his the, the dream shake and they they say ninety four, ninety five. But okay, if he did, the things that he did in his career, if he would have did them today's day and age, he would get destroyed, destroyed. But again, there like was no social court? media. There were no on the court and off the court. Yes. Oh shit. But but he would but, get destroyed. So, he would get destroyed. So, so, he would get can we talk so 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 about Kareem? On the okay. So, 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 so imagine if a king so, so, so we though. could just go to one no, thing. Kareem would get destroyed on the court, law? No, no, not Kareem. No, 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 not on the court. Well, actually, probably both. They used to kill Kareem for his lack of leadership. All throughout, when when Magic first got there, and Magic Johnson and Norm Nixon were having, were having a back and forth, people criticized Kareem because he didn't have a lot of. Are y'all talking about in the media? In the media? 
That's what he just said. He just said the social media exists. Uh, well, he yeah, he 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 when he, when he yeah. got killed, I, I just yeah, and, I, and I, there's I also I, off the I court things that Kareem would definitely got killed. Like, you mean like he get killed on the court? That's what I'm talking about. Like physically dominated. No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying that there were things that 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 his coaches and things like that that people would say the things that he was and wasn't doing on the court that directly impacted that team's ability to win. About Wilt. That's Wilt and Kareem. You're that's, saying that's, the same that's thing actually about Wilt. Hold on, hold on. What I hold on. Hold on, hold on. But hold on. And, and it cost his team wins. Okay, but we know that was said about when I when yeah, I hear when you when you research when you research Hakeem. I'll just do your research on him. Research what the coaches and his teammates were saying, the things he was doing that was costing them playoff series and things like that. I'm I understand. I, I, I understand that there's a level of that tied to Wilt. But at the end of the day, I'd say Wilt's offensive dominance is what elevated him. But you cannot also, you cannot mm -hmm. compare Hakeem's. You, just held that against you cannot compare just, Hakeem's I'm, I'm, offensive I'm, dominance to Wilt's. You no, can't. Not, they I'm don't compare. That, but you're, if you're being critical of, of now how am I that? And it, now, first of all, how am I that critical of a king? And he's still in my top twenty. I'm not saying he's actually, you, he's actually in the are. top fifteen. So no, 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 he's not, not, I'm not, not I'm really not that, that far not, off from Will. I'm not he's really not that far off. Fifty, but it's critical enough for him to be not a top ten. You're critical, but you're not critical but, enough. But but it's hard for me to put. It's even hard for me to put him over Shaquille O'Neal. Like when I look at the dominance, when I look at Shaq's dominance, it's hard for me to say Hakeem was better than Shaq. For me, that's my preference. I have for me. I prefer Shaq's game over Hakeem's. I, for I, I'm me, not, I'm not. Den I'm not denying that. But the, the and, and it's tied to dominance. The player. Yeah, if you're willing to tell me that Hakeem was more dominant than Shaq, then you can. You have it. No, that's fine. I, I just don't believe it. Scrutinized the no most for their their input on winning basketball was Will. He got scrutinized in every single situation. I said did. Hakeem didn't get criticized enough. I, everything that Will did got criticized for, he deserved it. But Hakeem did that plus some and didn't get criticized enough. Which, People didn't which, talk about it. So actually, Hakeem did more to hurt his team than, than yes. Will? Hakeem did a lot of things that hurt his no, team. No, no, no. He, he did more, more than Will, though. Did he do That's more yes. than Will? Yes. He did yes. more? Yes. Oh, no. Yes. Wow. Yes. No. yes. No faking injuries, um, blowing up plays <laughs> offensively on the end of the floor where the coach has to yank you out the game, things like that. Well, like, then, he, you do Will did the same. He got pulled hold out on. the game when he was with the Lakers. Hold on, hold on. His coach put him out. Hold on, hold on. Right. Tell me one time. Tell me one time. Will faked injuries for me. That's a big deal. Well, Bill Russell claimed that he faked injuries. No, 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 no. But I don't, no, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. The NBA sub suspended Hakeem Olajuwon twice for. It. I'm saying, tell me one time. If you, for me, this is my preference. Oh, this is what hurts. That's, 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 that's just load management. That no, that's not, that's not load management. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. I, I, I see what he you're was saying. A I'm not saying. I'm not. I'm not but saying, but I'm not, these <laughs> are my preferences. He was ahead of his time. I'm not saying that. And so, is there a certain range? So, I'm gonna ask y'all this: Is there a certain range? I got motion out of Mars. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> is there a certain range that Hakeem belongs in? I think he's a top 10 player. But okay, I understand, so, but I understand I'm saying, what you're saying. No, I'm saying, saying at the absolute lowest, at the absolute lowest you see him on anybody's list, what's the lowest you I think, think should you should? Can we, can we all hear where, where, where okay. Hakeem is? I think, I think, there's, there's, I think there's, there's 12 top 10 players in NBA history, in my opinion. And I think Hakeem is one of those 12 top 10. Yes. Okay, uh, can I hear where Hakeem is on your list, Mars? Six. Fluent? That's tough. Did Fluent hear you? Are you just Fluid? thinking? Oh, no, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Look, sorry, sorry y'all. Oh, I got to. I have already. Hey, Ron, sorry. I'm 10 minutes past my time. I, uh, I got to get on the road. I got to get yeah. to the school. It's, it's I'm so sorry, y'all. Cool. Hey, 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 I appreciate y'all having me, man. 11, yeah, I got, I got, I got, I got hey, yeah, hey, we dominate defensively. Y'all know we're going to win, man. We're going to go ahead and move to 20 and 1, man. So, you know. Oh, man. my goodness. We defensively God. dominate, man. Like Scotty Pippen. We got that Scotty Pippen mentality. Oh, Good luck. Good luck tonight. Lamar, before you leave, are you guys the best team in Arizona or in Phoenix, in the Phoenix area? Oh, yeah. So, you guys are better than. That team in Tempe? What team? A ASU? Yeah. We what just played them last weekend. And what happened? We beat them. Oh, okay. But 14. What team? What do you mean? I know it's ASU? Some, I, yeah, I know it's some people up here that are ASU. Yeah, check IG. I gotta I'm gonna put the IG in the chat for y'all. Are you gonna check us out? Yeah, we just walked them down, man. Get, okay. get them up out of here, man. Yeah, Come on. Man. Shout out GCU. Go purple. <laughs> I right, salute y'all. <laughs> All right, man. We'll catch you next time. Right. Hey, Dolly. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. happy he know. I'm happy he knows the things, but man, Wilt. And the more and more I read about Wilt, 
Wilt used to do crazy things, bro. Well, what was the definition of like a madman at certain points in his career, boy? Hor- Be- yeah, horrible. Be- horrible. Before we before we get into the oh super chat, Mo, would you like to just give us a couple answers for the uh, youngsters out there that disrespect the seventies and sixties? <clears throat> they know who they are. Uh, would you like to give us a couple stories? Oh no, yeah. Well, I mean, everything from um, spitting on people to going to the Lakers and having disagreements with Elgin Baylor, even though Baylor and, and Jerry West were. The, the leaders of that team, and he couldn't win. Coaches will pull him out. The, co- the head coach for the Lakers will pull him out of games because he would not do what needs to be done. The last series against the um uh, against Bill Russell before Russell retired, they, they scrutinized him heavily, I believe, in game six or five or six because he just didn't show up. His own coach came out and straight up said, if he would have played been more dominant, we would have won that game and the series would have already been over. There's, there's several things, and that's and that's predominantly yeah, wilt, wilt is like the epitome of like me first like he just think about this all he oh cared about was his his numbers to the point where they said dude you're scoring too much it's costing the team wins so he said and people praise him and they go then i'm not gonna i'm just gonna pass the ball oh wow he led the league in total assists yeah it's because he was being a suck like it wasn't because he was being a good teammate and it still didn't help but so it's just to, to put Wilt in to say that what someone did to the detriment of a team and knock one guy for it and then praise and Wilt. Have Wilt. Is, and I love I love Wilt. And that's a that's a joke. It's just the inconsistency there was nuts. Because Wilt Wilt is peak level, and I do mean peak level detriment to a team. In, in terms of the other top 10 to 15 players, I mean, by far, the things that I hear about Wilt. I mean, he was he, I, there's a story he spat on somebody. Oh, no, I'll elevator. tell you the story. Him and Bill Russell were in an elevator, and yes. a dude walks in, innocently enough, looks up and goes, like most dummies, how's the weather up there, guys, when you see super tall guys? And he spit on him and said, it's raining. And that's it was, he was, he was, I think he was in the elevator with Kareem. Well, yeah, no, no, was, I think it was Russell. Was it, was, it, Kareem? No, it was Kareem. It was Kareem. Kareem. I'm telling you, not, not that it matters. My bad. Right, okay, yeah. Kareem. The two of them tell that story and laugh. Dude, that's not funny. Yeah, that's, like, that's weird. I don't that's care. Weird. It's off the court, but like to knock a guy for off the court stuff and then praise a guy like that. Even, just... there, there's, there's, there's several stories about how Wilt would make sure he would like uh, know what he's, how many he's scoring, how, how, many, how many rebounds he has. He would keep up with that stuff in the middle of the game. They would straight, straight up tell him that when he went to the Lakers, they had to straight tell him like, bro, you're not doing that. Here. You're not looking at your stat sheet. You're going to play basketball. Somebody having to tell somebody that you're not going to look at your stat sheet in the middle of a game. Is is absurd. It's it's absurd. Well, you should do some of the most craziest things imaginable, and y'all be killing people because they stat pad. And there's a very legitimate re- reason to believe that Will used to be peeking at that. The amount of times that I've I've read things or heard things about him holding the basketball, slowing down the offense because he wanted to just score. Man, stop, man, stop, stop. So stop. Do, do, does that? affect his ranking in your for me it does okay for okay. me because my whole my the most important thing for me is how what was your impact on the game of basketball especially when it comes to winning if you are doing things that is exclude is, is detrimental to your team winning your impact is being dropped regardless of the numbers that you put in up if you you specifically or i don't care if you got 50 that night if y'all lost and people sat in there and said the whole flow of the offense got slowed down because you were um, handling the ball and and wanted the ball and you were dominating and then like um chill just said I mean Fluent just said oh y'all want me to pass more say less then I'm gonna just hold the ball and make sure I only pass it when I can get an assist bro that's crazy that is insanity man well, no bro no 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 Hakeem and Hakeem used to do crazy things I'm not saying he did not it, it, especially in the late nineties late eighties or early nineties yes he did insane thing and, and he's also a liar i can't see no game against asu <laughs> <laughs> no way I see, I see that they got smoked by wichita state you i see that look, they got you looking at the wrong you got to be looking at the wrong thing for am me. i really looking at the wrong one i thought he said g i thought he said gcu okay my bad no i think he said GCU. grand canyon university GCU? grand canyon university yeah, i didn't play asu acu they beat him by two points <laughs> acu's not in arizona though is it? Uh, no, Arizona, it's not. That's is what it's Arizona Christian. If I don't know what AC, I don't know what ACU is, but it ain't if, no ASU in Tempe. If he's lying about playing ASU, that's insane. It's no way. It's no way you would lie about that because you know what I'm saying. Like he might, he might, he might have misunderstood. He might have ACU. Maybe he no, thought he if, he's, no, he's because you said Tempe, right? 
ASU is in Tempe. He, yeah, yeah, I know. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Here's, here's, what, here's what I know. Here's what I know. On January 28th, they lost by 20 to Tarlington State. That's what I know. Are they 20 and 1, though? 20 and 1? No. He said they only lost one game, no? What are you talking about? They, they wait, lost... wait, wait, wait. Time yeah. out. No, 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 no. He's he the team he's coaching. coaching. Is he coaching men's or women's? I don't know. That's a good question. I, I don't know. Because, oh, so yeah, we don't, we well, don't know. Let's check the women. Let's check the women. You know, that's all right. insane. Men, yeah, that's crazy men, that we're digging lost, up this rap. Men lost right a ton now. of games. All right, maybe it's, it's, uh, it's no way. I, I just I don't see him doing that after he came on and trolled for for three hours. There's no way he would do that. I'm sure. Oh, maybe it's women. Okay, maybe it's women. Maybe it's women. Are they maybe. are they twenty and one? I'll I'll look it up. Uh, um, what? the women. Oh, the women are pretty good. Oh, wait a minute. The women are pretty good. They lost to Arizona State, eighty to seventy two. Um, but the women are pretty good. Are they twenty and one? I'm looking right now. No, they lost to ASU. They lost to Idaho. They lost to UC Irvine. Hey, my old stomping ground. What up, UC Irvine? Somebody said it's GCU. That's what it is. That's what I'm looking at. That's that's Grand Canyon. That's Grand Canyon University. Yeah, GCU. I lived in Arizona. I know know my local schools. Maybe you're looking at last year. I don't like people come on and lie and then try. I'll try to give him the benefit of doubt, man. I'm just trying to. I, I didn't know who he was until you guys just told me right now. Let me see. That's um, crazy. They, I, I'm and, trying and, to and the chat was saying Lamont came up the here. Girls lost to California. Home. They lost to California Baptist. They lost to Southern Utah. They lost like I don't know. Hey, that's all. I, listen, I tell y'all, I, I I spent time all my basketball days where I spent in the training room. I'm honest. I'm. It's not hating. It, hate. You know, hating is when you make up stuff and say like bad things about someone. Hating is not saying. Hey, I'm 20 and one, and your actual record is 10 and 10. That's not hating, but pointing out a fact. Sorry. Did everybody mute? Go ahead. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, tr- I'm trying to. You're looking like, it up. Go ahead. Go look it up. <laughs> Anyone who see. thinks it's hating is is soft. Get over it. All right, y'all. We is, got it, is it worse? Is it worse to hate or is it worse to lie? Fluent? Right now, exactly. I'm... There's nothing worse than lying. He's 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 16 and they're 16 and six, but it's not. I still it's not solid, 19 though. and one. That's still solid, yeah. But it's yeah, not 19 it, and one. So just hey, hey, I'm 16 and one. I coach the women's team. I have I told you, a good friend of mine is the uh strength and conditioning coach for UCLA for women's basketball. I give him all the love in the world. Like there's I love, there's, I love, I love women's I, basketball. No, I can't. I was about to say maybe that. recently there, but no, I can't. 20 and that. one is just what 16 and night, six. Somebody's nothing wrong with that. One. Yo, Warnock, Elder doesn't want me to read your super chat. <laughs> Sorry, bro. All right, y'all ready? I'm not lying. Yo, yo, yo. Hold on. Whoever said I'd be lying. Yo, Lowe's looking it up right now. He, tell, he just told you I, right okay, now. Okay, that's the women's. Let me look at men. The whole chat is saying it's the club team. Like, everyone's spamming it. I what's the, what's the club team? It's not varsity, I guess. What so, does that mean? Oh, the club. T- what? No, what does that mean? No idea. I'm just reading the chat. <laughs> GCU <laughs> club, club. GCU club team. That's what everyone is saying. I thought GCU one of club the, team. What's the GCU? Band. I don't know what that is. I don't know, but look it up. They might be 20 on one. Okay. No, Warnock wants to know what did what did Hakeem do that was so crazy? He got, um, he got personal with my guy. He got personal with my guy Ticket and my guy Elder, so I'm allowed to get f- personal with, with just uh, someone I don't know. Um, throughout throughout the late '80s and '90s, um, Hakeem. This is why I hate when they when people say like back then players didn't you know demand trades to be moved or they weren't moving around. It's just that they couldn't. So Hakeem wanted out. Hakeem wanted out um, very much so out of Houston because he felt like they weren't building a proper team. And there are stories about how he just threw threw possessions, plays. Um, he got upset because of the financial situation. Um, I never heard the fake injury thing, but I'm not saying it's not true. I don't. I, don't, I just never heard it. But to I be fair, I also didn't it. look that deep into it. People, hold on. Yeah, anyone who says guys didn't ask for trades or didn't get out of that's that's just them not knowing. A hundred percent people now there wasn't as much social media where they came out and put it in in a tweet and said, yeah. I want out, I'm demanding a trade. But players all the time ask for trades, people all the time tried to get out of deals. I always use this example when people say, But LeBron built a super team. And I and I always bring up Moses Malone was the MVP of the damn league on the Houston Rockets, who suck. People forget a couple of years earlier he took a 39 win Houston Rockets horrible team to the finals. That, by the way, was the worst team that made it to the NBA finals, and 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 left as a free agent and joined Dr. J and Maurice Cheeks and went to the Sixers, who were just lost in the NBA finals, and let and helped them get an NBA championship. 
that was in 82, 83, whatever that was. So, no, that stuff happened. That stuff has been happening. It's always happened. And yeah. again, for those in the chat, I'm not, I'm, I don't know. I'm asking. I didn't, I don't even know what a hell a club, what is a club team for a university? I don't even know what that is. What is that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, um, if you, if you want to though, you can go to, um, just go to YouTube and type in Hakeem versus Rockets. Secret Base did a really good job on it. Um, but it had a lot to just do with them not paying him the same. He felt like he was underpaid, which a lot of people did at the time. And also, um, like them just not, they're not what you call it, but, um, yeah, he. I, I don't know. They're, 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 I'm actually looking at it right now. So in the video, it does says Elijah Wan, who um who has an injury, who has an injured hamstring, was listed in a halftime box score as refused to suit up. Um. So yeah, there, there is. Oh, he's an intramural coach. Oh, okay. Okay, that's okay. I didn't know that. That's fine. That's good. So there you go, man. All right, y'all. Let's oh, go no, they, ahead. They, they did suspend him. Damn, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't. He wasn't saying anything untrue. Yeah, I'm it's, looking at it right now. Damn, Jesus. But I like you know to Mar to Mars's point. He was a visionary. Facts. <laughs> oh man. All right, y'all. We got about 15 more minutes. In that amount of time, I'm gonna try to tackle as many super chats as we possibly can uh, take down. Uh, if he doesn't man. finish, right, I'll host oh, in the cool. chat. If he doesn't finish, I'll host hey, in the chat. Just drop L host right now. <laughs> do it. Do it. Spam L host. All right, Ski Up said, I've heard people say Draymond is garbage and benefited from Stephen Clay, then turn around and say if he didn't foul LeBron, if he didn't foul out, LeBron wouldn't have won in the finals. Comments on this? Fair point. Fair point. It's facts, facts, facts. That is a fair point. Good energy podcast. Has something for Chill, but he's not here. Maybe Fluent can answer for him. He said, Chill, oh, wow. I don't like your top 10, but respect but respect it. I've always hear you say you have a good argument for your top 10. What's the argument for Oscar over Kobe? That was Lamont's top 10. He yeah, Lamont was, had, yeah, that was Lamont's. Because he, he, he doesn't have Oscar over Kobe. Um, I will say we argue over, me and Chill all the time, argue over his top 10. Um, and he's got his reasons for having Kobe at 11. So it's not like he has Kobe at 17. He has him at 11, and he makes a good point. I disagree, but he makes a good point for the 10 ahead of him. Does he? <laughs> he does. He, he make, No, he does. He, it, because remember, it's your opinion, right? And it, no, 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 I'm just trolling. I'm just playing. Yeah. Now you trolling? He done rubbed off Every, on yeah, you. Right. I'll be trolling here all the time, man. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> I don't, I don't Joe, troll. I don't troll. I instigate. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Joe O with the super chat. He has a question for the panel. He said, if you were starting a team, would you pick Prime Draymond over Prime Alonzo, Sean Kemp, Larry Johnson, or Glenn Robinson? Draymond don't even he's not even in a question. I don't think anyone would start a team with Draymond Green. I hope. Prime Sean Kemp is one of the most underrated players of all time. I'll just say that. Yeah, and I wouldn't start Draymond over there. I do have respect it, for Prime If you have Sean to start Kemp. a team with one of those guys, you're in trouble. But, no, you're not. Alonzo Mourning? Uh, you have to start a team with Zoe? I mean, yeah, well, I mean at least, at least, you, know, at least yeah. you know you got uh, your, your paints locked down. Zoe's those, you those your be best. Just that. remember, what start a team, in my opinion, means yeah, he's best your player. best player. Miami. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Miami start, in the late like, 90s start, wasn't a good team? You can you can start you can start a team with ah, you know it's gonna be it's gonna be like hold you down. Like I would I wouldn't mind starting my my first, you know, starting a team with Lonzo Morning because I know my paint is locked saying, down defensively. Fluid. Then from there I can go find some score. I can find you know some wing scoring. I can find that dynamic point guard. What is your team gonna look like if Zoe is your best player? Miami. Zoe, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Fluent, fluent. That doesn't mean he's your best player. No, no, yes, no, it does. It does. I'm saying it, no, does. it doesn't. It does. That's not what it means. That's Ooh, not what it means. The late nineties, Miami Heat were not a good team. Not really. No. Uh... <laughs> they were a good defensive team. They were a good defensive team, but I don't think they were like. Would you put them like? Were they winning a chip? No. So the standard for a good team is winning a championship. Cause that means there was no good teams in the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said late nineties, late nineties. Like I don't know. Like I guess they were good, but no. But I wouldn't they think of them as a, games. As they a ran great out 60 team. Games, conference finals. All right, fine. Ah, oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> we're running out of time, so okay. all right. My bad. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. My bad, Ron. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
If you if yeah, you hey, no for, right, for the record, hey, you want to call me a hater? All right, fuck you. I'm a hater. But <laughs> I didn't know what the club. I didn't. I just couldn't say I coached GS GCU, so I just looked up GCU. I didn't know what it was. I'm so. gonna get into coaching though. I don't even coaching is coaching is fun. You know. Yeah. I got a great. We're never getting pretty stupid. We're guys. never getting ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Because this hey. is really important. Because you want to get in coaching, you should do this. Because it made me feel really good. So my team, you know, I coach a U team. My team won two very close games on the weekend, both by three points. And the ref came to me after the game because the other coach was going ballistic, like yelling at his kids, slamming down his clipboard. He was all pissed. And he's like, "Hey, you did a really good job coaching." I was like, "No, nah, not really, but thanks." He goes, "No, no." He goes, "It's really obvious that the kids play for you, unlike that other dude where they seem like they're scared of him." You know, you're making them better people, not just better players. And and the ref thanked me for the way that I treated the kids. And, like, it made me feel really good. So, yes, um, the whole point of that story is definitely get into coaching. Do it. Start I'll ask it. you two or three questions. It's, it, is, it is pretty dope. Yeah, but you you do it too, right, Bob? Uh, I do training right now. I don't have yeah. a team yet. Me and, oh, my okay. brother about to, me and my brother about to go do AAU again this year. So oh, Okay. Yes, I am hot that he had Kobe at 12. You're absolutely right. I tried not to. I would to not too because 12 was crazy. That, that's crazy. Yeah, that list was kind of nuts. And the, the whole Steph Curry thing, but that's for another day. We'll say that yes, for the man. next time. I don't, know, I don't like – you know, at least be like me. Be like me and just say I don't put current players in it at all then. I wait till they retire. I would respect that more versus I have them as a placeholder and then once they retire, they're here. Uh, it's nuts. I mean, he, he already admitted what he was doing. He's building content for letters. So yeah. That's, yeah. I, I, think, I think that um, – that list is inadmissible in court. What do you think of Kobe at 12 all time? Oh, that, man. That's crazy, right? Yeah, it's 100%. 100% crazy. All right. You smart kid. <laughs> top, top, top three. Yeah. Where do you have Kobe? Three. Come here. Tell everybody. Who, where do you, what do you, tell them your, tell them your top 10. Let, let's chat in the chat. Who's his better top yeah, 10? LeBron? Propaganda. Or mine? No, no. Who's your top 10? We're about to hear Jerry West at 10. Um, Four. MJ, LeBron, Kobe, um, Kareem, Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain, Shaquille O'Neal, Hakeem, Hakeem, <laughs> Magic, Jerry West. Jerry West. Who's at eleven? He doesn't have propaganda. Larry Bird, so Bird at eleven. Oh, Larry look at that Laker it. propaganda. Oh, Floyd, Floyd, Floyd. Now I see. I see. I see. Now you're lining up uh, content for later too. Facts. <laughs> 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 Fire, fire this. Propaganda. I've been overrun. <laughs> Keep, going Keep going with the super chats. Keep going with the super chats. Yo, divine photos with the super chat. He said, "You could James po You could James Posey, Deshaun Stevenson, Zach Randolph, and Tony Allen on the Warriors to replace Draymond, and they would still win a chip." Zach Facts. Randolph. Hey, that's Joe, Zach Randolph. Don't do that. Don't do Z ball. Don't do Zach Randolph. Don't do Z ball. Uh, everybody gonna do him defensively. Don't worry about it. They gonna run circles around defensively. Z-ball. Yes, but I, I don't. I, with Zebo, they win a championship. No, they don't. Why don't they? Because their defense falls uh, off. We have more super chance. We don't need to. Yeah, do let's this. go. Let's go. Right, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm Yo, trying to make sure people get their money. Who votes? Who votes yeah. in these polls? What type of shit is this? <laughs> <laughs> How no, you going? That's the me. That's crazy. <laughs> and Boy Spice is saying Draymond a first ballot Hall of Fame, or saying saying Draymond a first ballot is crazy. It took Chris Weber eight years after being eligible. Yeah, Draymond's not Dray- first Dray- ballot. Draymond's, Draymond's not first ballot. Is. Like sadly, because of all the people, like the crappy people they let into the Hall of Fame, <laughs> Draymond's gonna be in it. I, he, but we got to We got to start separating people first ballot and then. Everybody else can get in second, third try, whatever. Like, we can't just let everybody in first ballot. Like, that's nuts. Aramis Jones. Shout out to Aramis Aramis Jones. Hold on. Do we understand we are in a sensitive era, though? Yes. Super sensitive. Too sensitive. I think this show today demonstrated that. Aramis again said, wait. Hold on, ticket is spitting to a degree. Was ticket spitting? Do we all agree? Uh, I can't remember. What law. I don't know what it was about. Tick, tick, <laughs> ticket, ticket, ticket was interesting today because I, it, I got, it was a different perspective, having you know because I was doing other things, so I'm, I wasn't here for the first hour, so just listening in. Ticket is so much better when he just stays calm. So like I think he had a couple of good points, and then sometimes it goes crazy and goes off the handle a little bit. Speaking of ticket. 
D Smooth with the super chat. He said, "Ticket. If Robert Horry was so was so good as Draymond defensively, where's his Defensive Player of the Year in any All NBA defensive teams? Draymond has all those switches from big from bigs to guards. Ticket just stop. Correct. Yeah, Robert Horry is, I mean, I mean, is not as good as Draymond Green. Right. Dude, that's that's what that's what I'm saying. He, uh, Draymond was definitely a better defender than Robert Horry, but yeah. Robert Horry did take some tough matchups." And he did play pretty pretty well defensively. He's not as good as Ticket on it. I mean, Draymond. Draymond yeah, he's not as good as Ticket at, at all. Okay. <laughs> side chat, side tapped in talking about Fluence uh, Suns list. He said best list so far. I agree as well. That's right, fire. That's big. That's a I big disagree with list. It, but it's, it's good. <laughs> Zero just vibe and said that boy cooked. <laughs> I, I don't know who it was that got cooked, but somebody got cooked. Uh. KB knows ball chimed in with a super chat earlier. He said Draymond was the main assignment to Jalen Brown, made him shoot 41% from the field and forced the most turnovers when he when guarded by Draymond. It's not good to lie, ticket. Mm. That's so sexy. Yeah, super chat's cooking ticket right now. Mm. <laughs> Tremaine <laughs> Williams said ticket. You I got you. Faster, Ron. You said what? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> No, just keep Tick- going, please. <laughs> Tre- Tremont Williams said, Ticket, I got you. One-on-one series and championship on the line. Siakam cooked him. That's Draymond. He's a help defender. That's all. Mm. I, we, I watched it. It was four points. <laughs> In that mm. game, it was four points. Hold on, Law. Hold on, Law. Because the last time you said you watched something, when we were talking about the Booby Gibson and uh, – no, Mo Williams – no, it's Booby uh, Gibson. It was Booby. Okay, Booby and Booby and LeBron. Apparently, we're watching the wrong game. It's the only game he scored thirty-two points in the finals, though. So Booby so didn't he, score thirty-two in the finals. No, no, I'm talking. Well, about I remember this, Lo. Oh, Siakam. Remember, remember, well, I, remember. I, I, LeBron was doing things in the in the fourth quarter <clears> that <throat> weren't conductive to winning, but no, no, no. You said you 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 specifically told us mm-hmm. the first four four minutes of, of the. Fourth quarter, I believe it was that he didn't assist on any of um on it. Um, you sure, you sure it was Booby? Yeah, it was Booby. Yeah, okay. So yeah, you you said that he didn't assist on any of uh, Booby's um points. What's it was it was that? Game Six of the Eastern Conference Finals where uh, where he scored nineteen in that fourth quarter. Booby did or thirty one for the game. That that's the game I yeah. we were talking about back then. Yeah, I think I think you were watching Game Five or something. Oh, maybe. We, were, we were we were talking about Game Six. I think I just, I'm, all I'm saying is I think you're watching the, the wrong game. I don't think that you would purposely lie to me like that. I think you just made a mistake. Is I have to, yeah, I have to I'll rewatch it. Low it's, lie, it's also low hard lie. to find games, unfortunately, of Booby Gibson. <laughs> 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 Trying to find Booby Gibson games is hard. All right, y'all. Drink more Follow water. Has a couple, he has a couple super chat. He said, when did, quote, unquote, they are a regular season team start? <laughs> I don't believe in the theory since usually good teams in the regular season, good regular season teams do well in the playoffs. But to those who do, who are the teams this season? No, actually, can you answer that for one? Uh, I think, when did that concept I think Phoenix. I think the Phoenix Suns, it probably happened before then, but definitely the Steve Nash, uh, Mike D'Antoni Phoenix Suns were definitely considered a regular season team. That couldn't get it done in the playoffs. It's what about usually, the, it's usually high octane offenses with yeah, mediocre yeah. defenses that get this label? Yeah. What about once the, uh, once the game slows down in, in in the playoffs, they find it hard to they can't score in the half court and they get screwed. What about the Sacramento Kings? <laughs> like oh, the Chris Webber? <laughs> <Come on. laughs> <laughs> you know they they had you know they had some uh, had to go against a team and the refs. You know it was tough, right, Bobby? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Yo, um, I don't understand how we've had how it's it's first off, it's 1700 people in here right now. More than that. It's been over 2500 people in here all episode. So we have 800 likes for four. Hours. Get us, That's can, criminal. That's can, criminal. Can y'all get us up to 1500 right quick. I know it's at least 800 of you out there that haven't liked the video. Click the button. Y'all like the video because you're watching it. So like the video and keep watching it. That's nasty. As they would say. <laughs> on to the next super chat, Kid Arcane. Kid Arcane, he said, "Just come to Chicago, Low. We'll forgive you for your transgressions." That's, that's a lot of forgiving and a lot of transgressions. Chicago for what? Instead of being all your transgressions. Instead of being, instead of being, oh, instead a, Bucks of being a Bucks fan. fan? No, yeah. I can't be a Chicago fan. No. You're a Bucks I, fan? Oh, now I am. Yeah, for sure. 
Oh, I didn't know that. Why is that? Bro? What made, what made Rob Palenka is like? still employed by the Los Angeles Lakers. I cannot root for a team that employs Rob. Fluent, fluent. I'm, I'm trying to recruit him to Sacramento, but I'm having a rough time. Sacramento's Sacramento's beautiful. When I lived when I lived in in Northern California, I used to love going up to Sacramento. It was so hot. You got I good text. It was freezing. By the time I got to Sac, uh, sunny and beautiful. I'll tell you one thing. It, it's it's something that is beautiful in Sacramento. Boy, yep. oh boy. Yep. <laughs> Okay, Ron. All right. Uh, drink more water with another super chat. He said, since Middleton came back, the Bucks are 8 and 0 and have a 118.1 offensive rating, which would be first in the league. Does that change their outlook moving forward? And who has the best eight man rotation? Middleton is looking much better than he, than when he first came back. Mars? That, that, that is a kind of disingenuous super chat because. As the months have gone on, the offensive rating around the league has increased. 118 this past month is probably around average for an offensive rating. So the season's it's been, it's offensive rating is at 117 ish over like the last month, I think. Jeez. So if, if you want to say 118 would be the number one offense in the league based on the whole season, yes, it would. Because I think Denver are number one with um, a 118. But in the last, yes. we're in the last ten but games, over the over the last month or so, teams have been pushing one twenties offensive rating. Oh, okay. One eighteen is actually around average. So technically, it's a bit disingenuous. But yes, they have looked better. Jesus, damn, we really ain't playing no defense, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're just more athletic and skilled than ever before. Now, one one twenty is crazy. <laughs> Come on, Ron. What's next? Yo, Dad, Ron. Hell, uh, host. Actually, it's nothing next. We're actually done. We're not no, done. it's not. I'm looking at him. I can see the no, there's... like the show's over. What? Oh, like, we got to pop. Yes, we wrap it up. guys. Yes, would you guys like to say your closing words? Oh, uh, damn! So you didn't get to all of them. So uh, flew and go to flew and go to all the super chats and all the time. Guys. Fluent gets to them all the time. That's the definition of a W. All right, y'all. Well, we had a good he show. He would have reeled us in. He would have reeled us in and had us on point. Oh hell yeah!